Welcome in. It is eight minutes past the hour, and we thank you so much for being with us here on the kickoff hour. It's the Rick and Bubba Show, rickandbubba.com, for all the information about the show. Golden ticket seats if you're headed this way today. Uh, drive safely. Look forward to seeing you in a couple of hours from now. Speaking in a couple of hours from now, if you're listening live, we do the show uh, early morning, uh, 5 a.m. to 10 a.m. Central Time. I know a lot of you are watching or listening at different times of the day. That's when it's live. At 8.20 a.m. Central Time today, you know, it's Read Across America Day. So today is the annual reading of Green Eggs and Ham. Uh, so make sure that you tag us on your social media post of joining the largest classroom in America. It's at Rick and Bubba, spell out and, at Rick and Bubba. Just tag us there on on X or Instagram or, or however you do it uh, and whatever platform you're using. Just make sure you tag us and let us see that you're participating in America's largest classroom, uh, and that's how you join. Uh, Read Across America today is being observed. Uh, The actual day is tomorrow, but, of course, school's not in session and we're not live. So today is the day that it's nationally being observed. And so at 8.20 a.m. Central Time, it is the reading of Green Eggs and Ham. All right, so let's bring everybody in. Over to my left, it's Mr. Greg Burgess, and to my right, it is Michael Helms. What's up, boys? How are y'all? Boys. What's happening? Welcome back, Greg. Glad to be back. What's a happening? Everything go good yesterday? It did. Like I said, we uh, Lisa's still dealing with the long-term COVID. Went to the doctor yesterday, and they've got a plan, Dr. Vaughn. Mm-hmm. And uh, we've had him on the show. Yeah, I've uh, had him on RBU, I think, twice. Doing, doing a lot of good work. So. Yeah, he is. Yeah. I was well, telling say. my dad about that yesterday. Mm-hmm. And it's not just local. It's worldwide. I mean, he's... Yeah. Kind of breaking through on a lot of, of Mr. 305 issues. worldwide. Yeah. Worldwide. <laughs> Some call him Pitbull. <laughs> I wasn't oh. ready for that. Which uh, reminds me, I don't know, this has nothing to do but except for Pitbull. Uh huh. When we covered the race the other day, mm-hmm. Suarez won. Pitbull is part owner of that car. <clears throat> that is crazy. Really? The singer. Man, what what an entrepreneur. It, and, and, well, he'll get out there and get involved with <laughs> oh, something, yeah. won't he? He's worldwide. The reason that is mm. on my mind is because, and I don't want to give my address out, but. My house number is 305. Oh, and one worldwide. And and Coach DeSanto, who's now at Dartmouth, mm-hmm. the first day he came over to the house, he goes, Oh, Mr. 305 <laughs> worldwide. And it stuck with me ever since he said that. I never even once thought. But That's funny. Anyway, funny. Mr. 305. Yeah. He'll throw that on you. Uh-huh. How about sure. I like some pit bull stuff? Mm-hmm. I'm no big shocker there. I know. Yeah. Surprisingly, I didn't. His music's not my deal. Yeah. But I seen him in an interview and he's, I, I, I He's his, got it his together. His attitude, no. Yeah. I mean, he he is a he appreciates everything he got. Yes, he, yes. Does. he loves America. And and let's just say this, he knows what he's doing. Oh, yeah. absolutely. He very very smart individual knows what he's doing. He just uh, was wasn't, that, it wasn't was just a dumb luck him. thing for him. No, I was impressed with him in the yeah. interview. Yeah. Well, he's um, worldwide. I mean, we just, he, yeah. he is. Uh, he can is. you not? Be? Real fine. Right. right. Uh, Greg, we actually have a story today that I printed yesterday, but held out of show prep, uh, just because you weren't here. Uh, and so I want to bring that up, uh, <laughs> okay. and, um, and, uh, and we also have an update on a story we did day before yesterday on Tyreek Hill breaking the lady's, uh, yes. leg. Well, yeah, we, his, we, his lawyer has responded okay. and, and he is saying those are false claims and he's, defend- so they weren't doing tackling drills <laughs> in the defend- yard. He's defending or- his client. Okay. Um, so yesterday, uh, after the live show, we, we recorded RBU uh, and uh, it was a great conversation with uh, with Gary Burley and Donna Francavilla. Uh, their book, uh, Glory: The Struggle for glory, Yards, glory. yeah, uh, and inspiration from uh, turn of the century African American uh, unsung heroes. And it was a great conversation with them. As February wrapped up yesterday, uh, and today is March the first. I know we just added a day. Uh, but it is uh, it was Leap Day yesterday, and so today we look forward uh, to it being Read Across America Day. But yesterday, I, I after getting them in and getting them settled because they were live in studio, they weren't Zooming or anything like that, they were local to the market, um, I knew I had to get to Huntsville because my dad had his annual um, uh, heart exam where, you know, they go in and just it's just an annual thing with his yeah. cardiologist where they do a one-over just making sure – Medications sure. working, all this kind of Thank stuff. God. They order an ultrasound just because it's been two years. Since a little look under the hood. Yes. Let's see how we're doing. Uh, it's been two years Kick since his open heart surgery, so it's just you know hard to believe an annual thing. I know, isn't it? To actually two two years and a couple of months, but wow. anyway. Uh, so 
you know, let's let's just think about where we physically are. Yes. Okay. Uh, at best case scenario, and that is if there's no traffic, I'm a I'm 150 from their front yeah. door, and that's with no traffic. Right. So if we if we if we wrap up at 10 a.m., his appointment's at 12:30, and I don't leave till about quarter after. Oh, whew, we we don't have a whole lot of time. I mean, I don't even have time to stop and use the bathroom. Yeah. Okay. That's it's, that, that's how that's how tight it is. Okay. Yeah. So I call him and and I, I punch up the GPS and it tells me estimated time, uh, and and I call him. I'm like, hey, Dad, uh, it says I'll be there at 12:05. Be I, ready, because hey, I'm getting it. <laughs> okay. I'm getting it. Uh, and he goes, I'll be I'll be standing in the garage ready. And I'm like, okay. So sure enough, I pull up around 12:03. Felt pretty good about myself. Uh, good time, Freaking and time. and sure enough, there he is. He has opened the garage. He is standing at the end uh, behind this car, just waiting there, where it ready. So the, the the method is is that I I I leave my truck, and then jump in their car. It's yeah. just easier for him to get in and out of. And, and, and hey, Dad, here we go. And and I knew where we were going. It, it was just one street over from um, where we normally go to the medical towers there in Huntsville. And so we, we go in and we, we go around and, and get out and really be honest with you. We got kind of lucky. There was an empty parking spot right up front. Um, the, the discussion is dad, how come y'all don't have a handicap, uh, uh, tag or sticker or whatever. And I mean, dad, you can't, you're blind and mom's a cancer survivor. You're both in your eighties. I mean, if there was ever somebody that needed one, you need one. Yeah. You know, we ought to be able to pull right up. Yeah, but when you can't see and you're going through those parking decks. Yeah. You know, yeah. I mean, I can see it and stuff. Yeah. It's like the other day they had to go uh, close to the house and they park in this place and walk half a ramp. I'm like, come on. Very confused. So I've got to get serious about doing that. But I, you can go online and, and yeah. fill out an application. Yeah. I need to do that. Yeah. Um, and You'll so, be barring it, though. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. I've seen those people though. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah, they jump out and run in. You go now. Wait a minute. Yeah, yeah. Hey, the um, only reason you have one's you're fat. Right. Yo, I've seen those. <laughs> I couldn't figure a lot of them yeah. riding them carts. Same reason. right. Um, and so just we just a little large. We go yeah. flying in, and uh, and sure enough, there was an open parking spot up front, right by the handy spot. But it was just the normal parking spot. We got really lucky, and I mean, we're coming in, and it's a twelve thirty appointment. It's like twelve twenty eight. And I'm like, oh, boy. And, you know, you can't run in with him, even though he's pretty fast. You still have to take your time, yeah, you don't get out, him get him, you know, and get him in. A lot of people think those spots next to the handicap because one line is blue. Yeah. They think it's a that's a handicap spot, not. and it's not. And it's they not. leave it open all the time. Yeah. I get that all the time. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but probably shouldn't tell everybody that. Yeah. Now they'll start using it. Yeah. Smash. I'll finish up when we come back. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. If you owe back taxes, fair warning, the IRS is mailing millions of pay-up letters. Then it's up to the new IRS enforcement agents to find you. Tax Network USA has war room strategies to solve your IRS problems quickly, like a preferred direct line to the IRS. Tax Network USA learned of a limited-time offer, an IRS offer. Schedule your free confidential consultation to see if you qualify for this limited-time IRS penalty-canceling offer. Call 1-800-245-6000 or visit TNUSA.com. Slash Bubba. Winter weather has a way of making you crave comfort food, so HelloFresh is here to help you do the chilly season right. Check out their largest menu yet that has something for everyone, including meals that are quicker than restaurant delivery and 25% cheaper than takeout. Join today and get free breakfast for the life with the code Bubba at HelloFresh.com slash Bubba. That's one free breakfast item per box with active subscription with the code Bubba at HelloFresh.com slash Bubba or find a link at RickandBubba.com under the sponsor but you might disagree, but things aren't as dismal as they seem. Now, there's a point, your family, their future, your future, you all deserve a chance. You all deserve the protection. Turn to self-reliance with My Patriot Supply. Start with four-week emergency food kits by Ready Hour. These meals last up to 25 years in storage. Stock up on all the food kits your family needs at preparewithbubba.com. Get each Ready Hour four-week food kit for $60 off and free shipping. That's preparewithbubba.com. Also, find the link at rickandbubba.com under sponsors. 
resolving to eat healthier this year was easy. Actually doing it, not so easy. Well, Field of Greens is our healthy super fruit and vegetable habit in my house. Each super fruit and vegetable in Field of Greens was doctor selected for a specific health benefit. Some support your heart, lungs, and kidneys. Others support metabolism for healthy energy and weight loss. If you resolve to get healthier in 2024, it starts with Field of Greens. Get 15% off your first order with free rush shipping at fieldofgreens.com. Use the promo code Bubba or go to Rick and Bubba. There's a popular saying out there, health is wealth. And folks, I couldn't agree more. If you're dealing with everyday aches and pains, I want to tell you about Relief Factor, a daily drug-free supplement developed by doctors. It's not just a pill that masks pain. Relief Factor uses a unique formula of natural ingredients that work together to help reduce or eliminate pain. Try their three-week quick start kit for only $19.95. Go to relieffactor.com or call 1-800-4-RELIEF. You can also find the link at rickandbubba.com under the sponsor. The best thing to bring with me wherever I go, my Raycon Everyday Earbuds. Raycons offer amazing audio quality at half the price of other premium audio brands with noise isolation, three customizable sound profiles, and a 32-hour battery life. They're perfect for listening to anything, anytime. That explains the tens of thousands of five-star reviews. Get 20% off plus free shipping at buyraycon.com slash bubba. That's buyraycon.com slash bubba. Or find the link at rickandbubba.com under sponsors. Debt keeps you tossing and turning at night. You can't get away from it. Insanely high interest credit cards and loans make it nearly impossible to pay off your debt. There's a new way out of the debt trap, Pivotal Debt Solutions. Pivotal Debt Solutions can cut or even eliminate interest. They can find programs to write off your balances. They find every solution possible to end your debt. Before you do anything, contact Pivotal Debt Solutions first. Talk to them for free. Find out how fast they can help you get out of debt. Just visit zapmydebt.com. That's zapmydebt.com. Hey, folks, when you love someone, you protect them the best way you can. That's why we recommend home security from SimplySafeBubba.com. SimplySafe is an advanced system that protects every inch of your home. Plus, it's backed by 24-7 with professional monitoring for fast emergency response for less than $1 a day. Order now and get 20% off any new SimplySafe system with fast protect monitoring. Visit SimplySafeBubba.com. That's SimplySafeBubba.com or find a link at RickandBubba.com under sponsors. There's no safe like SimplySafe. When was the last time you checked your home's title? Is it still in your name? Fox News reported on a growing, devastating crime called house stealing. The titles to all our homes are easily found online. A criminal, a renter, or even a family member simply forges your signature on a home cell form and refiles as the new owner. Bam! Your home is not in your name. Has some criminal taken over your title? Find out with a free comprehensive scan of your home's title and 30 days of legendary home title lock protection when you go to hometitlelock.com and use the promo code Code Bubba. You know how you go into stores and the towels can feel super soft, but then when you get home, they don't dry you? Not my towels from my pillow. They're really soft, but they really work too. What a concept. They're made with a special ring spun cotton, making them softer and more absorbent than other towels that are out there. Get a six piece set for an introductory sale price of $29.98, and you get the designer premium line for just $20 more. Either way, you save 50% right now on all my towels. So head to mypillow.com slash Bubba or find the link at rickandbubba.com. Rick and Bubba's in Ohio! Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Pass the gravy, please. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Ooh, it brings me to my knees. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. I can't start another. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Day without him, brother. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Waking on the blubber. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Gonna be a big star. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Fat with All right, it is 21 minutes past the hour. Thank you so much for hanging out with us here on the kickoff hour. 866 We Be Big. Full staff today. Greg back with us. Uh, over to my right, Helmsy. I am Speedy Adler. Rick and Bubba all join us. Don't forget, we'll say this a number of times just because, you know, everybody's watching or listening and, and maybe someone can't you know, dial in and, and be with us all morning. So we want to make sure that you know this. If you are a teacher or a parent of a student, let Go your teach. teacher know that at 8.20 a.m. Central Time this morning, we will read Green Eggs and Ham. It's the annual reading part of Read Across America Day. And we simply ask, uh, you know, times have changed. It used to be that we had a page and you signed up. And, well, now it's it's just social media is, has exploded so much, and that's where a lot of, where a lot of folks land. 
just tell your teacher to tag us. Uh, maybe take a big picture of the room watching us, uh, read it or listening to us, and let us know by tagging us at Rick and Bubba. We'll see that and uh, probably repost a lot of them. Uh, and so we look forward to doing that today. All right, so... When we went to break, I was letting y'all know that the, uh, I mean, I wasn't panicked, but, it, you know, it was a tight schedule trying to get up to Huntsville from where we physically are every day and get my dad to his cardiologist for the annual screening and wellness check. And, uh, and there was no time to spare. So when we left you, I had gone and gotten him, pulled up to their house at uh, 1205. They live in southeast Huntsville around Jones Valley. And, uh, and that's probably another 10, 10 minutes or so from the actual Huntsville hospital, yeah. you, you know, area. And, uh, there's some, a couple of buildings, medical buildings adjacent to the main hospital. And, and, and that's one of those is where he has to report. So we go in, it's on the second floor. So we wind around the parking deck, picture it. And then we oh, pull up laps. and I've, and I haven't announced to my dad, you know, boy, I hope, I hope there's an open spot. We can park and sure enough there was. So we. We pull right in, and uh, I grab him, and um, he loves to hold my right elbow. And away and, we go. And here we go. And and he is Watch a your step. He is a rock star. He's like, let's go. Get it. So I go in, and the the deal here at this at this cardiologist, and, and there's a number of them, and it's just a, a huge waiting room. I'm talking about if I counted the crowded? chairs, it'd be over hundred. Was it crowded? No, it wasn't actually, uh, and I think maybe because it was lunchtime. I have no idea. But the the method to the madness is you go up to these little kiosks, which are oh, are these big in. screens, kind of yeah. like we have for our golden Everybody's tickets. Everybody's going to that, and and it's punch in the patient's name. Yes, first two letters of the first name, first two letters of the last name, boom, birthday, do 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 do. Next, and then it'll tell you you signed Put in, your sit in. down, and wait, and and we'll be right with you. Well, I do that, and it says, uh, patient not found. And I went, hmm. So I backed out, and, and I do it again. And I'm like, Dad, it is 0809-1940, right? And he goes, yeah. And I'm like, okay, I'm doing that right. I, I hit, and it says, patient not found, no appointment. I went, oh, no. Not <laughs> good. <laughs> so I take did a it, Did he look at it and go, wah, wah, yeah. <laughs> wah. <laughs> so, uh. So and so, Dad, you know, he can't see what's going on. He goes, "What's going on?" But he heard me. T- could could kind of he a, hear you kind of going, yeah, "Oh, yeah, goodness, yeah, here yeah, we he go. hear you cussing on yeah, your breath." Yeah, and because uh, he, he he could tell something wasn't going on. Well, and I wanted to scream, "Why won't anybody help me? Somebody help me!" And and uh, and I'm like, "Well, it's just I, yeah, hang on, Dad." So then it says it commands me. It gives me a little well, thing. Commanded you. Clicked. I have no appointment, and I'm thinking, but we do. But I'll do that. So I I hit. I have no appointment. Uh, what are you here for? And I click that appointment, and then, and then it says, "Okay, sit you a down." They didn't say that, but it, I kind of did. So I, we sit down, and <laughs> we don't. So many words. We, we don't. We don't count to ten, Mister Wilbur. And yeah. and, I, and some lady behind uh, the, is that the, her voice? The screen. Yeah. She sounded like a like yeah. a pterodactyl. So, yeah, so she a lot like a she raises her hand. <laughs> she she raises her hand and waves. Yeah, uh, you wave and, back, and I'm like, "Hey, I'm over here." And yeah. I'm like, okay. Oh, wow. And so we might help me. Right. So we go over there and um and and well, what's your birthday again, Mr. Wilburn? And and so we we tell Did her. Did you and, go for the fifth time? And and your first name? Okay. And and your last name. Spell that for me. And could, could you let me see your driver's license. I'm thinking, oh no. Because you know, you know us, we we're sensing we all we would all be do the same thing. I know where this is going. Yeah. And that is we have no appointment. The appointment. We got and, up on and even though day. even though no, it's we have the appointment. They just and didn't I, put it in the system. So um I, I I just I interrupt the lady and I said, um, hey, let me ask you a question real quick. Oh, um, this great technology you got. Are are you not seeing that we have do we, are you are you your confused look and your worried look that I can see. Your wrinkled not, forehead. Yeah, yeah. My dad can't, but I can. Yeah. Is, is I can it, tell him. Yeah, right. Is it because we don't have an appointment and you're panicking because we think we do, or you can't find my dad as a patient at, at all? Uh, at all. Which, and she says I can't find him as a patient. Well, no. And I said that's a whole nother problem. I'm like, what? 
I said, you know, and then of course my dad. Well, I had surgery. You know, yeah. he, you know, he. Let he's me tell you about a patient. Right, and I, I tell spent you, how many <laughs> weeks in here. Right, and 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 this and and Roth and Bob, and so uh, and 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 she Hell said, State. It, right. He did throw it out. And he pulled out a cowbell for some reason <laughs> and started ringing it. Uh, and she's like, "Please uh, ring responsibly." Yeah. <laughs> Would you mind? Right. And so uh, she says, "Well, hang on, hang on, hang Calm on." Calm down. And she gets on the phone. And, and I look over to my left, and I know what she's doing. She's talking to the lady next to her who has a headset on. Dang the luck. And, and they're all panicking a little bit. Mm-hmm. And so they're like, Somebody okay. Somebody deleted Mr. Wilburn. Yeah, she's like, okay, if you'll go right over here to Haley, do you see her right over there? She is going to try to help you here. And I'm like, oh, no. So we go over to Haley, and, and she's punching it in, and she's looking. And I said, I said, I said, Haley, uh, what's what's going on here? Yeah. You know, you mean and then and then Dad scenarios. jumps in. He drives from Birmingham to bring. And uh, I'm, and uh, I'm like, you ever heard the Rick and Bubba's? Right, he did. He did. And, <laughs> and and I and I said, Dad, that's Mom's role. Don't in, quit embarrassing me. And uh, he well, was representing yes, your mother. Yeah. Well, I tell you, if you want to listen, and then uh, he can't see anybody, but now he's announcing to the entire mm. uh, sitting area. You ever who listens to Rick and Bubba? <laughs> Get your hands up. right. And, got their hands and, up. and so I'm like, um, I, I'm, I'm like, ma'am, are, are we? Let, let's say, let's have some real talk right here. Are we going to go see it? Are we going to see a doctor today? Yeah, we wasted a, a right, trip. right. And, and whatever the case, I'm ready to accept it. Uh, we do, we do need. Uh, Tired of stringing. We it. do need a sample of something uh, because we're we, we we're kind of in between uh, some medication that's coming in. Mm-hmm. And I said, so if we could at least knock that out, I'll know that my my two hour drive was not for nothing. And she says, well, I found him. I found him. I found him. Found him. They had him I in the wrong him. group. They I, find him, or I, did they find said, a, a slot that they could put him in? Thank no, you. Oh, suddenly I, we found him. Hamzy, it's like you were with me, because that's the first thing I said. I said, you found him as a patient, or you found the fact that we do have an appointment? And she said, well, I found him as a patient, but I'm not seeing an appointment. And I was like, do what? And so she says, let me call the doctor's scheduler, because the computer is acting weird. And I'm thinking, is this because it's leak day? And we'll be right back. Oh. Like everyone else, I'm always on the go. And you know what's the best thing to bring with me wherever I go? My Raycon Everyday Earbuds. Raycons offer amazing audio quality at half the price of other premium audio brands. Their optimized gel tips are designed to fit comfortably in your ears and to actually stay there, whether you're working out at the gym or just doing chores around the house. My Raycons come with me everywhere so I can listen at any time. With eight hours of playtime and a 32-hour battery life, I don't have to worry about whether they're up for the time. Task. Raycons also come with three customizable sound profiles, noise isolation, and awareness mode, so they're perfect for listening to anything. That explains the tens of thousands of five-star reviews right now. Get 20% off your Raycon order, plus free shipping, when you go to buyraycon.com slash bubba. That's buyraycon.com slash bubba. You can also find that link by just simply going to rickandbubba.com and looking under the sponsors But If you owe back taxes, fair warning, you're not going to like this. The IRS is mailing millions of pay-up letters. Then it's over to the 20,000 new IRS enforcement agents to find you. Why the IRS targets you and not millionaires? Because millionaires have tax lawyers. You don't. You'll pay up plus interest and penalties. You need Tax Network USA, and you need them now. Tax Network USA has brilliant war room strategies strategies to solve your IRS problems quickly and in your favor, like a preferred direct line to the IRS. They know which agents to deal with and who to avoid. It's not all bad news, folks, because Tax Network USA learned of a special limited-time IRS offer. They're willing to waive $1 billion in penalties if you qualify. Schedule your free confidential consultation to see if you qualify for this limited-time IRS penalty canceling offer. Call 1-800-245-6000. That's 1-800-245-6000. Or visit TNUSA.com slash Bubba today. TNUSA.com slash Bubba. You also can find the number and website at rickandbubba.com. Just look under the sponsors. Have you tried the Innovatives Helix Sleep Mattress yet? Well, nothing beats a great night's sleep, the kind you get with Helix. So we love them, and Helix has over 12,000 five-star reviews with customized mattresses that fit your sleep needs because they know everyone is unique. They even have big and tall mattresses and mattresses for the kids. But how do you know which mattress is right for you? 
Well, Helix has you covered. Just take the Helix Sleep Quiz and find the perfect mattress in under two minutes. Place your order and your mattress will be delivered right to the door free of charge. And the best part, Helix knows there's no better way to try a mattress than by sleeping on it in your own home. That's why they offer a 100-night trial for you and a 10- to 15-year warranty. Right now, Helix is offering 20% off all mattress orders at helixsleep.com slash Bubba. Best offer yet, by the way, and it won't last long. So if you've been waiting to try a Helix mattress, here it is. Now's the time. Head to helixsleep.com slash Bubba for 20% off your mattress order. Resolving to eat healthier this year? That was easy. Actually doing it? Not so easy. That's where Field of Greens comes in. Better nutrition is a key to health and longevity, and a healthy diet could even help you avoid health risks that run in your family. Field of Greens is your healthy superfruit and vegetable habit. It's the only fruit and vegetable product that literally promises better health at your next checkup. Your doctor will notice your improved health or your money back. Do your vitamins or green drinks promise better health? No. I love this stuff and definitely feel healthier taking it. Each superfruit and vegetable in Field of Greens was doctor selected for a specific health benefit. Some support your heart, lungs, and kidneys. Others support metabolism for healthy energy and weight loss. If you're resolved to get healthier in 2024, it starts with Field of Greens. And we got you a 15% off first order with free rush shipping. Visit fieldofgreens.com. Use the promo code Bubba for 15% off. Or go to rickandbubba.com. Find the link under sponsors. Cold winter mornings are perfect for staying under the cover and having breakfast in bed. HelloFresh supports that dream because they're giving away one free breakfast item with every single HelloFresh delivery for life. That means while you are a HelloFresh subscriber, not only will you enjoy the pick of the tasty dinner recipes they're known for, you'll also enjoy breakfast for free. HelloFresh actually has you covered for every mealtime occasion with a delicious array of quick lunches, sides, snacks, apps, dessert, and more. And not only does HelloFresh help you cut back on extra trips to the grocery store, but their pre-portioned ingredients help eliminate excess food waste. This new year, make eating better and saving money a priority and make it easy with America's number one meal kit. Join HelloFresh today and get free breakfast for life with the code Bubba at HelloFresh.com slash Bubba. That's one free breakfast item per box while subscription is active with the code Bubba at HelloFresh.com slash Bubba or find the link at RickandBubba.com under the sponsors. The gravy, please. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Ooh, it brings me to my knees. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. I can't start another. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Day without him, brother. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Ooh, there is no other. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. All right, uh, 25 minutes until top of the hour. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. Uh, I apologize. I did not plan for this story to go so long, but I, I'm just, I'm just going through. Uh, uh, my day yesterday trying to get my dad uh, checked in to his cardiologist uh, in Huntsville. Uh, I'll peel out of here post-show, get RBU set up, and I'm out uh, and uh, make uh, the trip there uh, and, and grab dad, and we get uh, to the doctor's office uh, with a minute to spare. Uh, we go to the check-in kiosk, and it says he's not a patient and doesn't have an appointment when we know both are incorrect. So uh, we suddenly get uh, called Mr. Wilburn, uh, come to the little um, to the to the desk, and and then now we're trying to figure out why the system is not showing him as a patient that he's been there for years, uh, and why it shows no appointment, uh, and and so we're trying to figure that one scenarios out. Scenarios on why that could happen. Yes, exactly. W- one of them is dad's dad saying, well, you know, it's leap year, and we just added today. It, could the system be malfunctioning? Because that's she, not a a bad thought. No, it's not. And and cuz she said there's a lot of red on my 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 scheduling screen. You're not the only patient. It looks like a ton of patients have canceled. And so now she's wondering, is it the system that's canceling them or what's happening? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And so she said, "Let me call the doctor's personal scheduler and his head nurse who of course everybody's on lunch." All right. And uh and it was a 12:30 appointment. We're leaning on 12:50, 12:55 now. Everybody's coming back from lunch at one. And I said, well, while we're waiting, can you get the sample going and, and, you know, uh, to get us to, you know, his other stuff's coming in. It did. It came in last night actually, but, 
I'm like, let's at least get that. Yes, sir, we'll get that going. So we sit down, and and Dad is is, is disgusted by it all. But he's he's of course polite even when he's disgusted. And now I'm I'm thinking, okay, what what are we gonna do here? And I we start looking at, at like my schedule and when we're gonna reschedule. And she says, Mr. Welburn, come up here. And so she calls me back and and I go up. She goes, I see what happened. And I said, You do? She goes, Yes, I, I've got him. I found him as a patient. That's good. That's a win. That's I'm like, Well, that's awesome. And she said, I see where last February twenty I said, Yeah, we February twenty seventh at two thirty we had an appointment. And at the end of the appointment, we go to the scheduler. She schedules us, and I put it in my calendar, and and, and my dad gets the notification. And she said, that's, that's correct. That happened. Yeah, they and and she said, so it's for the 29th at 1230. And I'm like, so you see it. That's us. So so that's us. She said, but seven minutes after y'all left, it was changed to March the 7th at 2 o'clock or something Nobody like that. And I was like, whoa, 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 what are you talking about? I said, first of all, uh, we would never, just because I know my schedule uh, is actually March 8th, I said, we would never schedule an appointment on a Friday. We just wouldn't. And March 8th lands on a Friday. So I know that wasn't an option because y'all would have said a year ago, does that work for you? And I would have said no. And I said, so when we left, we were told yeah. March 29th at 1230, you got somebody else's and day. we were never notified. And she said, I am so sorry. We're trying to figure this out. And I said, is he even in the office today? Well, he had to teach a clinic or something. To sm- I said, so that's oh, a no. No. And so, and she's like, we could probably reschedule this, that, and the other. And I'm thinking, what do I do? Mm. Dad's getting frustrated. Can he? And now, then here comes the nurse, the head nurse, and she's got his sample. And uh, while we're talking, the other kind lady that was trying to figure it out, she screamed. She said, how about seeing a nurse practitioner today? Would you do that? Done. And I said, well, yeah, we'd do that. Absolutely. Because y'all are just going to. Just a little, little yeah, checkup. Yeah, y'all going to, y'all going y'all gonna, to like plug him in and, and, and do the little EKG thing yeah. or whatever. You're going to check his blood pressure. You're going to go over his medication. Are you going to. Uh, schedule an ultrasound on his heart because it's been a couple of years. So yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine with us. It, and we'll what well, about one fifteen? I said we'll take it. Yeah. You know, we're close. So they were very kind. So we go back and and the nurse practitioner was an all star. She was you know I will I'll, can I say this some some nurse practitioners are a little bit more thorough than the doctor. Yeah. Yeah, I've heard that. Mm. Well, and I think and I'm not saying that this is the case here, but I, I mean, I don't. Know. That's the reason not, I. That's the reason I took it. Well, I think I was they're like, instructed to be, so yeah. the doctor can kind of do the yeah. the summary of it all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and so she was very thorough, very kind, and we get out of there. But now it's it's on it's on into the day yeah. now. At what and point were you mad during the process? I, I actually I told Terry I said I, I actually kept my cool because. It wasn't because they were trying to be helpful. Well, and it wasn't their fault. Now, I if mean, they were being like, "That's on you," yeah, you know, something like that. I, my main thing is, I wanted to know <laughs> how, how it happened, you don't know when you how, it, how it happened, why it happened, and what are we going to do to fix it? <clears throat> but but it, these fine people, it wasn't their fault. They were trying to fix the problem. So you cussed just two people, yeah, maybe under my breath. Okay. Uh, and so uh, I, I get Dad back, and Reese had one request from me while I was in town because he you know he's up in Huntsville now, working yeah. uh, just north of Huntsville at this almost million, million, million foot, square foot uh, facility that's being built. And uh, th- they're out in the trenches all day long, and, and it's been a little chilly. Oh, yeah. And he said, Dad, Land for the love, could you please grab me some thermals if, if you're in town? It, it, you know, so, you know, most folks, have, they've done with that. They're, they're putting their spring stuff out. So I yeah. told Dad, I said, let me, let me drop you off and then run to the store. And if I don't see any, then I'm just tell, I'll just tell him he's on his own, you know. And then the way the day had went, you probably felt like you weren't going to see him. Yeah, yeah, and um, r- correct because I my go- my goal was to be back through Birmingham before rush hour because I don't know if you've you've tried to cute. go north to south through through the junction. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if you've tried that or not lately, but I haven't, it, man, it, you'll I'm, see a lot of I'm red li- you'll it. see a lot of red lines, and you'll see it takes an hour to get from downtown to your house. That takes normally twenty minutes. Wow. Uh, you'll see that. So I'm trying to race against that, and I realize, okay, I, I can't do anything I'm about caught. it. I, I'm going to be in rush hour. Yeah. Mm. So I go around the corner, got lucky enough. There's some thermals. Went back, threw them, threw them on the ba- on his bed, which is my old room, which felt kind of weird, mm. and uh, said, hey, try them on. If they fit, they fit. If they don't, they don't. Well, Terry had given me a bag that we forgot to pack of some Yeti Rattler coffee j- mugs kind of thing. And uh, like a really nice flashlight of his, 
and his hunting boots, his rubber, uh, you know, yeah. mid shin hunting boots, because they're down in trenches right now, uh, doing some bunch of stuff, and uh, everything's just muddy, old Alabama clay and stuff. Sure. It's just nasty. And uh, so th- she gave me one job, and that is leave those with him. Well, I, I peel out of there. I knew I wasn't going to see JC because he was at practice. And I fly by, fly by UAH, go by, past the rocket. And I know I need to get through Madison, uh, you know, because it'll bottleneck there at Toyota Field. I get past it, almost get to the interstate. And I said, man, I need a snack. So I reach back to get a power bar, and there sits – the bag I'm supposed to leave him. Oh, his no. hunting boots are, are behind you the seat. A, I do that all the time. And I'm like, what am I going to do? So I said, I guess I'm going to teach Calvin a lesson. Do you understand? I've done that so many times. I, I'm, I'm back, y'all. I am back past the uh, Huntsville International you Airport, know. and <laughs> I am almost at Interstate 65. And you had to turn around. And I had I swung around, and I'm like, oh, he re- he needs this stuff. You had to make the call. Do I? Do I just go sorry? I, I, get right, it later. Right. And he is off in the mud and stuff. And, and I'm thinking, I told him I was going to do it. I've got to do it. So I swing around. Well, that it, it just so loser. happens that I get notification JC has left UAH baseball uh, and in the campus and has returned to his house. So I'm thinking, I'll call him. And he is, he's right off Jordan Lane, which is right there. Major. That's the. I'll drop off at his house and just tell Reese to go by his house on the way home and, and, and get his stuff. Well, that's kind of on the way back from Tony, Alabama, kind of. Better. But not really. Better than what you had. Uh, and so I did, and I got to see actually JC, left him a bag, then called Reese and told him, uh, hey, man, I, I forgot everything. It's at JC's. You're going to have to go by and get it. Yeah. He sorry. said, that's fine. I'll do it. So I get back on the road, and I get about Gardendale, which is north of town, and it starts trying to send me in different directions. 65 is shut down. down. 59.20's got a wreck. And it's got me off going mm. through God knows where, sub, like little streets oh. left and right. But, but it, I taught myself a lesson because if I hadn't forgot his bag, I think I would have beat that traffic. So that was my day yesterday. It was a hectic day. Good thing you didn't get all the way home and then go get out and look and go, oh, great. Hey, I, if I've I didn't want to snack, I would have done that. Seriously, when I'm, I'm supposed to leave something somewhere or pick something up, if I don't write a note or something, I'll forget. Yeah, I should have moved I should have moved it to the front seat. Because even Dad and I were talking about, hey, don't forget those. I mean, we oh, were talking bad. about it during the day. Yeah. And it's just all the chaos. I just take off. and Y'all, I had made it all the way back to, to the 65 to get on. Yeah. And I realize, oh my gosh, what am I going to do? But at, le- at least JC's house was closer than going all the way back down to Southeast Huntsville. Yeah, I don't know if I'd have done that. Mm. I might have just said, "Hey, son, I set it on the side of the road." Yeah, I'm gonna, <laughs> there's a gas station down there. I'm going to put it up under the Coke machine. <laughs> hey, you don't think I was thinking that? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey, son, I'm going to stop off at UAH campus and I'm going to put it. Uh... <laughs> and I do stuff like that constantly. I was like, "What is wrong with you?" But anyway. I but couldn't you believe survived it. it. I, I survived you it. You got everything delivered. Now, granted, you had to double back, but besides yeah, that. Yeah, but we did find out that Dad was a patient and did get to be seen. He did. And I had to wrestle that bear. Yeah, yeah. Well. You, you got introduced as Speedy of the Rick and Bubba Show to some new yeah, people. He announced it to everybody. <laughs> and then announced, then announced it again to the nurse practitioner. Okay, well. Um, and announced it to the fine young lady that was taking his blood pressure. <laughs> <laughs> so good. I'm like, Dad, this is this is mom's job to embarrass me. What <laughs> Look, I doing? thought I was out of it. <laughs> Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Dog parents are loving Dr. Marty's Nature's Blend Premium Dog Food. The way she acts and the way she moves, it's just so much better. And she actually, she's like a puppy again. It's unbelievable. Dr. Marty's Nature's Blend is a freeze-dried raw food made with zero artificial preservatives. So it's naturally shelf-stable with no mess, freezer, or fridge required. Plus, it's full of premium turkey, beef, salmon, and meat your dog will love. We started with Nature's Blend. She's happy. She sleeps well. She's energetic. I am just delighted with this product. When given the choice, Nature's Blend and Amazon's number one bestseller in dry dog food. 29 out of 30 dogs chose Nature's Blend first. I am so confident your dog will love it. Your order is back with a 90-day guarantee. Save up to 54% off Nature's Blend and get a free bag of delicious beef liver treats. Go to drmartypets.com slash treat or text treat to 511-511. Text treat to 511-511. All pets are unique. Your pets results can and will vary. Message and data rates may apply. Studies available upon request. Paid for by Dr. Marty's Pets. It's sweet. 
switching your wireless service to Total by Verizon easy. Totalmente. And you get unlimited 5G data, $25 a line for four lines on the unlimited plan, Totalmente. at an amazing price Totalmente. with no contracts. Totalmente. Should you switch to Total by Verizon? Definitely. Uh, I mean, Totalmente. find a store or switch suavemente at totalbyverizon.com. Monthly rate when you activate without a pay, plus taxes and fees. Discount begins the month after you enroll. Additional terms apply. See website for data management practices. Wendy's new breakfast two for three dollar biggie bundles let you create your own delicious combo. Choose from a sausage biscuit, egg and cheese biscuit, small seasoned potatoes, and a medium hot coffee. But it's obvious which combo's the best. Sausage biscuit and small seasoned potatoes. Well, maybe it's the fresh cracked egg and cheese biscuit with a medium hot coffee or two savory sausage biscuits yeah uh, whichever you pick you can't go wrong choose wisely choose wendy's new two for three dollar biggie bundles limited time only u.s price of participation may vary not valid in a combo single item at regular price when you wake up well rested on a great mattress everything becomes clear i do overthink everything things you missed when you were tired finally reveal themselves i should just get fake plants It's the President's Day sale at Mattress Firm. Get a king bed for a queen price. Save up to $700 plus a free adjustable base with select Sealy mattresses. See a lower price? We'll match it. The right mattress matters. We'll find yours. Restrictions apply. See store or website for details. This year, Dell Technologies wants to help you do amazing things with their best tech. For a limited time only, save on select next-gen PCs like the XPS 13 Plus, powered by Intel Core processors and more. Plus, curate your dream setup with great deals on select monitors, mice, and more must-have electronics and accessories. When you shop online at dell.com slash deals, you'll have access to leading-edge technology to match your forward-thinking spirit and free shipping on everything. Again, that's dell.com slash deals. There's a popular saying out there, health is wealth, and folks, I couldn't agree more. Some of you may be living with everyday pain. Now, this can affect so many parts of your daily life. I mean, it can affect the mood, uh, your sleep. What about missing out on activities? Our friends at Relief Factor offer a natural way to relieve that pain. It's 100% drug-free. Developed by doctors, Relief Factor uses a unique formula of natural ingredients to help reduce or eliminate everyday aches and pains. Now, unlike pills that just mask the pain for a short time, Relief Factor helps support your body's natural response to inflammation. So you feel better all day, every day. Over one million people have tried Relief Factor, and here on our team, several of us have tried it. So let's get you a special deal, and let's see if we can help you too. Go right now and see if Relief Factor can work with you with their three-week quick start kit that's only $19.95. Now, this is a great price to try it out for three weeks. You'll know in three weeks. You will feel the difference and know it works. You can also find the link at rickandbubba.com under the sponsors. Debt woo, keeps you tossing and turning at night. You can't get away from it. But the truth is the system is designed to trap you in debt. Insanely high interest credit cards and loans make it nearly impossible to pay off your debt. There's a new way out of the debt trap. Pivotal Debt Solutions. Pivotal Debt Solutions isn't like the old school debt relief companies that string your debt out for years. They have new aggressive strategies that can end your debt faster and easier than you thought possible. Pivotal Debt Solutions can cut or even eliminate interest. They find programs to write off your balances so you owe less. Pivotal Debt Solutions can stop those threatening phone calls without bankruptcy and without a loan. The bottom line, they find every solution possible to end your debt. Permanently. Before you do anything, contact Pivotal Debt Solutions first. Talk to them for free. Find out how fast they can help you get out of debt. Just visit zapmydebt.com. That's zapmydebt.com, zapmydebt.com, or rickandbubba.com under the sponsors button. The gravy, please. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Ooh, it brings me to my knees. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. I can't start another. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Day without. All right, we're rolling back. It's nine minutes until top of the hour. Thank you so much for tuning in. Y'all's mics are hot. Just want to let you know you can't hear that because your headphones aren't on, but just want to let y'all know. Well, at least um, we didn't cuss. Yeah. Um, so, like that little kid we saw earlier. <laughs> Uh, this portion trend. of the show, look, taxes are on a lot of people's minds taxes, right now. Trying to, make a dime. trying to get it done. And zapmydebt.com Zap says, look, folks, uh, because 
uh, of your situation yeah. and you're tossing and turning at night. You can't sleep. You're worried. You're frustrated. Uh, and, you know, the system design is de- designed to trap you in debt as the hole keeps getting deeper if you're in uh, a tax situation. Insanely high interest rates when it comes to uh, credit cards and, and loans. And uh, it's just a mess. So zapmydebt.com is, is where you can go to take the worry away. And you need to, before you do anything else today, uh, when it comes to uh, finding a solution that uh, maybe can end your debt, uh, worry uh, permanently, go to zapmydebt.com and talk to them for free. Find out how fast they can help you get out of debt. Uh, it's just a stressful time if you let it get to you when you add taxes and debt and everything else is just a mess uh, right now. But zapmydebt.com can help you take the debt out of uh, your concern. Uh, so give them a holler today at zapmydebt.com. Take a look at it. Uh, you can also go to rickandbubba.com. Uh, under the sponsors button as well. Had a very uh, had somebody uh, uh, call me during the break and said, you know, you turning around uh, to go drop the bag back off at JC's might have kept you out of the wreck. You ended up getting behind in Birmingham. That's a pretty good perspective on that. Little, um, somebody looking over you, Greg. Uh, we we kept a story out of yesterday's show simply because um, you weren't here. And okay. and uh, I just want you to re- I want to read you the headline. Helmsy and I just wanted to give you a gift today. I'd go with it. Woman has tongue larger than a <laughs> soda can. I actually showed Greg this the day before. What? Yeah, holds yeah. record. I, I've it's been sitting on my desk. Yeah, I won't bring it. When in. you say soda can, that means just that's thick. Yes. Yeah. yeah oh, it's it just a long. It's oh, not it's, Gene Simmons' no. long. She time. can barely feed it. Get fit it out of her mouth. It's so. You know, thick. I went to school with guys like. Uh, a woman in Oregon has been oh, recognized by Guinness World Records oh, for no. having a, t- uh, a, a tongue. Um, Is it width? Well, Obviously, we're going. Yeah, cir- yeah the circumference. Cir- circumference. Circumference. Uh, circumference. Thank you. Buddha. Girth. Speaking of tongues, yep. I couldn't get mine together. Girth. Stay Larger with girth. than the size of a soda can. That's incredible. Uh, oh, Jenny has a Jenny <laughs> has a tongue measuring 5.21 <laughs> inches around, <laughs> the largest of any Beer woman in tongue. the world. Beer can tongue. It'd be like this phone. Yeah. Guys. That's how big her tongue is. Her Good wide, night that's, a the lot. Girth, that's the girth of her tongue. Imagine mm. her sticking that in no, your eye. No, yeah, imagine that. Mm. That would get both eyes. Yeah, it would. Uh, but how does she... How does she travel? I don't know. I, I mean, I, is she just walking around her tongue sticking out, or can she can she coil it up? Or I mean, how I don't she... know. But you know, you and I stopped chewing gum because we kept biting oh, the yeah. side of our tongue. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I, she, there's no way she can oh, chew I bet gum. She's bit... I mean, I hear. I mean, how do you eat? How do you? I mean, that's just her. Uh, uh, her dentist officially can. put it up in your mouth. See how big that is. I know her dentist officially measured her tongue. Picture that. So he said, man, this is big, and we need to measure it. With floss in uh, May 17th of 2023, I guess he, he kind of just figured, So they figured checked, and out. someone currently was holding the record, and they beat it. Um, she told Guinness she has to flex her tongue to measure it because if my tongue was always that large, I don't think I'd be able to talk, she said. Oh, so so she flexes it like a muscle. Mm-hmm. So it's, it's, it's I guess, fairly normal mm-hmm. until she does the... Mm-hmm. Can you do a tongue reduction surgery? You know, I bet you can. You, oh yeah, there's a lot of oh, yeah. Yeah. surgery. I think so. There. I mean, Bubba suffers from a large tongue, and he could probably weigh in on that. Now, he but and I think this, so. this girl's close. No, I just How wonder if this? it messes with your taste buds and stuff. Yeah, you, you can't be cutting yeah. off your yeah. tongue. How about it gets better? She plays the flute with her she, tongue. She's no, she plays the flute, and she <laughs> says she contributes uh, her strong <laughs> tongue to the fact that she can play. Fast notes. So that makes her better. Mm-hmm. So she, her tongue's like a bodybuilder. Mm-hmm. She said, "When you articulate a note on a flute, they actually call it tonguing." <laughs> and she said, "I can tongue." Beatty, they like don't call nobody. it that. Tonguing. She said, "They, I can tongue like nobody's I, business." I did add that. <laughs> okay, I was going to say, <laughs> but I, I think, think that's what tongue, she was you saying. Ain't say nothing. She, I think that's what she was saying. She said, "Because my so large tongue." Her tongue's fairly normal until she flexes, mm-hmm. and then it gets bigger than well, a can. Yeah, it's big. It sits when it sits her her. Uh, it mm-hmm. sits underneath her teeth when it's in her oh, mouth. Oh wow! Really? You got so many questions. No, I added Ooh. that too. Oh, did you add that? Yeah, Dang but I, in it. my I mind, I'm picturing how. One. Well, think about it. Picture, uh, get, get a can and see if you can get it in your mouth. I bet you could get choked, huh? Get, get Adler, get Adler to get a coke can and see if he can get it in his mouth. That's her tongue. I'm that's sorry, Adler. You walked into that. That's the first sorry, thing. He, buddy. That's the first thing he heard all day. The boy travels with a lot of bags. He does. He? he does. 
Uh, he Looks might, like a Sherpa. I think he's got jujitsu today. Oh. All right. Uh, you know, okay. So anyway, I just okay. wanted, to, I, I, I wanted to give you all that. So it's called tonguing. It's called, yeah, I think so. Playing the flute? Yeah. I'd like to see this tongue in person. You hear you, me? Uh, really? I would. Mm-hmm. I'd I like go, to wow, look at that tongue. Do you think I'd Jim- like to touch it, feel it, see what's, <laughs> see like what's, uh, but, like I like if you would it go in if you mash it you know gloves, that kind of thing. Have you ever felt your? Well, I don't care about that. You know? No, nah, I want to feel the. T- I want to. I want her to do that thing where it enlarges, and I want to oh, yeah. feel how mm-hmm. you know. Something about that almost feels like it's the salt. And you know? and here's mm-hmm. the thing, I I never thought about this. Like I I want to ask Dr. Dudney about this because mm-hmm. he sees tongues every day. He, he does. About it. Imagine how many tongues. And has he ever had a patient where he thought, my gosh, they could win the world record here mm-hmm. with oh, their tongue? Speaking, you know what I mean? Speaking I of like, dentists, he sees that dentist it. Did. Yeah. I wonder because you know when, when you're getting a wall when hanger. you're getting your cleaning. <laughs> When you're getting your cleaning, uh, you know, it's tough. you got to get your tongue out oh, of the yeah. way. Yeah. Oh, Imagine yeah. the battle with her. Do you think somebody has to come in and just be a tongue holder? I think Probably. So. And go, hey, I'm going to get, I'm, you know, I'm gonna get yeah. it up. Um, uh, <laughs> I'm in the tongue. Hey, I'm going to need some help in here. I <laughs> right. need some help in here with this tongue. <laughs> right. I need, a, tongue. I need a tongue holder. We're tonguing. Um, Chris, you got a large tongue in here. Get in here. Large Come look tongue. at this. Bring the tongue holder. <laughs> Bring I know we don't use it a lot. It's going to take you a minute to find it. We need a measurement. Bring some floss. We need to measure this thing for the Guinness. Y'all, Maybe it's as, a record holder. It's as, it's as, it's as, it's as thick as a, a Coke can. I Which wish you had a tongue like that. Which is the same thickness of this. <laughs> Think about that. Oh, wow. Do what? I See, put my tongue, compare it. That's mm-hmm. unbelievable. I'll, yeah. See if you can see if you can get Y'all, this stapler in your mouth. There, y'all is a can drink. That would be the size of the tongue. Well, this is the size of the drink, right? This uh-huh. is a Coke can. If you <laughs> stuck, it, that's it uh, right yeah. there. Look it right it. there. Wow, that's a lot of tongue. All right, that's a lot of tongue. So, Speedy, anyway. I'd like you to have that tongue just for one day. <laughs> just one day, just so we could all laugh at it. <laughs> okay, thank you. By the way, he did some voice yesterday. Uh-huh. Well, he was actually making fun of somebody like he does when they call. Oh, and yeah. somebody called in the last hour. I don't know why he and I'm mad I didn't think about this, but they wanted him to use that voice the entire kickoff hour. I, I think you were on the phone. So he has not done I it can't yet. Rem- because I can't remember what and, it sounded like. I gotta and hear I'm mad at myself that I we didn't I I bring this up. I didn't realize it. Uh, uh, it I, was. It I, was similar to yeah, that. Yeah, I just I need to hear it again because yeah. I can't. Somebody go there. called in yesterday I and said they like when he them. made fun. He likes they like when he makes fun of callers. Yeah, Greg, the very next caller yeah. had a voice that he could not let go. It's, it's and, like uncontrolled. Uh, yes, it was an idea. I can't remember, but it was. I you, can't. They want you to do the whole kickoff hour. Yes, with that voice? in that voice. Oh, yes, I'm up yes for like that. that. All right, we'll take a break. We'll be right back. I just bit my tongue, by the way. Bubba, Rick and Bubba. And I was like, his tax plan. So he went in, and the school is pushing for him to do this. Of course. I, that's what I don't remember. Of course. It was the school is where he's getting all this from. Because he came home and called me a liberal before, and I'm like, where do you get that? Yeah. So, I mean, I, there's Y'all nothing get, look, liberal about it. Look, these colleges, I mean, I know that we're being kind of cavalier about it, but you don't understand. If your child is not solidified and resolved – on who they are and what they believe and why they believe it before they get there, then that place will create their worldview because they have no ability to filter it and discern it. And they, and it's a, it is a, it look being indoctrinated into stuff. I know we sit back at our age much wiser and we've learned, but when you're young and impressionable, you know, especially when you're only getting half the truth and, and you're getting propaganda statements and, and things like that, you start thinking, well, this is so loving and kind and, but but I got news for your son as you try to tell him Bernie's tax plan is going to take a lot of his hard earned money. I don't care what class you're in, because to finance what Bernie Sanders wants to give away will cost everybody a ton of money. And goes back to what Bubba said. It goes back to what Paul Cleveland said in our podcast this weekend, Rick and Bubba University. There isn't. It does not exist. Free lunch does not exist. Mm-hmm. And, um, and you know, your son is going to work really hard, and if Bernie Sanders has his way, Bernie's going to take just about everything that he earns and squander it on, on terrible government programs that never produce what they're supposed to. And trying to buy votes. Yeah, and trying yeah. to buy votes. But, but, but you, you got, you got to, you know, you got to remind him, you know, that, uh, that the, 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 the garbage he's being shoveled um, is just garbage. That, that's all it is. And that's the problem with these colleges, and, and we should have never allowed these institutions to become what they are. But um, I'm, I'm telling you, it, it, it is not 
And, of course, the universities are pushing it because it's going to be free just to the people, but the government's going to be paying it. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. They're going to get yeah. They're pushing the crap out of it. Well, they're yeah. going to be in the same place. That, a lot with a student loan. With a student. Yeah. Yeah. They're, yeah. Gonna yeah, they get they're their getting money their money. Yeah. You, you beat it to me. <laughs> the student loan program is tremendous for the universities. Yeah. You know, they, they get paid. And yeah. so they love for you to build up student loan debts because they got their money. And then for the rest of your life, that student loan bunch – will destroy you financially if you don't stay on top of it. Mm-hmm. Look, See, I've, I've talked to people, friends of mine, that it's happened to. Bernie's <laughs> revealed his plan, his taxes, yeah. going to new taxes, so also massive lawsuits against the fossil fuel industry, mm-hmm. and he's putting a tax on Wall Street speculation. That's how he claims he's going to find and cut military. Let me ask you this. That's I, how he's I've finance heard two or three this. of these left-wingers uh, – they want to tax Wall Street speculation. Exactly what is that? Does anybody know it what they're It said the proposed about? would place a 0.5% tax on stock trades, 50 cents on every $100 of stock. Well, how is and that? And 0.1% percent fee on bond trades and 0.005% on derivative trades. I don't know. It's just some kind of fee that they're putting on. They're, they're, they're not, it's not a speculation. It's just a, a stock transaction fee, it sounds That's what it like. sounds like, yeah. And then now we're also we're going to sue all the fossil fuel that'll companies. Be great. We're going to get billions Not, from that, them. That'll work out for us. Well, yeah, that'll, that'll, that'll trickle hey, down. That'll yeah. be really good. That'll be, yeah, that'll, that'll, be that'll run that cost per gallon on up. Mm-hmm. Don't forget. Yep. And don't forget and Elizabeth, jobs Elizabeth and Warren's else. whatever needs to be invented that she didn't know what it is that hasn't yeah. been invented. So if you start yeah. hammering it to above us, I feel like it's romper room. Hammering you know the fossil fuel companies when you don't have an alternative that can do what they can do, that's going to lead to what you both said, higher gasoline prices or – Gasoline shortages again. And look at the jobs tied to that industry. Look, it's all going, it all works so right well in Venezuela. That's a real modern example we can look at at what they were and what they are now. Dandy. We'll take your phone calls when we come back, and we have some there we'll deal with. So if you're on hold, really, standby. socialism is just greed for the ruling class. That's, That's what it. it is. And everybody else gets the scrap. Fifteen minutes to the top of the hour. Rick and Bubba. Rick and Bubba. This is the Rick and Bubba Show. Watch more at blazetv.com slash Rick and Bubba. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Six minutes past the hour. The Rick and Bubba Show. Thank you for being with us uh, as uh, we start another hour, wrapping up another week in Rick and Bubba history. Uh, This hour starts with the national anthem.
seven and a half minutes past the hour of the Rick and Bubba show. Thank you for being with us today. As uh, we roll through another uh, Rick and Bubba show. And uh, we do have um, a lot to cover on the program today. You can be part of it uh, at 866-WE-BE-BIG. Now, when, when I talk about we got a lot to cover on the program today, we got the wonderful will of Can Meat, our, our golden ticket seat guest, get a chance at that today. Uh, so that's happening. It's Read Across America, uh, Rick and Bubba's world's largest classroom. We have that today. Uh, also, um, is there a history uh, of you uh, out on the Internet that isn't right? Uh, we'll take a look at that today. An interesting find yesterday by one Bill Bubba Bussy, which uh, on both of us. So we'll talk about that a little bit today. The real Greg Burgess is back. Speedy is also here. Helmsy, Eddie Van Adler settles in. Uh, for the YouTube experience. So hello to the tubers uh, if you're watching this live or the archive. And uh, hello to all of you listening to America's boldest radio stations on the live option on the Rick and Bubba radio network or our TuneIn app. And if you're on the archive option, uh, we say hello to you as well, whether that be on YouTube that I just mentioned or our podcast channel where the daily archives are there or maybe uh, you're watching us on Blaze TV. However you're here, we are thankful that you're here. If you'd like to find all the different ways to get every ounce of the Rick and Bubba show, you can do that by simply going to rickandbubba.com. Bring him in here, the silver tone one, the man with a golden voice, professional lunch eaters, man of the year, the inventor of pizza and a cup, Shakespeare's worst nightmare, and the master out of Kang's English. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Bill Bubba Bussy! How about it, Rick Burgess? Friends, neighbors, associates everywhere, welcome in to the little party called Rick and Bubba. Chicago, where do you put Chicago on your list? Uh, they're pretty good, pretty good. They they really were more popular before I really got into listening to music. Okay, yeah. Little little ahead of my time. They kind of uh, seventy. Well, now they had 70s. that eighties run. They had uh, yeah, they run. had a little bit of that. Yeah. Do you put them because of that eighties run on that list of the long standing brands that just when you thought they'd go away, they'd come back and hit you hit you with hard to say I'm sorry and. Uh, you know all yeah, that. They little, had a whole uh, rewrite in the yeah. redo in the eighties. Yeah, they they have a bunch of different pitches they throw. Well, you know, not as, to not me, as much brass. They're mm -hmm. they're yeah. part of that uh, great mix of things that made the decade of the eighties yeah. the greatest decade mankind has ever seen. I, I don't even think it's up for debate anymore. No, uh, no. I mean, I think that's that, I mean, that has been crowned. And what do you? Now, do? I would like to bring the eighties back, say in the twenties. Right, right, but uh, we're not really <laughs> off to a good start. Still, Maybe the thirties. Do you still weep? Do I still weep for it? Yes, yeah, I do. Right. When I talk to kids uh, all the time, and you know, mine will go, "Dad, tell me, tell, tell me about me. the eighties. Tell me about the eighties. Tell us about when you used to go to the disco. <laughs> and, and, about uh, the eighties in know, the disco. So. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. So, Father, tell us about when Reagan had the Russians on the run. On Father, the run? Father, tell yeah. us when interest rates were low. 
Uh, so uh, <laughs> they were how high before Reagan? <laughs> Father, tell us, Father, tell us when groceries were below two fifty. Uh, so Bubba, hello there. Shaving a haircut. Well, my yep. goodness, All you right. got that. Fair you got enough. that. I got yeah. that done. Had to get that summer cut. I'm got, looking like a hippie. I got high and tight, baby. I started looking. to borrow a, a rubber band from uh, Adler to put my hair up. Yes. Back, you know. Let me tell you, you lean and mean today, brother. Yeah, uh, yeah. Coming yeah. in at six foot two, two twenty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. So, so they say. Father yeah. of three. Uh, let me tell you something. <laughs> That was absolutely <laughs> hilarious. So we'll talk about that coming up on the show. Y'all don't even know what we're talking about yet, but we'll yeah, talk well, about we're that. We're going to bring that up here shortly. Uh, we got the golden ticket seats coming in, as mentioned. Uh, we'll be spinning the giant wheel, or they will, the uh, giant wheel of canned meat today. Uh, a new Rick and Bubba University, the podcast. Uh, I found Gary Burley to be fascinating. Gary was very interesting, uh, quite a character, mm-hmm. and uh, he, uh, of course, has played professional football with the Bengals, been in Super Bowls. You know, done all that kind of stuff, and uh, but he was uh, he was part of a trendsetter, and him and uh, and and Donna is it? How do you say her last name? Frank Avila. Frank Avila. Uh-huh. Uh huh. They put this book out on some of the people who were crossing the line, so to speak, in sports and uh, and moving their our racial justice forward in this country, and it's a very interesting story. Yeah, and that's Bubba. You and I said, and they did this on purpose. A lot of names that are pioneers and heroes. Uh, of crossing some of those barriers for professional athletes of color that I had never even heard of. Yeah, I hadn't either. So, uh, but we'll we'll talk about that. But Gary's life as well. He played ten years in the NFL. Most all of that with the Cincinnati Bengals, including the Super Bowl, uh, where Mister One Joe Montana put together the John Candy drive uh, <laughs> to beat him. Uh, Gary was the defensive end, and we asked him about some of the players that he played against in the, those years. And what it was like to play the Steelers in the seventies, he said that was that sounded like a lot of fun. Yeah. Uh, so uh, so anyway, we'll talk. We talked to Gary about that. Uh, and but the how, thing, how about I was shocked that uh, he went to Pittsburgh. Yeah. The he was drafted in the third round. Yeah. Uh, out of there, but that uh, the assassin was one of his mentors. Yeah. Which I had no idea. Jack Tatum. Jack Tatum was the one who convinced him he could play at a high level. How about and, that? And so, uh, so anyway, and so then he, Tony Dorsett was a, a roommate, mm, roommate for a little while. Yeah, yep. that's cool. So anyway, all that this yeah. weekend. So enjoy that. And you know, the, the book "Glory: The Struggle for Yards." You can find that on Amazon. I, I think it, there's a lot in this book, and and it's kind of like our show. It's a little bit of everything. If you don't believe it, I'm going to read you a quote about the book. Okay, "Glory," the name of the book, offers in speci- uh, inspirational quotes from Charles Barkley, and is endorsed by Bootsy Collins. See, you don't see huh. that kind of range. Uh, uh, yeah, you know what I mean. Not and the great boots. Just comes. when you think the well, P-Funk All Stars, it's all going to be about football oh, and, and basketball. They're good friends. Yeah, really? talk but all the time. That is hilarious. Bootsy Collins and Gary Burley are good friends. Well, how about that? Right. Oh, so anyway, Bootsy slap at bay. Yes, you could. So anyway, enjoy enjoy the book. It's out there everywhere, and catch that this weekend on Rick and Bub University, the podcast, wherever you get podcasts. All right, let's start unpacking uh, some of the things we want to cover on the show today. Your phone calls will be part of it, too, uh, at 866-WE-BE-BIG. Teachers, if you want to be part of the world's largest classroom, it'll go live at 820 Central Time uh, on the live Rick and Bubba show, or if you archive it, play it whenever you want to. But that's coming up today. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Six minutes past the hour, the Rick and Bubba show. Speedy, the real Greg Burgess, Helmsy, Eddie Man Adler, Team Rick and Bubba on the field and ready to go. Rick and Bubba interns in Rick and Bubba University, Stretch Armstrong has that covered today. He'll take your phone calls as we roar through the rest of the program. Welcome back for a brand new hour, Mr. Bill Bubba Bussy. Rick, glad to be here. Thank all of you for joining us yet again for another edition of Rick and Bubba. We do have a coronavirus update, but first, Bubba, there was someone on hold going into the last break, uh, and we felt like we needed to take her call because we just assumed some of these terms we throw around that people understand them, and this is Monroe, Louisiana, and Betty is standing by. Betty, you had a question. Yes, 
I want to know exactly what is a socialist. So, so you you're not real sure what that means. No, I'm not real sure what it means. I didn't I didn't read it. I uh, looked it up on uh, Google and right. everything, but I don't get the full concept. Okay, of it. okay. Betty, I, I yeah. think I think just pure and simple, a a socialist is someone who who subscribes to the socialism form of economics, and there there's a lot of different types. Uh, Primarily, we have capitalism and socialism is what we're talking about. But, you know, I think if you're just looking at definition, socialism is uh, where you have more state involvement. The government uh, and central planning is used to, to, to regulate and set up things and try to keep things more equitable among the working class. Now, they don't always tell you the ruling class has their own de- own deal, though. That's yeah. that's the dirty little secret of socialism, as opposed to capitalism, which kind of goes to keep the government uh, at a minimum and let market forces decide issues. And market forces are us, the people, right. how we buy, how we spend, where we decide to spend. And as a whole, that seems to work much better. That that's in in most big countries are a combination of two on on various topics. We certainly have some socialistic things here in this country, and most of those are the ones that are screwed up and don't work. Right. Um, yeah, so that was going to be my point. But uh, you you have uh, you know varying degrees, and the fact that the U.S. has been a capitalistic system and has provided the highest standard of living the world has ever seen in a fairly short amount of time is why we say that that system works and that we should reject socialism, which has been the downfall of the Soviet Union. Uh, It is what they used in Cuba. It is what they used in Venezuela. It is a form of what many of our Western democracies are using now, but it, it prevents them from having that extra drive to innovate and to come up with new things that the world has never seen before. And that's why you have so much of that that happens here in the U.S. Even foreign nationals from other places have come here to be successful and and grow and let their ideas get into the marketplace and get investment and, and, and take off from there. I mean, nobody else in the world could have invented the things we have invented here. Right. Uh, and it hasn't just been Americans, but it's been Germans, it's been Russians been Italians, but they could flourish here because of the economic environment. So, and Betty, listen to this. You know, I've, I've, I've gone to, you know, Bubba mentioned some places that are kind of scary, uh, but but you got to look at other places too. Look at France. Look at Italy today. Uh, Italy today has had a run on the government market stores, meaning the government. The, the best way to describe it is this, in, in the simplest of terms, like somebody like me would have to hear it. It, socialism means that now that the federal government is 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 has their hands in everything, they have like Bubba said they have their hands in the markets. They have the hand. There's there's no such thing as free enterprise. They might allow little pockets of it here and there, but the, the, what our founders designed, Betty, was for and we've gotten away from it, and that's been to our demise. Um, is that they wanted the the central government to be so small that you barely ever even knew they were around that your life was maximum liberty, liberty, which allowed you to achieve. Now past the hour. Welcome. Somebody say. Oh. Hey. Somebody say it again. She's a bad man, but yeah. Uh, working our way back. So teachers, if you want to be part of uh, the, the world's largest classroom, just so uh, go to tag us on social media at Rick and Bubba to be part of. Uh, of America's largest classroom and the reading of Green Eggs and Ham coming up a little bit later on for Read Across America, uh, which always reminds Greg and I that it's our sister's birthday tomorrow, uh, right? That's the actual day, second. Uh, yes. Is, the second. Or is it on the third? It's the second. Yeah, I know we're having the birthday party on the third, but it's. anniversary is the fourth. I, get, I got a lot of you stuff. You get it up. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, what so, a weekend. But Blake's anyway, our sister, day. Angie Burgess, Burgess, this weekend, fit it. Woo. I'm fit it. 
Uh, so that's coming up this weekend. So uh, so anyway, we'll celebrate wow. that and have you a report coming up on Monday, which will be Greg and Lisa's anniversary. Yep. Uh, all right. So Bubba, let's what what happened yesterday? You. You, so you sent this email and and I so this is just funny. Yeah, it uh, is. It really it, it, and it, it speaks it, to the times we're living in. Yeah. Though I mean, people can it's it, really just kind of, say anything. It's kind and, of unnerving. Uh, well, I, I have Google Alert set up mm-hmm. so that if it spots anything on the net mm-hmm. about Rick and Bubba, it gives me a link to it. Mm-hmm. And you know, there are a lot of stories about the show that are on you know various times, especially mm-hmm. lately. Uh, there's times that it's the wrong story. It'll be a baseball story about a, you know, Rick so and so and so Bubba so and so both right. hit doubles tonight right. or if something. If those two words baseball. are in there, it's yeah, it, it, yeah, it'll get it. So sometimes it, it doesn't doesn't wash, and I also have my name in there, and you know, you just you 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 watch for these things on Google because sometimes it brings us great stories for the show, like now. And I got an alert yesterday, and it was kind of strange because usually I get Rick and Bubba alerts, and this one was a Bill Bubba Bussy alert. Right. And I thought, well, what what have I done now? Right. And uh, so I flipped over, and it's a link to InvestorTimes.com. Investor? InvestorTimes.com. Hmm. .com. And the name of the story in this is Bill Bubba Bussy's Net Worth. Okay. Oh my God! Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So it, I go. Well, this is good. Why? And, and immediately I thought to begin with net worth, not gross worth. Yeah, yeah, net. Yeah. The, I, I thought to begin with that that y'all were punking me. Sure. Or somebody and had done, and that's always you know a somebody had done a spoof thing yeah. and sent yeah. to me. And then I thought, but wait a minute, I got this alert, this alert from Google, meaning it's out there on the net somewhere. Correct. It yeah. isn't just something y'all cut and pasted and sent to me. Right. right. Well. Yeah. So this was kind of funny, and I, I was going to share this with y'all. I know y'all have you enjoyed re- have, it. Have yesterday. all y'all read this? This is bizarre. I, I, read it, I read it this morning. It uh, says, Bill Bubba Bussy is a well-known radio personality who has gained fame through his work on the Rick and Bubba show. With his larger-than-life personality no doubt. and quick wit, yes. oh, Bubba yeah. has become a household name in that the world witty. of radio broadcasting. <clears throat> In addition to his radio career, Bubba has also ventured into other business ventures, which have contributed to his overall net worth. In this article, we will explore Bill Bubba Bussy's net worth and delve into some interesting facts (laughs) about his life and his career. Let me tell you something. You had me at hello. Yeah. So we begin with Bill Bubba Bussy's net worth. As of the year 2024, Bill Bubba Bussy's estimated net worth is around $5 million. Hey! Hey! hey. hey they got that wrong. We know yeah. it's more than that. Yeah. Well, it's a little we low. We know it's yeah. more than that. Uh, this, this, it's a little low. This is you better where the, start at 10. <laughs> this is where the story runs a bit off the rails. <laughs> right, uh, yeah, that yeah. is not correct. This impressive sum is a result of his successful radio career, as well as his various business ventures. Don't miss those. Mm -hmm. Bubba has worked hard to establish himself as a prominent figure in the world of broadcasting, and his net worth reflects his dedication and talent. Oh, now does it also mention that, that, that alone about? proves that I am a comedian? <laughs> right. okay, so, uh, Have you looked into? They mention your successful career as a restaurant restaurant or? Well, uh, Rick, oh, don't, don't okay. get ahead. I don't know if it's covered. Early life and career. Oh. Bill Bubba Bussy was born September the seventeenth, nineteen sixty three. In Alabama. Of course, that's not true. That no. is another incorrect statement. Right, yeah. Uh, that would mean that I'm already 60. Right. And maybe that would explain some things. Right. I don't know. He grew up with a passion for radio and entertainment, which led him to pursue a career in broadcasting. Bubba started his career in radio in the late 1980s, working as a producer and on-air talent for various stations. A producer? N- never have been a producer. Uh, never, no, never, no, never, that no, never no, happened. So many things no, wrong. No. Yeah. In 1994, he joined forces with Rick Burgess to create the Rick and Bubba correct. Show, which went on to become a huge success. Massive. Okay, that's right. That part is correct. Yeah, that's right. what's so funny about this. It's like every other line, it's like right, wrong, right, wrong. Yeah, back and forth. Right. The Rick and Bubba Show. The Rick and Bubba Show is a nationally syndicated radio program that features a mix of comedy, news, and interviews. The show has a loyal following of listeners who tune in daily to hear Rick and Bubba's unique take on current events and pop culture. Wow. Bubba's quick wit and humor have made him a fan favorite on the show, and he is known for his larger-than-life personality. Absolutely. Oh. Larger. Got that larger. right. Larger-than-life getting a lot of mentions. You cannot contain your personality in, in a room, can you? Yeah. It's, it's, it's larger-than-life. You can tell. When I walk in, it's right. all different, isn't it? Yep. Uh, business Ventures. 
in his addition to his work on the Rick and Bubba show, Bubba has also this. ventured into other business opportunities. Ooh. He owns a successful apparel company. <laughs> What? As well as a line of barbecue sauces and seasonings. <laughs> what? These, What's your apparel company called? These Did ventures you? have helped to yeah. diversify Bubba's income streams and contribute <laughs> to his overall network. What are you hiding? I want to see this apparel line. I think yeah. Chat wrote this and they just pulled things off the internet. Uh, I, I want to see it. Do. Does, does it feature? Do you, do you the, think they're picking up the yes. Rick and Bubba merchandise? Is that where they're yeah, getting I, that yeah, from? Yeah, I think. Well, that, we don't yeah. have barbecue sauces or spices. I, I think well, haven't serious, we talked you know. about it? Though no, before? but somebody else. I think it's your Wilfred Brimley. You think um, this is an AI thing where it goes I out do. and gathers? I do. Yes. 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 His Wilfred Brimley definitely. vest was a huge hit. It was. Yeah. <laughs> Sold millions. million. <laughs> exactly what it is. All right, we moved to part five <laughs> personal life. Oh, Bill Bubba so Bussy good. is married to wife <clears throat> Betty. Okay. okay. Couple, that's, that's right. As the and the couple has three children together. Look out. What? Yeah, well, let's have one kid. We're missing one. I count one of your dogs. <laughs> we're, we're missing one. Sorry, guys. Bubba, I didn't anything, know. anything you need to tell two, us about? Two's all I know of. Okay. okay. All right. Why right. are you to Bubba, give specifics you, on that at all? No, that's all. Said that's him and Betty said. have three. Mm-hmm. Bubba, He's larger in life. Bubba is known for his strong family values. All three children, <laughs> and often share stories about his family life on the air. He is also dedicated philanthropist, which is hard for me to say. That's a tough one. Big giver, He's supporting giver. various charitable causes in his community, uh, that in- including uh, buying uh, a new tower for a local AM station. That, <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's so good. Number six, height and weight. This is hey. This is a, why it, would they put this listen, even no, in the article? No, listen, stand by for height and weight. Bill Bubba Bussy stands at a height of 6'2 <laughs> and weighs 220 pounds. <laughs> Rick, you pay mm-hmm. fit, buddy. Mm-hmm. They took you. How, how much? Where are you at, Rick? Uh, I'm, I'm about to 228. You, but you're right, 6'2, yeah, right? 230 right in there. His <laughs> larger than life personality is matched by his physical statue. Yes. Making him a commanding presence, both on and off the air. <laughs> commanding. <laughs> I love, I love it. it. Oh, there's more. Oh, yeah. There's oh, we're more. not done. Six foot two, two twenty. Woo! You're looking uh, good, Bubba. Run a four, four Six forty. Foot one. I go a ton. Uh, <laughs> bottom of the hour. More Rick and Bubba coming up. Rick and Bubba. Rick and Bubba. Your maximum potential by affording you maximum liberty. But socialism is completely the opposite. Socialism says to you, no, the government can do everything better than the private market. And the government will provide everything that you need. Now, the problem with that is now the government has to find a way to fund getting all the things you need. So that leads to rationing of products, rationing of health care, rationing of what's on the shelf at the grocery store. And massive taxation. And massive taxation because this gigantic, tyrannical government, and as Bubba mentioned, now the ruling class will not live this way. They will live a different way than the rest of us. Because, uh, you know, they, they're the ruling class, so they, they don't have to follow these same rules. And here's what it leads to. When, when my wife and I were in France, there becomes this mentality th- that the government is the answer to everything. It isn't God. It isn't the church. It isn't you. It isn't your neighbor. The government provides what we need, and they know how much we need and how it should be. So what you find is the whole country begins to share and this sort of equal mediocrity uh, and laziness because now the, the central government, the, do you realize in France, if you go over to somebody and say, can I help you with something, they think there's some kind of, what are you talking about? Because the government is supposed to help me, not you. Mm-hmm. Uh, and you see the church dry up in these situations because people say, well, the government becomes my God now uh, because the government is the center of everything, and anything that we need, the government will provide it. I won't provide it for myself. Uh, the government will provide it, and that's what it leads to. And then, of course, as Bubba mentioned, these other examples, eventually that government has been given so many things it has to do now, it collapses in on itself, and then that leads to to total chaos, and then there's a scramble for people now to try to start over again. So, um, and, and that leads to total breakdown, street violence, gangs, ruling. Uh, you, you have, you know, pirates. I mean, it just turns – Look at Venezuela, the way the way it has fallen into yeah. that. That's mm-hmm. and that's really a sad picture because it was a very wealthy country that was doing very well. Socialism has one thing really going for it: it's an easy sale to the ignorant masses, and it's always been that way. That's its big push. It's an easy sale. It just can't back it up. 
And, you know, even if you look at uh, and you give socialism all you can, okay, if you, if, you, if you smile on it as hard as you can and say, well, it can meet basic needs of people, the problem I is it does, not, it does not take into consideration the dreams of people. And the fact that people dream and they want to do bigger and they want to do better and they want to put in that extra hour and the extra mile and work harder, no matter what they're going to be, they're going to be a basketball player or they're going to be a NASA scientist or a school teacher. And it doesn't, uh, it doesn't have that in it. So people lose that and they become very depressed. It becomes a very dark society. Yep. And then, you know, then it, it turns into alcoholism and everything else that we saw in a lot of these other countries. So, um, it, it's just a, it's it's an easy sell. Uh, it's a, it 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 plays on people's greed and green monster of jealousy, and it just doesn't deliver. It never has. There's just no historic example of it working very well anywhere. All right, we come back, George. And, and let me say this too, Rick. There are th- some things that are socialistic that we agree to enter into contracts to do, like insurance. Okay, insurance is a socialistic type of thing. But we agree to do it, we do it voluntarily. When it becomes a government thing, when they force you to do it at the end of the gun barrel is where it goes south. Yeah, and that gun barrel, don't miss that analogy. It's, yeah. it's literal. Uh, Jordan, we'll talk to you when we come back. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. I love this company. I love this system. All right, guys, I'm concerned. I'm concerned. I'm concerned. I've watched all of you struggle with something, and I was free. I mean, it was, oh, it, boy. It, was not, it was nothing that ever bothered. I never had to deal with this. It was never in my home. <laughs> okay. And I'm going to tell you who I blame, and that's these nail salons out there. Mm-hmm. I blame them. My wife, now she's going to get her nails did. You can count yeah. on that. Oh, okay. Yeah. And, you know, you ever wonder where they go? Man, they're gone for a really long oh, time. I know. It's it no takes deal. a long time right. for them to, I mean, she, well, I'm going to get my nails done. And I know I've probably got two hours. Yeah. I mean, they're, they're going to be gone a while. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, and, of course, they constantly worry about it. I, 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 how often do they have to do that? Oh, no. But but anyway, so that that's normal, okay? You know, she likes your nails and her toenails to look pretty and all that, and that's fine. You know, I don't know that I've ever noticed it, mm. but that's great. And, uh, I know. I it, never it, thought, well, you look nice yeah. with your toenails. What do you think about my nails? Not I, I don't really care, but yeah, but I mean, you know, you go, oh, that looks nice, honey. That's that's awesome. awesome. It's the way she feels when we come home with yeah. deer hunting stories. Pick yeah, your it's, battles. It's, uh, it's Pick the your same battles, thing. You boys, do that because you love them. My wife's heard the same deer hunting stories for a thousand times, mm-hmm. you know, and and she's. Thirty-five minutes now past the hour, uh, Rick and Bubba's show. So we are having some fun uh, with something that Bubba found about himself uh, oh, online. It found me. It found you. <laughs> uh, and, well, you know, it's, it's revealing a lot. Uh, first of all, anybody who says you can't believe what you read on the Internet, well, they, they need to stand yeah. down. Yep. <laughs> uh, so uh, it seems to be sprinkled with half-truths, a couple of solid truths, and then this complete false stuff. Yeah, way out left field. Right. Uh, yeah. and, and, again, this came from a Google alert that right. I had set for my name yeah. just because of what we do and yeah. keep up with what's being said about you. So uh, this pops up. It's InvestorTimes.com, and we've run through this uh, last segment, all kind of crazy stuff. One more segment. Uh, it's it's part seven, Rick, to the story called "Interesting Facts." Interesting facts about one Bill Bubba Bussy. Bubba's an avid outdoorsman, enjoys hunting and fishing in his spare time. That okay. is correct. Yeah, sure. He is a talented musician and plays the guitar in his free time. Hey, that, that that one that, that is was not now, correct. Now, one time that was a project that you set out to do. It just never happened. Eat at Dad's great burgers yeah, every day, yeah. right? Yeah, and uh, but but uh, now you you did have that. Uh, you used to have the electric guitar. You no, I think I gave it to somebody. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah, that, yeah, that, well, that's I when like he, that's when he was going to say he's going to yeah. learn to play. The, he could have played in Rock and Roll City with me. Well, he could have. He he missed that opportunity. Yeah, I'm, I'm out there. I guess. Yeah. Um, Bubba is a diehard fan of the Alabama Crimson Tide team and never misses a game. That yeah. right Wait, there. Just a minute. Wait just a minute. That right. <laughs> A road tag. So they got me confused with Dickie Nedmark. Uh, yes. But do you think, but I mean, is that, or is that just a miss uh, all the way around? This is why AI and all that has a long way to go. Yeah, well, I, I think all that's been well documented. Right, yeah. Rick, I don't want to stir he, anything up, but Bubba said that is the most offensive part of this whole, <laughs> he did. Yeah, the whole thing. He did. Now, I think the three kids. 
Uh, yeah, that may be. Yeah, he is known for his love of classic rock music and often plays his favorite songs on the air. That is semi-true, yeah. uh, because I don't get to, you choose the bed music. Of course, so. classic rock would be more over here. Yeah, that would be style. more, yeah, I'd yeah. be more of a funketeer. Yeah. Uh, Bubba is proud, is a proud supporter of the military veterans and often host events to honor their service. Mm-hmm. Uh, I am a proud supporter. I have not hosted any no. events for the military that I am familiar you know, with that I recall right off the top of my head. Well, that's one time you wouldn't do it, remember, because you wanted too much money. Yeah, well. Do you yeah, remember that guy? I, I don't think that, I don't think I think it was that. Do you remember that uh, guy <coughs> yeah, who I, made that oh, claim? Yeah. We were like, what are you talking about? Yeah, but I anyway, I, yeah, that, that you do love, the certainly, high, certainly the, a supporter, and the word often in there uh, is hard to be true if it's yeah. never. Yeah. You yeah. know? So there was the little blip yesterday, and uh, uh, I, I thought y'all would enjoy that. I did reading it. It was pretty funny. Yeah, so we're looking at, <coughs> you know, the things they got wrong. Uh, the, child, the child you're not aware of. That, that that's probably a real big one. That's a big one. Yep. Uh, yep. Six foot two, two twenty. Wrong. Uh, that one. Uh, so we uh, net worth uh, wrong. No, wrong. Wrong. Uh, we. Uh, I have no uh, apparel company. No, and, no apparel uh, company. I don't have any sauces that I sell. No, I'm aware of wrong. No, wrong. 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 Never was a producer. Wrong. I started. Uh, I did about everything but that. Right. Um. Let's see. Uh, we never worked at stations that had enough. Budget no. to even have producers. No. Yeah. No. So. Uh, yeah. The. Um, yeah. It, and the thing about this, it is funny, and yeah, and it's all funny stuff, <clears throat> but it's also kind of scary, because we're living in a time to where people can just create a false, yeah, assessment of you and put something out about you anytime, anywhere that isn't true. <laughs> mm-hmm. They don't have to substantiate it. They don't have to have any any proof whatsoever and like think about who wrote that where did that come from and it, it could it'll yeah. just be out there forever i don't think a human know? wrote that mm-hmm. i think it was some chat thing or ai thing because it's you can tell they they took bits and pieces yeah. like the merchandise is rick and bubba merchandise they took bits and pieces and tried to and then they got call. they got members of the show confused it, it's you can tell it, it wasn't a person. Yeah, but I wouldn't call. Oh, they say here that I coach the Jack State tennis women's team. See there, yeah, see, 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 see there we go. <laughs> but I, but I wouldn't call having merchandise in a store an apparel line. That's not. An apparel. But see, that's how the, the AI looks at right, it. Right. Yeah. But it's, yeah, it's really it's, that, they, that, they see merchandise and clothes, and they put that with a clothing line. Yeah. So I don't know where they got the sauces. Uh, so. I don't either. I have to look. Is there somebody with a bubba did, in it that has a sauce? Did they get a is that, that from John Boy and Billy? You think? Yeah. The, the last time. And by I, the way, that's a really good barbecue sauce. Yeah. I've never had it. Is it good? It's good. Especially I, they're spicy. I, uh, I I at one time was six foot two tw- two twenty. That was an eleventh. There it is, that, right there. That was an eleventh grade. That's how they did it, yeah. right there. Bubba's famous, that's uh, fancy. almost famous sauce. Yeah. That's it. That's how they got it. Bubba's fancy. It ain't, it ain't mine. No. <clears throat> ain't no. mine. No. Well, and think about in your case, when you go with the nickname Bubba, good yeah, gracious. Yeah, you oh, get yeah. a lot They can that, pull yeah. stuff from everywhere. I mean, mm-hmm. just all kinds of places. But it sits there. I mean, let's let's talk about this. Because people do this. I, I've had things happen like this before. You probably have, too. Somebody says, okay, I don't have a bio on this person. Right. Uh, one of us is coming to something. And they go, well, let me go online and pull a bio. Well, I mean, you, you could have been sitting there and somebody says, you know, Bubba's got three kids with his wife, Betty, you know, and I mean, you're just like, what if they bring right? you out on I stage, mean, Bubba? They well, go, you know, a lot standing of times, at 6'2", and <laughs> a lot of times if you don't give somebody a bio, what oh, they read is half right. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, they, yeah. they kind of do that too. My favorite is when, when anytime that people introduce is to hear the ever moving number of people that listen to the show every week. <laughs> yeah. It's been as high as 5 million. It's been as low as half a million. <laughs> It's been three million. It's been one point five million. It's been two point one million. Well, it's a, uh, it's, a moving it, it's an ever moving number. Yep. Yeah. So and, and and you know what the real the real answer is? We have no idea. <laughs> I'm reading here. It says your your Bubba is dear friends with Hulk Hogan. What's up with that? There you go. Huh. <laughs> oh, I know what you're <laughs> talking about that. That's another one. Oh, that's that's another, another Bubba. Bubba. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, wrong Bubba. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Saw one that said Bubba recently hosted Saturday Night Live. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so, a lot of people didn't know that. It says here, yeah. you love sponges. What's that, man? <laughs> okay. But uh, so I. Bubba the love sponge. Yeah. Yeah, it, it's yeah a, we got it. It's a, it's Thank a, you, buddy. It's a uh, terrible. Greg looked confused. Right. Well, what, answer me this, too, and I know we've gone back and forth on this. Wikipedia. 
Can anybody just yes. go in there and do Wikipedia and, and change so. it up? Too? Yes, they can. That's why they, they the kids in school they they can't use that as a source. He yeah. runs a he runs a successful shrimp company with his friend <laughs> Forrest. No, I don't that's think right. that's right. No, funny. Not I don't right. think that's right. That that, that right there. So <laughs> so anyway, not right. No. Once shot a jukebox. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Said it made him cry. <laughs> That wasn't the strangest, though. It is weird when you read well, something about do. yourself like that. But I did mm-hmm. get a phone call. We talked about this many, many years ago. That uh, it, it was a TV station in Huntsville wanting a comment on my partner, Bill Bubba Bussy, dying. Oh, yeah. I forgot. Yeah. About, yeah. I, I mean, I remember what happened, but yeah. I forgot that's what they asked. <laughs> that's and a strange I, You know, call. you, you, you kind of, you know, that time of the afternoon, you sometimes take a little nap or, you know, dozing or you know, vegging out in front of a TV or something, and you get that call and you go, wait a minute. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You might need to hey, check the news. Wait a minute. That, I'm, I, I'm like, I'm sorry, but uh, I've got to inform you. Your your story's incorrect. Yeah. I'm Here's proud a, to tell you. He. Proud to tell you. That Reports of my death have been uh, grad, uh, greatly exaggerated. <laughs> but I remember the, the, the thing that was kind of, you know, kind of dark about it is when your mind, which I would have done the same thing, begin to think, what if they're just confusing me with Rick and you had to call and check and be sure I would. Yeah. I was still around. Well, yeah. I think I just talked to you. Yeah, and they right. Said, well, maybe it's. I said, yeah, right. right. Been quick. I said, unless it's been the last 10 minutes. Right. You know? Yeah. So. Says here you're a famous weird. NASCAR driver, first African American. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. There's Drives a, from Uncle Jordan. Yeah. There's a big, big club of Bubba's out there. Yeah. It says here uh, you have your own ice cream shop in Pensacola. <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? If you don't think so, just go to Walmart and scream Bubba. See how many people look around. Look at this. He owns a lot of outhouses. Look yeah. at this. Was a two term president, but better known then as Bill Clinton. <laughs> <laughs> That explains well, the three. That kids. may have been the most uh, offensive Bubba thing ever when people would try to suggest that somehow his he was nickname was Bubba. You remember yeah. that? Yeah, oh yeah. And well, I mean, that's because I, he was from Arkansas. Yeah, but I, I I thought I never remember anybody ever really calling him Bubba. Do you? I think they just did it for Arkansas, right? Yeah, yeah. 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 <clears throat> Look at old Bubba. Even Dick Morris reverenced it in his line. <laughs> yeah. He did. Yeah. <laughs> Love him. So anyway, but that was uh, when you sent it to yeah. me. I, I I knew we we were we had yeah. something going, and it took me a while to get it to open up and look at it. But buddy, let me tell you. That one, though. I keep hoping that I'll get the one that says he had a rich uncle that died and left him a bunch of gold bricks. But I haven't, I haven't seen <laughs> that one yet. Well, know? sadly, that, that might fall under the not true. You know, <laughs> yeah. it's a, mm, <laughs> let's have an accurate. I mean, so just Bubba know. The Jeep. What, what I, I've, right. said, I've right. said this a thousand times. If you see something out there that doesn't seem right based on, you know, your knowledge uh, of us in the show, it's okay. Just to email us directly and say, "Hey, I saw this. Can you can you can you help me with that?" Yeah, I, I wouldn't go on and start you know chatting about these things as if they're real. <laughs> just you know, simple check in, be great. <laughs> uh, but why in the world? How did that even get into the Google search window? I don't know. I think I'm not with y'all. I think this is AI trying. To, people are trying to assign AI, uh, assign AI yeah. some jobs it's not ready for yet. <laughs> yep. Fifteen minutes to the top of the hour. Eight six six. We be big is our number. More of the Rick and Bubba show coming up right after this. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. And she listens as if she cares how the hunt went, you know? (laughs) So anyway, um, then it happened. Then it happened. She goes, uh, are you you familiar with HGTV? And see, I kept it from her. I didn't want to know about it. And I and I said I, I don't know this long. She didn't know HGTV. about HGTV. Hotel HGTV. Golf. And I, you know what I said? What? You know what I said? I said I said uh, no, nah, I don't know what you're talking about. And she goes, no, it's it's like HGTV and like they do all these fixer oh, upper houses and <laughs> all the. No, I had kept it from her. It's I, 2020. I, I had. I had <laughs> how, how do you do that? That's amazing. Listen, listen, I had, I, listen, I had her living. I had her living in like the Soviet Union. Are you baby blocked I, the channel? I, yeah, I had her walled off mm. from this HGTV. New thing, HGTV. <laughs> You're not and she, believe it. And she, I said, Nah, I don't. I don't what, what is it? And I knew what it was because yeah. I've heard all y'all talk about it. And she goes, Well, they have these fixer upper shows and all oh, that. And I said, Yeah, boy. I'll get into them. I sure. said, Look, and then I said, I said, well, who? I said, I, who, I don't watch that fixer upper. I said, I, upper. I said that's boring. Uh-huh. That's boring. Who wants to watch that? Well, when I was waiting to get my nails done, that's all they have on in there. And I thought, I know, because that's where women go. <laughs> you know what I mean? And I said, well, she goes, do we have that? Oh, and I was like, nah. Yeah, love it or listen. No, we don't have that. Yeah, that's, that on. that's a higher level. Look, right? look, Dang it, level. we don't have it. Look, and then, get it here. and then it happened. <laughs> well, I bet they got them on the Netflix or something. And I was like, oh, no. Oh, no. Binge no, watch. You're... Binge watch. <laughs> binge watch. Oh, my God. Binge watch. 
And I was like, nah, honey, it's probably ain't on there. Yeah. And now she starts searching. And there was one, and then I then no, then then this is what happened. So <laughs> she finds, oh, I don't know what it's called. Is it fixer upper? Yeah, there's there's oh, that one. Oh, you talking about? Oh, listen, yeah, yeah. fixer upper. Well, no, no, listen. So so anyway, <laughs> this is so funny. So she really gets into it. Mm-hmm. Well, you well, know, you'd be going to wake up. Hey, look, look, hey, I love oh, that. Look, look, you're gonna love this. I said, I think we interviewed this guy. <laughs> yeah. Look, and yeah. she goes, you had this guy in the studio. <laughs> I said, yeah. She goes, what did you know about it? I said nothing. I didn't know what to talk to him about. Yeah, I didn't know where his and, show was. And on. I said, "She goes, you've had this guy on the show." I said, yep. I, "I think we have." Yeah, yep. Chip and Joanna. Yeah, I said, "I think we have." Really? Guys, Chip and Joanna are in my house now. Oh no! And then, then all of a sudden, I'm she got, you. then she goes, and there's another one like over here that's over in Mississippi. Yes, that's the one she's oh, going to like. Hometown. Yes. Yeah, yeah I love hometown. Yeah. From Laurel, Mississippi. Yeah, and I think I, I think we know I these like people. Hometown. I think we know these people. <laughs> As a matter of fact, there was a guy from Huntsville. I know him. <laughs> that, that, yeah. that they're doing yeah. something for some guy in Huntsville. I said he's been to the show. Right. And she's like, Rick, Rick, have you been in this world? And I didn't know about it. I said, oh, honey, no. I didn't want you to know about it. She said, you didn't want me to know about it. And then I tried something. I said, it just makes me feel bad because I know you wish you had a husband that could you know, build things and fix things. Again. <laughs> nah. And and then all of a sudden, the worst of the absolute worst, she starts scanning down episodes of Chip and Joanna. Is that their name? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. Chip God and love you. Yeah. Unless you're watching Hometown. I watched right. both, but the, but it was Chip and Joanna that got me on this one because okay. they got more money than the hometown does. <laughs> Rick, no, they've been doing do. it long. Let, let me do. just say this. There's a part Hometown, of me. Hometown's more of my league. <laughs> they own Waco, it, Rick. It's more of <laughs> 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 They own it. They own it. They're like Duck Dynasty. They are. They really are. And so he was actually on the show, wasn't he? Joe, yeah, oh yeah, yeah we absolutely. interviewed him, and so I, I, we've I had some people. We've had some on no, there. No, I we know. had him on. I recognize. He's let his yeah. hair grow out now. Yeah, yeah. but he was on. It's the been show. a minute. Oh, it was early yeah. on, yeah. way funny. early. It was He's way funny. early on. So yeah. what is the guy on there that they have that does a lot of their work? It's, it's not Billy Bob, but it's a funny name like that. It's yes, a, Joe Don. Joe Don, that's it. Is he I, the I just one saw we, Joe Don. <laughs> Rick, is he the one we brought up old mirrors to that we're scared old mirrors? Yes, yes. He was the one also told me not to let Sherry do white marble that I would have read it. <laughs> but anyway, so so we're sitting there, and then the worst of the absolute worst happened. Oh, look at here, Rick. They've got a farm. Oh, gosh. Boy, I was they, like, no, I don't think they do. Boy, do they I don't think they, no, 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 look right here. They're doing something at their, at their farmhouse. They got a I thought, no, up. no, I don't need to, I don't need to fix up at the farmhouse. I don't need to see that. I've, I need a good windmill. No, 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 no. Yeah. All of a sudden. What's it with you and windmills today, Greg? Uh, <laughs> yeah, all of, a, all of a sudden. <laughs> good point. <laughs> Greg, I understand there's a guy on the bachelor. He's got one in his yard. <laughs> this but is any, a different one. But anyway. <laughs> I painted a mural of one. And then, look, and, and, and then all of a sudden, it happens. Oh, look at this. She's building, a, she's building like her shed and a garden mm. and, a, and a chicken house. Oh, and a chicken wow. run. Oh, some coops. Oh, and a wow. chicken run. I was like, nah. I said, nah. I said, I'm going to get chicken. No, this is what happened. This is honing, man. The, the, this is what happened. It's like you've been I, in a cave I, for I said, years. Baby, it's it's a really Are you talking about a she shed? Yeah. Cheryl? Of course, course that was Cheryl, funny. It was funny she shed? It was funny because you what Chad realized is she she, he said, you're, you, you're acting like you want to build a tool shed, but what you're building is another house. Well, you know, all this. But anyway, which I can relate to that. So I, I, so I said to this, I said, honey, what these people are doing, they live at their farm. They live at their farm. Right. Yeah. That's now, the now, now, if we life. want to go move to the farm, you know, certainly. Chicken Coop City. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I said, but, but they live there. Yeah. You, you got to live there to do this. Right. That's we, on we down can, the road. We can't. We can't. So, so now it's happened. I've gone 24 years of my wife not knowing about HDTV. Hey. Ten minutes to the top of the hour. The Rick and Bubba show. Uh, we work our way back. HomeTitleLock.com. Uh, we love the term home sweet home, don't we? And uh, it's a sentiment that uh, we all cherish. But what if you said home been stolen? Uh, yes, house stealing. Uh, Fox News did a story on it not too long ago. Uh, it is uh, unfortunately a problem. Rick, how does that work? Good question. I didn't know either. Uh, I did not know that we need to protect our home's title from scammers and identity thieves. Because they can take over your home's title and harm you financially. Um, our homes are easily found online now, right next to the, the latest Google alert on Rick and Bubba. Uh, you can go there. Uh, a criminal or a renter, even a family member, uh, can simply forge your signature on a home cell form, and then they just refile as the new owner. Then your home is not in your name anymore, all caps. Uh, the, the thieves then can take out loans on your home, drain your equity, disappear, leaving you in debt. And then what do you do? I'm, you're trying to prove that, this, well, hey, man, I was, I was a victim of a scam. 
and then that's an uphill climb. Your homeowner's insurance or common identity theft programs do not protect you from this. Uh, so get go to Home Title Lock right now. They are the premier detection technology that protects your home's title in, in uh, the instant they detect activity or something suspicious. They move and shut that down. They shut that down. So why don't you find out right now the, the status of your home title by using the code Bubba at HomeTitleLock.com. That's HomeTitleLock.com. Uh, also, uh, you'll get 30 days of protection. Uh, you'll find a direct link there at RickandBubba.com under the Sponsors button. So uh, so now everybody's sending us misinformation about us all over the Internet. Uh, so I, I didn't know these. Yeah, Speedy I, makes $13 million a year. Good night. Know Speedy, good job, My, my boys, uh, it's been years. Wow. Yeah, that's been out there. Yeah. Uh, they called me, um, and it's like, hey, Dad, we're in the lunchroom. It, this was back when they were in high school. That's how long that's been out. Right. We started Googling everything for right. the show, and that came up. What, what, is there something you need to tell me? They right. wanted a raise in their allowance. Yeah. I'm like, no, nah, buddy. Uh, there is nothing for me to tell you. Well, there, there you go. <laughs> That'd be no. That would be no. The uh, yeah. Here, here's something somebody sent us about me on 2024 the, in February this year, mm. uh, which is the good one about this one. If you know anything about church, anybody that thinks that a church sends millions of dollars to invest in their men's ministry, you don't know much about men's ministry. <laughs> no. Men's ministry is always financed dead last. <laughs> yep. uh, millions of dollars. Millions. Uh, and so when you see things like that, I, I hope that, like I say, the best thing to do, if you see something that uh, makes you question us or question anything, simply reaching out to us directly, probably the best way to go uh, before you share it or start talking about it like it's fact. And I would say that about anybody. Right now, it's just you can't trust anything. You, <laughs> you really read. can't. And, uh, you know. And, we'll see what Greg makes. Yeah. <clears throat> See what I'm finding mm-hmm. about Greg right. on here. Yeah, I'm, I'm loaded. Yeah, see, there, there's so much of this Wait, stuff out there. You know, I get I get alerts. I did the same thing Bubba did, but I did it for a different reason. I didn't really care. I wanted to see who, what other Michael Helms were out there. Yeah, that's interesting. Yeah, and 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 hey, not good. Yeah. Um, there's <laughs> a there was a teenager in Texas that killed his mother. Okay, that's oh, usually um, not a good. And wow. so that popped up one time. And then there's a photographer that's really good, and a historian. So those are good. But I do it just for that reason to see what other Michael Helms yeah. are doing out in the world. The kill your yeah. mom thing, not good. Yeah, that's yeah, not that good was at disturbing all. when I read it. Well, oh, wow. you you know He's this a big guy too. And we mm-hmm. had this early on uh, because when Bubba and I first started the show, you know, Bubba was real savvy about trying to go out and get you know anything that involved our name. And and the reason why on social media I had to go with Big Box Rick Big Box Burgess, and we were making fun of the fact that on all the albums we were growing up, the, they would say lead Vox uh, was instead of lead vocals, which I don't know I why know, that, <laughs> that Vox means voice. But anyway, it, because there was a gay lawyer that had taken all the Rick Burgess stuff. <laughs> that's that's a fact, isn't it, Bob? I mean, that's an absolute yeah, that's fact. That's really good. Yeah. <laughs> and so I was like, well, doggone it! Everybody thinks I'm a gay lawyer. Yeah. I, I've got well, you know. Rick, I didn't know he was a lawyer first of all, but second of all, <laughs> but but it was so. Uh, that was that was a struggle on trying to even get your own name. But you're right. There's a lot of people have your same name. They do. Yeah. They do. Spread all across the world. And some of them, you look and go, well, I kind of hope somebody confused me with that. Yeah. But Mind then you that. see some going, I really like, got to wow. clarify. Yeah. yeah. The uh, and um, yeah, I, I have some too that there's some guy that's a criminal too. I've seen that one yeah. too come up. So, but but then when I look at our family. <laughs> Who knows? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you take one. Maybe you take one step out of that. Uh, yeah, uh, your your family that's in your house and start getting to that those second and third levels. Good gracious, I'm in a lot of control. Yeah, and there's and like Bubba said, there's nothing we can do about that. We we didn't pick any of that. All, all we can pick is our friends. I mean, your family right. is just assigned to you. Yeah, that's that's yeah. really the truth. Right, and say and we so, say that, and a lot of times you're thankful. But yes, then there's other times. Yeah, you, yeah. You know, well, well, there's people. Mm-hmm. Let's face it, that are in our family that will tell people, well, I, I can't help that I'm kin to them. I had no say in that. Sure, sure. You know, there's there's days that they want to distance themselves from us here. Mm-hmm. Uh, so today may be one of them. Yes, that is correct, especially when you read about us online. Uh, but anyway, so um, so other things to discuss. I know we need to update what what has happened at the border yesterday, <laughs> um, and uh, I know there's been a, that that we had this weird thing that was brewing that Joe Biden was finally going to visit there to convince us that it's fine. Yeah, the uh, poll numbers uh, are that 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 issue is just killing him in the polls. That in the economy, right? So he's had three and a half years he has not been down there so they were going to do run him down there and do a photo op so he can say yeah i've been there and here and, and and joey and joey joey saw it all i saw my joey so here here's some of the stuff so here's 
Donald Trump and Joe Biden arriving a bit, uh, cut 1A, uh, Adler, they, they did arrive at the border, it seems, at the same time, which is something when we left the show <laughs> yesterday, we were kind of like, is, is this brewing? Are they going to arrive at, at the same but time? But it shows you the difference. Trump uh, is running around talking to everybody. Mm-hmm. But a very dangerous border. We're going to take care of it. Thank you. <laughs> look, look at the president, Bubba. Please don't look Miss yeah. Joe Biden. Now, remember, he's robust. Yeah, and he chose a place where I think only 12 had come through mm-hmm. uh, in the last month or so. Mm-hmm. Um, well, you got to choose the right one. Yeah, I mean, yeah, there's nothing to see here kind of thing. Yeah. Let's not fault the people around Biden for trying to find a way to make this look better than it is. That's their job. Yeah. Uh, but we got to be able to discern that, that what, we, what we're being shown uh, is, is, is not reality right. because we also got to be smart enough to know the facts of the situation. Uh, so also we have, um, he, he appears to be reading his questions directly from these cards, but this has been a while. I mean, haven't we seen this, yeah. but it continues, I guess is the way they, to update it. They have everything picked out. Yeah, here you go. And bring them back into custody, which makes it more dangerous for not only me, for the non-citizen and the public at large. Okay. What, what's the better way to take on these cartels? Look at the card. Well, sir, uh, Katrina Berger, uh, I'm the EAD for it. Yeah, he's sitting Did down you there. See the, I mean, you can see the card plain as day, and it's one thing to have some reminders there. I need those. We yeah. all need those. But to look down like, if I don't read exactly what's written here, I'm going to mess this up. Mm-hmm. You're the president. You just have a conversation. Here's another thing. Don't you know what to ask? I mean, if I'm the president and I got a border problem and I'm at the border with the border uh, patrol, don't I know what to ask? Yeah, well, you would think. Why do I even have to be told what to ask? <clears throat> <laughs> I mean, what a joke. I mean, yeah. it's, uh, he's, they've spent three years acting like there's not a problem, and now the poll numbers are awful. This is, by the way, this is his his worst play is the border. Now that he wants to go, but he goes to Brownsville where there's nobody coming through. You he, know, the way he's crazy. walking, too, it looks like he needs like a vest with a leash on it. You know, yeah, like he could yeah. just wander right. off from him and eat him on it. Yeah, so there's just more, go right into the brush yeah. into Mexico. There's more to this. We got uh, some people are saying Trump was waving to immigrants across the yeah. border. Yep, through yeah. the fence. We've got a camera that captured Biden's enormous teleprompter. Uh, and we got a couple more quotes from Trump and Biden. So uh, we'll, we'll hit that when we come back. Top of the hour. So both Trump and Biden, which... By all accounts, looks like they'll face each other again. Both arrive at the border. We gave you a little bit of it, and we'll get the rest of it next. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. It was almost it was almost like I was a tyrannical communist government. I hope you you didn't find DIY. And I was keeping my wife from knowing what was out there. I didn't want her to know about HDTV because I've seen what it's done to all your life. And she still doesn't know about Pinterest. (laughs) She still doesn't know about Pinterest. Whoa, Rick, she has No, she doesn't know about it. Rick. No, I don't let those things come in the house. I don't let those she things come. She doesn't know about Pinterest. She doesn't know about it. I don't know. But this is where this is leading. This this will be a trail to Pinterest. Oh, How yeah. did she know about it? But Rick, now, now, she, she's now been, that she's found that, you know, there's there's got to be ten years of shows out there. Oh no, least. Bubba, listen, oh, this wow. is my, yes, listen. Yeah, if yes. you're back on that, you're way back. No, this is my life now. This is my life now. I get I get home yesterday, and she's like, "Okay, I got to run doing so and so." But uh, when I get back, let's go back and watch some more of those HD. And I'm like, "Oh no!" And then th- when she came in, I just diverted her off to something else. I was like, babe, we, we don't need, let's talk about, we got, we got, we just need to. Uh, Rick, if, Rick you, if you go out there to Waco, and we know a lot of families that have, I, we have I not. Can't, but I th- can't. they get pictures. My, I mean, no. you're liable to see them anywhere. You no, know, no, I don't. No. Jamie Don or whatever his name me, is, so. you get your picture made mm-hmm. with him. Look, HGTV I, I had to wa- started in 1994. <laughs> yeah. I know. I know. Sure. I, I've been married since 1996. I've been hiding it for 24 How years. How does this happen? Sherry and I met in 94. <laughs> I mean, I've been hiding this really. If you look, almost thirty years. Yeah. But but here's the thing, no, and I was oh, very boy. good at it. Yeah, I was they, very good. Obviously, at it. you Stupid were. Stupid nail salon. <laughs> Stupid nail salon. I had it. She didn't even know we had it on cable. She's like, I, "What is this channel?" I said, "I don't know. I've never heard of it." What? H1? No, What's I, HD? H- you H- just H- called it HD. It's HGTV. It's yeah, it's yeah. HGTV. Yeah. I was trying. By the way, they brought back the extreme my makeover. My wife home has edition. found HGTV. I had to watch Joe Don. They had they read they redid some kind of house out on Joe Don's Isn't it property Jimmy Don? for Jimmy Isn't Don's boy. Yeah, Jimmy, yeah, yeah. Yeah, where they turned that yes, barn into a house. Yeah, I had to watch house. that one. Yeah, I saw oh, that. One. I remember that one. I see. It's the same show every show. I said, honey, they do the same thing every show. Then she tried to get me on one, price it or, or listed or love it or listed. Love yeah. it or listed. Oh, I'm like, oh my gosh, I can what? Or you remake it or sell it. Love oh yeah, we've seen that. What am I doing? Yeah. My life's over now. Yeah. yeah. 
Then Rick, you're just now getting to the world we do. You're going you no, no, no. to add lifetime. Do you realize that Hallmark are better known as the man killer? She's going to find that Hallmark one. next. Yeah. Yeah. Listen, do y'all realize with this? Y'all don't understand. Without my wife knowing about mm-hmm. HDTVs, you don't know the remodels. You don't know the let's build one of these. It's happening without HDTV. Can you imagine oh. what's going to happen now? Oh, you'll uh, be can you, you this stupid idea is rolling in, and you know what this is going to lead to? She's going to find Pinterest. Yeah, <laughs> she's gonna find pictures. Hey, when y'all, y'all gonna be on property, listen, brothers. When y'all you know are it. watching Hometown with Ben and Aaron, do yeah. y'all do y'all think that they're going through their day listening to the show? Yes, I, I do. do. I do. All I do. I think when they get out of their car, I'm like they were just listening. Of course, KZ94 took it away from them. That's all I can think. Right, of. right. But they still catch us on the. I really want stuff, them to call. I do too. And we've got a new station that's kind of getting in that area again now. So call maybe, us. Maybe they've got it back. So, yeah. But I, I think I know them. How, how do you shelter her from these things? I don't get it. But you try hard. This is the Rick and Bubba Show. Watch more at blazetv.com slash Rick and Bubba. I know that uh, you and I are a little concerned about something today, uh, the, the Varsity Blues controversy. We thought going after What's-Her-Name was the was the only thing to be concerned about. Uh, What's-Her-Name, Aunt, Aunt, Bet- Best Betty Aunt, Aunt or, Becky? Aunt Becky. Aunt um, Becky from, um, from TV, and I know your wife's been very upset about that because of all the Hallmark stuff she's involved Free in. Aunt Becky. But it looks like now, just when we might have poked fun at those that were worried about Aunt Becky and – what is it? Hire or something? What's the name of that show she's on now? Um, oh, I forgot. Whatever. The, one, the, the wind blows south or something. Higher like than fall. Uh, um, the, when the heart calls, or something like that. The heart that blows that? north. Bobby, you yeah. got to dial out. Bobby, you knew this. this mm-hmm. Wind calls well, the heart. I haven't guys. seen uh, it in. Uh, wind yeah. calls the That's heart. That's a really you know confusing title. Really, I really haven't is. seen it in forever because Betty's not watching. Right, it. it's over now. But you know, that's and not really, again, I look. Whatever they did, they're gonna have their day in court, but. Were they a little quick to throw her off the show? I mean, she I hasn't. I mean, she's been charged. She hasn't been. Fa- I, that's one thing I think we struggle with yeah. in this country. We we just trample due process. I agree. We really do. Yeah, yeah, I agree with you on that. Now we do. Yeah, we we do. Yeah, it's like we've gone too. We always go too far the other way. Everybody, look at, everybody hey, look at poor old Kevin Spacey, Greg. <laughs> Greg, people are gonna think you're serious. All right, so so then. So, so just when maybe we were having a little fun with the females in the audience, now this one hits a little close to home. Yeah. Well, Rick, I saw the headlines and I panicked, you know, because there's already supply line interruptions going on with this mm-hmm. coronavirus sure. deal and all this. The Hot Pockets heiress apologized in court for trying to give her daughters an unfair advantage as she was sentenced to five months in prison for paying $300,000 to get them into college. Hot pockets. She paid $100,000 to have one of her daughter's college entrance exams improved to get a higher score. She paid another 200000 for a different daughter to be presented to USC as a volleyball recruit. Well, here we go with this pretending, yeah. we're, we're, pretending we're a college athlete again. Hot you know, I don't, I don't see how... You know, it's kind of like some of these pyramid schemes. Uh, everybody has mm-hmm. been caught, and it's caught up with everybody except mm-hmm. the federal government. Right. Thank you for being with us. A brand new hour. Speedy, the real Greg Burgess, Helmsy, Eddie Van Adler, all here. Today, as we start a brand new hour, welcome back. There's Bill Bubba Bussy. Glad to be here. Uh, his presence in the room, uh, always noticed at six foot two, two twenty. Mm-hmm. Uh, so uh, thanks for being here today, Bubsy. We're talking about the border, uh, and we hit a little bit of that. It's a big story because, as everyone here has made crystal clear, this is an issue for the Biden administration, and it's a strong uh, point for Trump. So they both arrive at the border. 
uh, at the same time. And you, the good news is you can actually watch the two men side by side and make your own opinions uh, on the latest mm-hmm. medical report and, and, the, and, and no need for a cognitive test <laughs> on the president. Uh, you can see which one looks a little more robust uh, in, at, in their older age. They do give us that opportunity to, to, uh, to see the contrast side by side, don't they? Mm-hmm. Uh, so anyway, um, uh, we got a camera, 1C, capturing uh, a look at this, this enormous teleprompter uh, that I, I feel bad for the person who worked so hard <laughs> on the size of the teleprompter oh, and putting all the information on it. O- what I o- need. Only to watch the president not be able to work through it. <laughs> it must be extremely frustrating for that person. Uh, but there, there it is. Wow. Uh, and it's, it's uh, basically a big screen TV uh, that the president, and I do like its font. Don't yeah, I do too. Yeah. I wish we had one that big yeah. in here. And uh, so, so there you go. Uh, then, so, do, so do the people that have to edit the closed circuit feed. They, boy, they no. really do. No. Uh, so then mm-hmm. uh, President uh, Biden is about to, you know how he does, Bubba. He's about to, he's about to get on Donald Trump and show him up, buddy. He take him out behind the woodshed. Did you notice, too, in the <laughs> clip that Trump is around a bunch of people? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And they're all taking pictures with him? Mm-hmm. They show Biden next to bu- to bushes. <laughs> That's Scrub right. bushes. Yeah. Nobody. <laughs> nobody. There's nobody behind Nobody. Him. Well, here he is. And uh, he he says he wants to know, he wants us all to know, Bubba, that the the, the border problem it's it's not him, but it's not Biden's fault. So here here we go. I understand my predecessor's an eagle pass today. So here's what I would say to Mr. Trump: instead of playing politics with this issue, what? instead of telling members of Congress to block this legislation, join me, or I'll join you in telling the Congress to pass this bipartisan border security bill. We can do it together. You know and I know it's the toughest, most efficient, most effective border security bill this country has ever seen. No. So instead of playing politics with the issue, why don't we just get together and get it done? Huh. Did he Which, just say playing politics? Yeah. Yeah. He yeah. doesn't need Congress. He can do everything on his own. <clears throat> Biden does. He doesn't need anybody. Yeah, I thought he I mean, I thought he had a pen. He you does. Know, he, he does. He, he's passed everything else. <laughs> That's so well, good. He do it. He's also overturned everything that Trump did. He the sure did. Uh, you know, do you want that Abbott clip, by the way, that you sent me, Speedy? Oh, yeah, well, yeah. yeah, Abbott just called him out because he's the one that's down there, governor of Texas, and he had Trump with him, and he, he, was, he was talking about the difference between the two. Uh, you being here shows that today is a day of a, an extraordinary contrast. We have President Trump back in the state of Texas, literally on the border itself, a place that he's been to many times, uh, talking about all the things that he's done to secure the border. At the very same time, we have President Biden down in Brownsville, Texas, which was an obligatory visit by him. He'd never been to the border. In fact, I don't think he's on the border itself right now. (laughs) He's in some sanitized location in the Brownsville area, not seeing the razor wire that Texas has put up around Brownsville. And he announced that he was going to Brownsville after it was already known that President Trump was coming to the state of Texas. It just goes to show that Biden does not care about either Texas or the border and what's going on. Yeah, well, that's the that's the governor, and he's trying to give everybody clarity uh, since he's actually dealing with the problem there. And, and then there's there's one e there's this this video that Trump is waving to immigrants across the border. Yeah, and uh, all, all of you were <laughs> mentioning that to me earlier today. It picks up what he says. Listen, waving. <laughs> <laughs> they, they like Trump. Can you believe it? They like, the <laughs> they, they, they like Trump. Waving across the Rio just, Grande. Yeah. There they are. Hey. <laughs> Even the illegals love me. They <laughs> screaming love Trump. Me. <laughs> Even the illegals love me. I heard one of them say, vote Trump. So I think we did capture one. You know, there's no way he's heard that song because he would be using it. Oh, yeah. No way. So... So <laughs> now let's look at um, uh, he he's talking about uh, uh, your favorite Bubba the California governor. Uh, so he's oh, got a new nickname for guys. Him. Y'all listen to this. Yeah, it's, instead of Gavin Newsom, he's got a new <laughs> nickname for for Gavin. Here we go. Man, we weren't promising free education, free medical, free everything. I mean, every, all the promises that are made. No wonder they come. I mean, uh, you look at what this governor, Newsom from. <laughs> 
California. Isn't that his Please. name, Newscom? <laughs> <laughs> what he's done to California is unbelievable. People are poor. <laughs> Isn't that Newscom? his name, Newscom? Isn't that his name? They have that Newscom. His name, Newscom? <laughs> but this is, this, Greg, this is your favorite Trump right here. Right? Oh, yes. <laughs> I, I yeah, love baby. it when he's doing that. Like when he retired, when he <laughs> sanctimonious. <laughs> <laughs> he wouldn't call it uh, that I'm anymore. A, yeah, I'm officially retiring it. Oh, oh my, my goodness. Newscom. Um, all right, so uh, so now we're going to talk about um, this uh, this notion that Trump pressured Republicans to kill the bipartisan border deal, uh, and uh, that, uh, that he didn't want Biden to have a win. And it ain't he, about a win; it's yeah. about a bad deal. Yeah. yeah. So so here's ABC uh, just uh, walking out a narrative that most people are saying is unfounded, but here, here it is. Good morning, Michael. Well, in these rare dueling visits here to the border today, President Biden and Donald Trump will outline their very different visions for how to tackle this immigration crisis. The president is expected to meet with Border Patrol and local law enforcement and to once again blame Donald Trump for tanking that bipartisan border deal that would have included some of the toughest reforms in decades. That legislation would have imposed stricter asylum restrictions, included daily limits on border crossings and billions of dollars in new funding for security. But Donald Trump pressured Republicans to kill that bill to deny President Biden a political win. Donald Trump is also eager to run on this issue in November. He is already promising mass deportations if elected and ratcheting up his rhetoric. Today, Trump and Biden will make their case as they both look to own this issue in November, Michael. So, Bubba, that, that's, this is the new narrative. Biden was trying to solve the problem. Of course, no one wants to talk about why do we have a problem to begin with. Well, I mean, did, because anybody, of anybody that says that Trump should have okayed this, you got to give me what's in the bill. Okay. Mm-hmm. Correct. And one of the things that I remember offhand was they would shut the board. She was talking about daily limits on how many can come. Guess what that limit was? 8,000 people. Yeah, one of them I saw was 8,000 right, yeah. a day. Right. At, so once we hit 8,000, we're going to shut the border. Right. Yeah. That yeah. sounds like who's ain't shutting it. be coming mm-hmm. in in a year. Right. You know? Yeah. Yeah. The so called toughest reforms ever yeah. that she was talking about, it would have made inf- invasion level migration permanent. Yeah. Right. Yeah. That, it's, it's crazy. They're telling you one thing and writing a bill totally different. So here is NBC. They're gonna they're gonna uh, they're going to uh, hear the truth by the actual Border Patrol Union representative. So we're gonna hear how they see it. You talk about the ones who deal with it every day. Yeah. So here we go. Should President Biden have gone to a different part of the border? I believe so. I, I think it probably would have been best to go somewhere that's you know very busy, like uh, Arizona or California. A record 8.6 million migrants have crossed into the U.S. since President Biden took office. The Border Patrol Union telling us Mr. Biden should not have reversed Trump border policies. They were very effective for us as Border Patrol agents in securing the border. An NBC News poll shows 57 percent of Americans say Mr. Trump can best secure the border. Just 22 percent say Mr. Biden will. Mm. And that's NBC talking to a Border Control uh, Union member. So. So there you go, and and then of course we have the whole thing going on with with the open border. Uh, sadly, uh, tied to the death of Lake and Riley, in Athens, Georgia, a massive vigil was held there. Uh, of course, uh, Babylon B not missing opportunity to use comedy to make a very difficult uh, point. Uh, mayor who advertised city as sanctuary for criminals perplexed over large number of criminals. Uh, so that that, that is uh, that is the. Uh, uh, that's Babylon B weighing in comedy once again, uh, giving you a r- real clear picture mm-hmm. of a very serious truth. That's right. Uh, we'll come back. <clears throat> so there you go. That's going to be the ongoing issue. And now both the Democrats and the Republicans both are trying to convince us because they see we care now uh, that they both want to secure the border. Now, back the Democrats, back when they thought that everybody wanted the border to be open, then they did that too. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, we'll, we'll be back. we got to change. It's election time. Your phone calls are next. 866-WE-BE-BIG. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. game you realize eventually you're going to get run out of cards don't you think you would and when you i I, look i understand trying to get your kid in and i understand you got money and you're trying to buy your way i got that i've got that illegal 
maybe you should just made a donation to the college and they would have put them in. Who knows? Mm-hmm. I mean, it's really all about who you pay. It, if you pay the <laughs> office that takes donations, mm-hmm. that's legal. If you pay somebody else, it's illegal. Okay. Yeah. I mean, and I don't know who they think sport. they are, the Astros mm-hmm. here or the, the, something. The faking, the faking the sport is, is, is a tough one. But too. that's what I was going to say. How in the world mm-hmm. do you think that is going to work out? If you present a kid as a volleyball recruit who a lot of times never played volleyball or some, some of these scams we were reading about, eventually somebody's going to go, she doesn't even know how to hold a volleyball. She's... You know, five foot two. What what is she doing as right. a volleyball recruit? Shouldn't she be on the rowing team? Yeah, I mean, yeah. Right. come on. That's, that you, I mean, you're going to have to hide them somewhere else. Mm-hmm. And then there's going to be parents that have legitimate players trying to get playing time that are going to blow the whistle on you. Mm-hmm. I mean, I just don't see where that game – I don't see how they, they think that's going to work, Rick. Hot pocket. But I am concerned that this is the heiress to the hot pocket empire. Now, that's the problem. And we don't want that to be messed up whatsoever. You, you remember, now, we haven't had them a lot here lately. but Yeah, sadly. We used to live on those things Can I tell at you, one of the other the, studios before we had a kitchen. Yeah. Let me tell you, the hot pocket, the hot pocket. Like, Got me through college. Like, how about this? If I get a chance, and you don't know how you're going to die. If I get a chance, you know, do some sort of monologue at the end. Yeah. I will thank hot pockets for the time that it helped me in my, in my life. Because there was a time when Hot Pockets were huge. It's a good Rick, I remember yes. when we first changed studios, came to Birmingham, we'd go in, and the studio was uh, – it, it had a good window you could look out, but it, was, it wasn't as brightly lit as this no, one. It was no. kind of dark. And, I mean, we had a snack machine. That was it. Mm-hmm. And, mm-hmm. That's all we had. And you could get a Hot Pocket and throw it in a microwave. And that, uh, that was – I mean, but there's no way it, that that machine could cover the demand of all those no, radio stations. No, no, no. A lot of hot pockets. And, uh, man, I mean, when, we, you, when we, you got a hot pocket, we'd start about 6.30 with them mm. bad boys. Well, you know, we started mm. here. We started. you had to let it cool after you heated it up. Burn you, your mouth. You know, yeah. How many, how many? Raise your hand if you ever ate a hot pocket and didn't burn your mouth. Oh, never. <laughs> <laughs> Always a bit too oh, much. I, I just couldn't fast. wait. Yep. I, I couldn't wait. You remember yep. putting in that little thing that went in and stuck out both ends? Oh, I know. So you could see you better grab it and pull it out of there? Mm. Golly. <laughs> I, listen, during my sing, hey, during my single years, good gracious, thank you, hot pocket. Yeah, I know. Yeah. But back, but back to your point, I'm sure it was really good for me. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Well, it got me through it. Uh, but back to your point, you're just so hungry, and you know you should let it go. Yeah, off. I know. You, you should let it go, but you just yeah. can't. You can't help it. Can't do it. It's, it's like those apple pies mouth. that you get at a drive-through, yeah. Yeah. and they've got it stamped all over it. Caution, oh, yeah. feeling right. may be hot. Yeah. And you you just go ahead and you try it anyway, you, and you think I'll just barely get the corner, and it burns your mouth sure too. And you're now, like, "Wow, I'm an idiot." How about yeah. how about the the pies? Those pies, Bubba, spot on, and the hot pocket. It ought to have a special warning for fat people. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Hey, Chubbs, you can wait. Chubbs, Chubbs, give it a minute. Yeah. yeah. It, you know, maybe even have its own countdown clock on yeah. it before right. you could bite into it. Because you remember apple pies at the at fast food restaurants had that warning written on it. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. No, you're Contents right. could be hot. Yeah, and, we, did, and like, we ate it anyway. Like Bubba said, we didn't even pay attention to it. Mm. Oh, so, like, uh, Rick, now with this Varsity Blues, we got, I think, the, the highest uh, penalty. Mm. I saw it the other day. Gosh, I can't remember. Some guy got, was it nine months mm. or a year and a few months? Something like that. So you've got, uh, but Lori Laughlin, uh, Aunt Becky, her trial is still coming fighting up. It. Still you, fighting it, and the prosecutors are saying the longer you fight it, the longer we're going to lock true? you I know, up. I know we start saying the prosecutors are trying to scare them into Cutting a deal, and I'm sure there's some truth to that. But do you think they're just not being wise? Should they just go ahead and get it over with? What are they doing? Well, some uh, people, yeah. some people were saying that it was her husband that was trying to fight this, that she wanted to go ahead and plead. And I, I don't know. Who knows? Now their their argument, mm. uh, from what I've seen in the media, is we thought we were making legitimate donations. We did not know what right. we were doing. Was if you want to. If you suspicious, want, even though our daughter didn't play. Yeah, right. that, rowing, that's a fly. That, that's, a rower. That, back to the sports mm-hmm. angle, it's not a good one. <laughs> if you want to have a little fun, and look, so every now and then, you know, we have interns that come from all over. Mm-hmm. And um, and we have one now out of Waco, Texas, you know, big Baylor guy. Yep. And I love to watch it. It's already gone, but I love to watch them sometimes, sometimes on some of the communities that we're familiar with. Now, in other parts of the country, there's some up there we're not familiar with. Right. But the ones we're familiar with, when they get them wrong, just then he had a caller up there from Noble Springs. Mm. You know, like, uh, like like being noble. Right. And of course, that's double springs. That's okay. But but it. Twenty one minutes past the hour, the Rick and Bubba show. Come on! All right, folks. Uh, coming in here, making comments, asking 
questions, bringing information to the table. Uh, you're running the show right now. And we'll let a lot of folks in here. Uh, the gate is open. The real Greg Burgess on the phones. Ten lines are available. Our friend, the buzzer. Thank you, friend buzzer. Uh, barriers are blessings. If you don't believe that, look at the border. Uh, so uh, you can get in right now. And uh, no meaningless shout-outs. No shameless plugs. Uh, we're looking for content. We're looking for questions. Uh, you, you're bringing uh, information to the table. You are the programmer. Or like Bubba used to be, you're producing this segment. Uh, <laughs> So uh, so let's get started uh, with Seth out of Sweet Home, Alabama. Trolling, trolling, trolling. Keep them phone to trolling. Here we come, phone trolling, phone troll. Oh. Seth, welcome to the Rick and Bubba Show. 30 seconds, go ahead. Hey, guys. How y'all doing this morning? Good. Right. I hope you're okay. Good. Doing good, guys. Real quick, so you, you were talking about the border bill uh, as mainstream media is calling it, but it, it's it's not just a border bill. I've heard Bubba question, you know, what else was in it. Uh, I believe, I haven't had any coffee this morning yet, but I believe $20 million was for the border, and I want to say it was over $100 billion more to Ukraine. That was a huge yeah. stump. In our- yeah, all you had to do is break them up, and you would have you probably got passage on part of it. True, but, <clears throat> but that's the old, Yeah, I remember when I was younger, I would hear – politicians talking about pork and yeah, i didn't know what yeah. that meant i was like what do they mean i go i love bacon. it made me hungry yeah. uh but it's 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 this we go out and present to the citizens right as you said sir seth it's a border bill a border bill border bill and and they don't tell us everything else that's attached to it right. and if you vote for this all the other gets through too it's been a political trick that's been around as long as there's been politics but, yeah. but you have to be informed on that brian in alabama brian 30 seconds go ahead <laughs> Uh, good morning, gentlemen. This is Brian. Um, Bob, I sure appreciate you uh, doing um, the audition for Shannon Dola that Bubba can dance. Yeah, uh, sure. Maybe, Ad- maybe, maybe Adler or one of them could pull up that video. <laughs> but uh, I was, this morning, that was great. Uh, I heard everything. But uh, anyhow, the- there it is. Let me let me tell you. <clears throat> Bubba doesn't need – he might need assistance from Adler to show it, but not to play it because mm-hmm. he also plays guitar. Right, right. A lot mm-hmm. of people don't know yeah, that. If you don't believe that, just just look at uh, – what's often it? play here. What was this – what is it called? What was the source for this thing? Investor.com okay. or something. Uh, Investordaily.com. What was Investor something? What was that? It was funny. Jeremy, welcome to the Rick and Bubba Show. Go ahead. 30 seconds. Good morning, Rick and Bubba. I've been listening uh, probably since the late 90s. And let, fell in love with the show, and I've Thank stayed you. with you all these years. Thank you. Even moved away for a decade, came back, stayed in touch with you. <laughs> I've just noticed over the years, it seems that Bubba's role on the show has gotten smaller and smaller. Um, and is that something that was strategic, or is that something that he's kind of chosen to do? It just seems like his role has kind of gotten smaller and smaller, and we miss Bubba. Bubba, I don't know. Bubba, what do you think? Uh, I, there, there hasn't been any plan to no, do so that I'm aware of. No strategy in that whatsoever. I don't I don't know. Uh, I think it's like a lot of it. It may be what parts of the show that you hear or what the topic is or et cetera. So there's definitely been no stra- strategy tied no to that strategy. whatsoever. No. Yeah, mm-hmm. Maybe he's spending too much time on the guitar. We don't know. <laughs> right, maybe right. some of his other businesses. Maybe the apparel line. <laughs> right. right. Uh, we or don't the know. sauces. You know, right. that takes up a lot. Or visiting this kid we didn't know about. <laughs> right. right. Uh, John in Birmingham, 1047 WZZK. John, go ahead. Uh, did you see the Babylon B where it says uh, Biden arrives at the border to address his voters? <laughs> that's, uh, that's a little bit more truth. Yeah. There's a lot of truth to that. I did see that one. I forgot about that. Did I see them put out something registration drop boxes or, or that, that, voting box? I don't, something like that. They put all that down the fence. Cameron <laughs> in, in on the Pel- other side. Cameron in Pell City. Cameron, go ahead. Good morning, guys. How y'all doing? Good. We're great. Good. I just want to thank Greg. I heard the commercial on on 104.7. And it makes me laugh every time I hear the commercial about uh, the eyesight, the GA, because I know Greg's view on that one. You talking about Fonzie's? You, oh, you mean Henry Winkler's commercial? Oh. Yes, yes. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, let's – we. <laughs> that's right, because Greg's always had an ongoing battle with the blind, uh, or, or the, the, those that are he losing does. their sight. I don't know what it is. Uh, is. Your dad likes him, though, right? Oh, loves him. Yeah. Uh, let's go to Alan and Arab. Alan, welcome to Rick and Bubba. Go ahead, 30 seconds. 
Okay. Uh, you know how you guys call uh, President Biden Sleeper Joe? Sleepy Joe? Sleepy Joe. Well, you yeah. need to start. Yeah. yeah, Sleepy Joe. You need to start calling him Trader Joe. Anybody who would will and feel like share classified documents with somebody for 30 years. And he needs to have his book signed tr- uh, to where it started Trader Joe. Okay. I, I mean, that's a funny nickname. I can't believe that uh, Donald Trump has not adopted it yet since that is a well-known chain yeah. of stores. Yeah, well, mm-hmm. give it time. You ever been in a Trader Joe's? Mm-hmm. I have. I have. It's an interesting place. I don't fully understand it. No. Is, no. It, is it just a grocery store? What, 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 what is so it? We're in there a lot. Yeah. But too. is that what it is? It, I see my would you, would card you say, swap there a lot. Wouldn't you say grocery store? I've been in there, too. Yeah, but yeah. they have a bunch of different. Yeah. Different a reg- original organic items, <clears throat> items that I know. don't fully understand their role. Right, is it a Whole Foods good. kind of thing? Yeah. Like, hey, yeah. you love their chocolate Not as big, almonds. Though. No, no I love their chocolate <laughs> almonds. I've had them; they're good. Yeah. No, you talking about up right by the register? Yeah, yeah. Very high quality <laughs> stuff. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Alan out of Florida. Uh, Alan, go ahead. Thirty seconds. Hey, I hate to follow up that previous call, but I got a, a new joke. A uh, new name for Biden is Joke Biden. So. Joke. I mean, I hate we can go with that, maybe. Okay. All right. Do you say joke? Coming up joke with some Biden. Joke Biden. Everything Biden. he says is a joke. Uh, let's go to... You know, I guess people have heard these at work all week, yeah. and they yeah. felt like they needed to get them in. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know? yeah. Ryder, like therapy for them. Out of Alabama. Ryder, go ahead. 30 seconds. Hey, uh, I just want to say I love y'all show. Y'all are amazing. Thank I have you. a serious question. A serious Burger one? King or McDonald's? Thank you for... Uh, for me, Ooh. it would always be McDonald's. What was the choice? I Burger, Burger King, King or McDonald's. McDonald's. If it's down you, to just those two. You mean when I was a kid or now? He, he hung up. Now. I guess just go He's with now. I, go with now. I tend to lean toward the old Burger. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Mine, mine has always been the same. It's always been McDonald's over Burger King. Mm. Even but kid, look, adult, whatever. I feel like we're splitting hairs here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right, right. Yeah, you're right. I mean, I'll take either one. Uh, Sharon in Huntsville. When they had that McRib, I sure did Watch like out. 100.3, the river. Sharon, go ahead. Hey Rick, can you go? Can you sing? Do you remember the song "PP in the Potty" that y'all used to sing years ago? Of course, mm-hmm. yeah. Uh, Grayson wants to hear that, so I'm gonna hang up and let y'all sing it. Okay. Wow. <laughs> uh, Grayson wants to hear <laughs> it. You. Yeah, yeah. It's on the children's CD uh, that yeah. we did with Brad Ryan years ago. I'm gonna pee pee in the potty. Uh-huh. I'm gonna pee pee in the potty. I'm gonna pee pee in the potty. And one of these days, I'm going to poo-poo, too. There you go, Grayson. That's just for you. That's just for you. Hope it helps. <laughs> hope it helps. I and I hope go. some of you didn't need to pull over then. Right, yeah. I think I'm going to have to go now. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody right. has to use a bad time. Thank goodness for the commercial break. Uh, we're, bottom of the hour, we'll be back. 866-WE-BE-BIG is our number. Uh, more of the Rick and Bubba show continuing. Still to come, the wonderful will of canned meat happens on the program today. And Read Across America, teachers, coming up next hour. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. I need to see that. I enjoy those kind of things. <laughs> uh, so, so, uh, and Seth was asking, I saw that, Seth, what is our favorite Hot Pocket? Mine was the meatballs. Meatball and, and the cheese was my favorite that's Hot it. Pocket. Yeah, yeah, I'm trying to remember all the different ones. But that's a good one. You know, when we were having. That old meatball one was good. Mm-hmm. When we were having to eat them Boy, to survive, um, I didn't care what it was. Mm-hmm. Do you, mean, like, do you like the beef and cheese one much? I, I thought the meatball was the walking the, dog. Uh, yeah, oh, the, it was. Now yeah, the pepperoni it was good. Too. The pepperoni, yes. we had that a lot. Yeah, yeah, yep. mm-hmm. And did they, have, did they have one that had ground beef in it too? Mm. I'm trying to remember. Uh, Rick, I, let me tell you how. I always got the meatball. Let me tell you how tough it was once upon a time. We would come to work. There was no podcast to listen to. There was no MP3 players. Nope. There was no satellite radio. Nope. All you had were AM, Clear Channel. Radio stations that might or might not be there. We had no breakfast. No. We had to rely on hot pockets, and yes. they were there about right. one, yep. maybe two days out of six. Right, right. It was a, it was a tough well, lot. We it was a tough lot. Yeah. Bottom of the hour. Rick and Bubba. Rick and Bubba. The email that we got—it was pretty funny. You know, the audience we have out there—they they can be quite clever. They are very mm-hmm. clever. Rick. She said, "I heard the heiress to hot pocket, the hot pocket empire, was sentenced to five months, but rumor is she's only going to serve two minutes and thirty seconds." Yeah, that's good. <laughs> that's, that's really good. good. And then go like to a it. holding cell for a minute afterwards and cool off and think about what she did. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that is such that's a good. good. That's good, that's Jeffrey. Good. That is a good. Jeffrey like in Alabama. I want to go, Jeff. I like funny. it. Um, so, our what we want to do next? You want to talk about everybody on burn? Everybody on burn, yeah, everybody yeah. on burn. They, uh, it, 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 I did not it, see the debate last night. I forgot but, about it. You know, this has become entertainment. Yeah. Uh, you yeah. know, I think I, really other – well, 
me say this. Have we not debated enough? I mean, have are we learning no, anything not with the about Democrats. any Let candidate? Let them keep going. It was fun. Uh, you know, I would be – I think at this point everybody knows where everybody's at. It's yeah. just – and last night, just – if and again, I didn't see it. I'm reading reports today. They either. said it turned into a screaming match. It was yeah. chaos. They love it. Moderators yeah. lost control oh, yeah. of everything. I appreciate Helmsy taking one for the team. He said, I'm in. I'll watch it. And here's the thing. I'm, I'm a little frustrated myself because I was this close to texting everybody, Why but I felt you? like I was going to be a bip. No, see, I forgot mm-hmm. all about it. I was actually kind of piddling around and actually watched – so we, you know, because I, I told Sherry, I said, "This is there's no HGTV tonight. That's out. That's out." And okay. uh, and so we finally got settled down, and and we watched, you know, some. I I was trying to go for a thriller, and she said, "That's something you need to watch when I'm not here." And then uh, and then she took me over to some chick show that I've never even heard of, and <laughs> and, and it it turned out to be just kind of slow and whatever. And I thought to myself, if, and then when I when I walked into Bubba's office this morning, and he's 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 laughing about stuff. Oh, I said, I forgot oh, it was about excellent. it. It See, really you, was. I think I, I had a great time. It was very entertaining. <laughs> See, when when it was everybody on Bloomberg, Sherry and I, we did that like this is what we're going to watch tonight for yeah. entertainment. Yes. Yeah, you and know, that's the way I went into it as well. I'm telling you guys, these these Democratic debates, um, they're entertaining. They really For some yeah, reason, yeah. Biden decided he was going to scream at everybody last night. Every answer, he had a tone that was louder than mm-hmm. everybody else, which yeah. was funny to me. Um, Bloomberg, I thought, did a good job. Um, I, he, he will say things. Of course, he used to be a Republican, so he will say things that I find myself agreeing with him on. Right. Probably more so than anybody on stage. Mm-hmm. I felt bad for this uh, uh, star. Yeah. The oh. businessman, he sat down on the far right if you're facing the stage on the far yeah. right and hardly could get a word in because – and they would never ask well, him a question. Him. Then they got to feeling bad that they hadn't asked him a question and they'd throw him something just to kind of get him involved. How did he do any good at all? He did okay. Um, but he, he has no chance. He has this – I don't know. He's, he, he shakes his head when he talks. Does he? So, yeah, it was oh, real weird watching that. Oh. Um, Elizabeth Warren, her, well, she's still telling the story about when well, she was a teacher and was fired. And I have um, that. That's weird because didn't we did, – wasn't this debunked? I thought it was. I thought it was too. And so right? one of the things when she's t- – she's telling this story like it's the first time she's ever told she it She packed her stuff and yeah, got out of there. Yeah, yeah. But yeah but now, Wait a minute, wait a minute. Now, isn't, is, isn't that the out of wedlock baby that she had with an Indian chief? That's it. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> and, they, and they asked her how? Yeah. yeah. I get nothing on that. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> that was, no, that was good. My goodness, guys. That was good. Uh, Lots good. going on this morning, Rick. Uh, yeah, yeah. We've already spun the wheel of meat. Right. 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 Um, and and I, I, it's something about her voice. I can't figure it out, but it just right. it, it irks me. Uh, Mayor Pete did his thing. He did a good job, but oh, again, he's did, Mayor Pete. Did, you're right. She's doing that same story again. Yeah, she's done she this said story. It worse she worse than she added a part Claims that she went home, and then she threw it back on Bloomberg well, about she, she what he had said. She added a part from Yeah, yeah. 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 Um, yeah, and they didn't she claim that Bloomberg told one of his employees yeah, to that, just yeah. kill it? Yeah, yeah that's yeah. Yeah. Did, did Bloomberg go crazy? Oh, yeah, yeah, he's like, wait a minute. He did a good job. Wait a minute. He said, who said that? He She said the woman that you said it to. Yeah. Bernie was somewhat subdued last night. I don't know if it was because he yeah, was being attacked. Up. Let's hear the audio on this. Can we okay. hear it? Let's back up uh, just yeah, a little I'm bit good. of that speech. You're talking about thing. her story? Uh, yeah, just, just halfway the, into her story. And what she says about Bloomberg. And, and then he responds. Is he discrimination? To. You bet. But I was 21 years old. I didn't have a union to protect me. And I didn't have any federal law on my 35 minutes past the hour. The Rick and Bubba Show. Thank you for being with us today. SimplySafeBubba.com. Uh, are you one of the SimplySafeBubba.com uh, clients? If so, feeling pretty good right now uh, because your property is secure. Uh, you probably installed it on your own if you're not me because you know, most of you are much more advanced than I am and can handle these kind of things. But uh, you can install it yourself. Uh, and if you need some help, they'll certainly help you. But uh, you can customize it to fit the property. You're not uh, doing the bowler plate uh, security systems of old where it's the same no matter what the property is. And then you have places that aren't secure because your property might have a unique <coughs> turn here or, or this and the windows. And But uh, they have sensors for every single um, uh, place that you need uh, it to be secure. Also, there's indoor and outdoor HD cameras. Um, the motion sensors are there, um, uh, doors, windows, rooms, everything. Uh, hazard sensors to protect against pipes freezing, fire, smoke, carbon monoxide. Uh, they've got it all. It really is comprehensive. Nobody has it uh, as comprehensive as SimplySafeBubba.com. They're giving you a 60-day risk-free trial right now, too. If you don't love the system, you're going to. But if you don't, uh, return it for a full refund. 
They'll even cover the return shipping. That's how confident they are. You think they do that a lot? Nah, probably not. Uh, so order now to get 20% off any new system with Fast Protect Monitoring and SimplySafeBubba.com is the location. You can also find a link at RickandBubba.com under sponsors. There's no safe like SimplySafeBubba.com safe. Okay, so we're looking at some of the, the things that are stories today. We've, we've hit the border pretty good. I think we're good there. Got some response from you on that. It, it it pretty much is what it is. I think everybody's in their own camps um, and got the information they need to make their own decision. Uh, it'll be a big issue coming up in the election. Um, but then something as lighthearted as Tom Brady now at 46 years old. Now, Tom Brady is, is quite the study because of, uh, <laughs> you know, when he started going into this uh, cutting-edge nutrition mm -hmm. and and his regiment mm -hmm. and how he stayed so good for so long at a sport that just uh, really bangs on your body. Or it did back when you could hit people. But but still, he played a very long time at a very high level. Uh, and a lot of people credit uh, that his work ethic and uh, the things he did with his health had a lot to do with that. Mm -hmm. uh, and so there there's a video today that is supposedly going to show us that Tom Brady, as he kept banging on his craft, kind of like our free throw guy yesterday, can actually run the 40 faster at 46 than he did at the combine 20 years ago. <laughs> That's uh, something. Y'all yeah, so, remember the pictures of him with no shirt yeah. on at the combine? Yes. Yeah, 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 not yeah, yeah, not yeah. athletic at all. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so he, here he is at 46, uh, and, uh, and, we'll, and, and there he is at 22. It comes out at 22 yeah. faster, and then at 46, yeah, he he uh, yeah he, he actually got, surges ahead. Uh, he he surges ahead of himself. Now uh, he doesn't run off and leave himself, but yeah. he is he is faster. But think about 46 versus 26. Of course, I didn't know he was 26 at the combine. Was, was he 22. that old? 22. He's 22. Yeah. yeah. So combine. why did they say 20? Well, it says 22 up? on there. I know. I got you, but that's over 20. They're just it is. they're just rounded yeah. off. Yeah. Okay. Sounds bad. Yeah. Uh, so anyway, it's um, so really 24 years ago. A lot of um, us do a form. You can tell his running yeah, right. form is yeah, working so on much it. better. Yeah, yeah working a lot on tighter. It. Yeah, a lot tighter. So, um, so there. Uh, I think right now, Harvey Glance. It's not. No, no, it never has been. No. So you, all you can really compete against is your your abilities. In limits, but yep. there's very few people that uh, that can run at 46 faster than they did at 22. Yeah, yeah I think that's impressive. I mean, if yep. you can just stay with your 22 year old self, I, I would yeah. think that's pretty good. I, I'm impressed at 46. Yeah. I don't see a knee brace, right? Uh, yep. And I don't see a torn, uh, you know, you know, a lot. hamstring or something like that. Pull. I, I was thinking the only thing I could think that maybe why he's running faster now is he had to run away from Giselle's divorce law. <laughs> 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 That made him run. Like a dog chasing you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh. Hey. Um, but the but I think if one thing I did notice and y'all brought it up immediately, like you know the explosiveness when you get older, you're just so afraid if you come out of come <laughs> yeah. out come there out of those Achilles. And when I say when I say blocks, I, I mean that figuratively. Yeah. I, I don't mean literal blocks like a sprinter. But that that uh, you know the, the key is you got to get a good jump. Nah, eh, not not when you're older. You you better ease into that run. Yeah, and then yeah. So. yeah. Any, any time that that I run now, I'm like I'm I'm not coming off that line wide open because something, something's gonna fall off. And I tried it a few times, and guess what happened? Something fell off. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. I, I don't do that anymore. Do we still have our forty times? The times for when we ran uh, the forty should be somewhere? Goodies. Is that still up on the website? Let's say here. Are we gonna rerun those? There weren't that this, this year. Well, last time I ran it, I blew out my hamstring and quad at the you same did. time. That's right. Yeah, that was great. Yeah, that was good. In blue jeans. <laughs> the reason why I would never run it again is because I'd like to think that now that I am older, I'm also wiser. Yeah. Right. Uh, and, and, right. And I may not be faster, but I should be wiser. <laughs> right. yeah, I see yeah. nothing yeah. good coming from it. No. I don't Except injuries. Yeah, I don't know well, why we did it then. Not running, but last night, the family, for some reason, and we had some people over at our house, they thought it would be funny if I got on a skateboard. Oh, oh no. hell oh, no. no. And they kept that. saying, for trouble. they kept saying, oh, get on it, Dad. Get on it, Dad. Come on, Coach. Get on it. Get on the skateboard. Mm -hmm. Just do one little ride. And I never would get on it. <laughs> because I knew, to your point, nothing good no. was going to come of that. No. Even if I got on it and owned it for 10 seconds, yep. that was a gigantic chance I was no. going to take. No. 
for what possibly would have happened. Oh, yeah. And I used and to like skateboards, and I won't touch one now. No. Because I know I, I just, it'll shoot out from under you. And that's it. That's the key. Don't y'all also And they think, were mad. They, yeah, like they, broke they, oh, you're just no just, fun anymore, Grandpa. You yeah. know, they're giving me that. <laughs> sure. But you know what? Grandpa's walking around today and feels pretty good. Right. <laughs> yeah. Drinking coffee. Yes. yes. Yeah. Loving life. Oh, no. I don't, I don't see that on the website anymore. Every, every single God. day when, mm-hmm. when I rise for a new day, I think we all probably do it to some degree. There's the assessment, what hurts today? <laughs> what doesn't hurt? What's doing a little better? Uh, is there a way to explain the current hurt? Yeah. Uh, can you Do tie I it? have appeal for that? Right. Can you, yes. can you <clears throat> tie it to anything? And so I now, even in the world of doing a little bit better, I'm so cautious now. But, but like, just like you're talking about, you start thinking to yourself, what's happening now is – the accolade, the the applause, the it's pro- not worth it. The proving my kids wrong, yes. uh, proving the youngsters wrong, uh-huh. it does not outweigh the possibility of injury and misery. Yeah, I just, would rather not be injured than to do that. Yes. Yeah, we've and all, I know we've all spent time on crutches. Oh yeah, we've all had some kind of, you know, bracing or mm. a, a cast or something. You go, it just ain't worth it because no. you know how how that takes you out of your normal routine. Yeah. I know what my body's capable of, and I'm happy about that. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. I really yeah. celebrate that, and I don't want to mess it up. There's wisdom in that. with a stupid decision like getting on a skateboard. <laughs> yeah, well, I, I oh, no, there's no doubt that I feel better now than I did 20 years ago, but I don't have the elastic, no. the bounce. Right. You know, it's bone on bone. <laughs> you know, oh, yeah. it's yeah. Uh, you know, my goodness, they. That they almost assessed me for a hip replacement when I went in for physical therapy, <laughs> you know, the, to discover what's that thing right here that I had a tearing. Uh, the uh, your flexor, that? yeah, the, the flexor deal and and all that. Okay. And and so I'm just like, on. look, I'm just I'm just trying to to do to do better. When we say that, it really is nothing's more true. Yeah, it all labor. started. I'm it's not trying labor, to win. Mike, I'm not trying. Well, labor, and when yeah. people see labor, yeah. Tom Brady at 46 labor, do right? this, they automatically think. Well, I can do that, too. I'm in pretty good shape. The problem is Mm -mm. we think about Tom Brady not as one of the most athletic people on the planet, but he truly is. We we think about him maybe compared to Tyreek Hill. That's a whole different ballgame, okay? (laughs) But he's still one of the best athletes that we've ever seen Mm -hmm. and still performing the way he – I mean, he still takes care of his body relentlessly with what he does. So let's not act like just because he's retired – he he can't do these things. Yeah, he hasn't retired still, long either. No, yeah. and he's still active. Yeah. I still think it's yeah, he won it a is, Super Bowl a few years ago. Yes, mm-hmm. I still think it is interesting though to watch him, even though he's not known for his speed, but to watch him be able to run it better. That is and, interesting. And faster than he did when he was 22. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that is yeah. interesting. Yeah. Everything changed for me that when I started making noises when I would bend over and pick something up. Yeah. It was just uncontrollable. Mm. Like, yeah. Yeah. Everything yeah. changed yeah. at that point. Well, you just be smart with it. I mean, even when you're doing better, I, I think Helmsy's example is perfect. I, I don't need to show y'all I can ride a skateboard. Yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, I, I, don't, I don't know what I that's going to do today. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we've had that. We, we've done that. Uh, you know. I got a scrapbook. Y'all can see if y'all want to see when I owned it. Right. Yeah. Okay. yeah. We yeah. can look at that now. all day. There ain't right. no sense in doing something yeah. right now, stupid. No. Daddy, <laughs> Daddy, can you water ski? I could. Water skied a lot. Will you water ski? No. Why? Don't want to. Yeah. No reason. <laughs> There's nothing good that can come from it. He saw yeah. what happened to uh, me when I was right, right. I, I think well, I'll just tough. I think I'll just keep floating. Uh, but I appreciate y'all very much. You oh, know, you want me to do a flip on the knee board? No. I got some important stuff going on in the next two weeks. Yeah. Right. I don't need to do that. Don't need that. I could do it. Okay. I'll go as far as to say, even if you have a routine that you're doing a little bit better, if you get injured, now you're going to go weeks of not being able to do that, and you're going backward. Yeah, you will. Now you're going to go backward. I've seen it. Yeah, so there you go. 15 minutes to the top of the hour. You guys are wise. Uh, I know you're not there yet, but you'll get there, My hips are killing me. Yeah. Where they they don't lie. We come back. I got to tell you all. don't lie. A girl beat me up in jiu-jitsu yesterday. What? I'm just struggling. On that note, we have a story from yesterday. What? Bubba, you barely missed it. I mean, barely missed it. Mm. Tell you what happened with Adler in this studio yesterday, and it was horrifying. <laughs> when we come back. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. So I packed up my stuff, and I went home. At least I didn't have a boss who said to me, kill it, the way that I Mayor Bloomberg never alleged said that. have said to one of oh, his on. pregnant employees. People want a chance that- to hear. People want a chance to hear Senator, from I, the women who I have never said that. I, I want and, to allow the mayor.
<laughs> so here, yeah. I, I think the audience started booing her. Yeah. No, no, no. The like, crowd was pro B- Bloomberg last night. Oh, were they? Yeah, they were. And I think he, it was he bought in the crowd. Was, huh? was Clint was Eastwood it? sitting out there? Was it in New York? Where it, was the debate? South Carolina. South Carolina. Okay, yeah, so, South Carolina. So it's pretty so big. One. It was pro Bloomberg. Yeah. They yeah. they were booing Bernie at one point. Um, Did he feel the burn? Wait a minute! I didn't <laughs> hear those boos. He well, was, the, the whole Bloomberg thing is, I mean, uh, a Bernie Sanders thing when he tried to. Basically, say Obama said the same thing about Cuba that yeah. he's saying they booed him on yeah, that. Yeah, they did. They did. All right, I got to ask you this. Heard y'all talking in the kitchen <clears throat> again. I'm like Bubba. I missed it and I regret it because it really is That's entertaining on me. to watch. I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. But but did 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 Biden? Because you said he's now shouting because he realizes he's coming <laughs> apart. <laughs> did he honestly say that there's been 150 million Americans killed hey, by he guns? did slip Since up? 2007. I will say Wait, this, but 150 uh, million. Yeah. You said we have half the population? Yep. Rick, I didn't realize the gun thing was that bad. I, I think he's basing that on the low number of people that come to his events. <laughs> uh huh. That's good. Yeah, that is good. He doesn't think there's that many people in this right, country. Right. He, uh, I thought he, I think, other than that misspeak, yeah. I thought he did a great better, job. He did a better, better job at the. This was, was a bounce back for him? Yes, absolutely. Okay. Can I tell you, Joe's beginning to look funny to me? Mm-hmm. Yes, Even more. You're right. You're right. He, he, I mean, he's, he's beady your eyed. That tells ever. you all you need to know. He screamed yeah. at everybody last night. So he, uh, was he like the old man? That, did he, he look? Was, <laughs> was he like Jeff Dunham's yeah. like, character yeah. screaming at everybody? Y- you feel like right there he's screaming, "Kids, uh, leave my apples alone!" Yeah. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I liked that yeah. joke. Get Biden, out of my yard, crotchety right. old man. Yeah, I liked him, yeah. and I and I liked, I liked the him. way Bloomberg and Biden handled their stuff last night. I liked both of that. So I want more of that. Did do you think? Did you get a sense last night? You know, because the Democratic Party is, you know, they're going to arrange who they want. Yeah, they did that last year. Yeah. if you recall, our last election, I mean. And uh, so, did you get a sense last night? What we said, everybody on Bernie, everybody on Bernie, that they were trying to all go after Bernie. Yeah, and I think that was the reason he was somewhat subdued. About uh, he he wasn't himself last night, and I think it was just him kind of down in the ball, kind of like we do in here. Yeah, and saying I'll get my uh, chance to rebut here, but I'm not going to be that guy that tries to out scream because all of you are screaming at me at this point and mm-hmm. trying to get on me, and I'm leading. So what do I have to lose? Yeah, what, when is Super Tuesday? It's it's coming up next week. It's early next in March. Tuesday. Yeah, we're less than was a week. It? No, it's next week, guys. Is it March next the 3rd? Tuesday. Yes, one week from yesterday. Yes, absolutely. Oh, how about that? We're less than a week away. Yeah. Well, we'll know a lot after that, won't yeah, we? Yeah, we will. Pure chaos. You, you know the thing, I, and again, I'm I'm trying to understand the people who you know huddle together in the rooms and make their plans. <laughs> I don't know if they're if this is their way of expunging the left. They're going to go. Ah, right, we're going to let the communists run and get slaughtered. And then maybe we can put them to bed for a while. Or do you, do you, I mean, it's hard though to take a beating like that. It is. Do you think it's, you remember? It's hard to recover because you may, you may lose seats in the house. Well, I mean, we, it may, may really go back. No, on. you're right. Yeah. Cause we go, we go back to what we call the, you know, the, the Mike Tyson syndrome where you won't listen to anybody, but you, you, you're not, you're not ready. You right. think you can just go out there and mm-hmm. win. You, you're, and you finally say, well, I'm just going to let you get beat. Maybe you'll wake up. Right. But, uh, but but like but you see, said, boy, the damage can be done there. And, and think about this: this series of debates you've had has it helped your cause to get a candidate who can beat Donald Trump, or has it just been self mutilation up and down the aisle? <clears throat> there you go. That's the thing. The two guys yeah. that I believe have. I don't think Trump loses. Okay, now that may just be ignorant on my part, but I don't think at this point with those seven he can lose. But I think the best chance of of there being a fight at all is within Biden and Bloomberg. Those are the two. I don't know. Because Sire nobody else is going <laughs> to – nobody else – well, you know, you laugh about that. That's, he he, he actually – I mean, he, he if says, you pick one. He, if, you, if you have to pick between that bunch, he's – and by the way, he's for term limits on Congress. So he threw that out there last well, you know, night. He started a community bank. I don't know if y'all saw that. <laughs> yeah, I heard yeah, about yeah. that. But I don't think he has a chance. Y'all, no, he does. Y'all, no, Hillary no. is circling like a vulture right now. She is. We'll be back. Stand by. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba.
pulling into class or pulling into the parking lot of your school and you're going to want to be part of the Rick and Bubba world's largest classroom. Read Across America comes up next hour. Green Eggs and Ham will be uh, read here. You can tag us on social media at Rick and Bubba and be part of America's largest classroom. Uh, so catch that coming up uh, next hour uh, as that tradition continues. Also tonight, uh, Sherry and I are excited to be in Birmingham, Alabama uh, with the Shelby Baptist Association Pastors and Wives Banquet. Uh, at Meadowbrook Baptist Church. Uh, we're going to get to be there to try to encourage these pastors and their wives. I, I know, Bubba, you've always had a heart uh, and uh, for good reason for pastors because, let's face it, rarely is the day that they get calls from the people that they shepherd and the calls are, Pastor, just want you to know everything God's told you to tell us I'm doing my, my my life is great and just want to tell you a good job. Yeah. Uh, so we, that, we don't do that enough. That doesn't happen. So we're it, this is designed really, I asked again, it's really designed just to give them some encouragement. So uh, Sherry and I are honored to serve those people tonight and look forward to being there, and thanks for inviting us. All right. So uh, yesterday, Bubba, you and I finished up another Rick and Bubba University, the podcast. Uh, Gary Burley was, is our guest and, uh, and Donna uh, Frank Villa. Uh, they, they wrote a book uh, called Glory, The Struggle for Yards, uh, and these are turn-of-the-century African-American unsung heroes in professional football, uh, from referees to coaches to players. Uh, fascinating book. Gary is fascinating. So we finished that up, and Bubba, you had just, that door right there <laughs> that I'm pointing at had just closed, Okay. You heard what Adler mentioned. Adler, if those of you that have never been here, you making, I don't know if you ever can see him. I don't think we have a shot really. You can see him inside there. But he's in a little booth. He has his own little area. He's got a room in there now. It's almost like a timeout for kids, but it has windows. It's like a soundproof-looking studio in there, and he has his own little world in there where he runs the YouTube channel. There you go. So you see the door there. Well, Gary and I have, have known each other for the last year because he comes to the Wednesday Bible Study, and I was introduced to him by some other friends of, you know, we both had the same friends and uh, with some of the guys in here. So he was getting ready. We were about to go out. You had just gone out the door and he looked at me and said, oh man, I forgot to get a picture. And I said, well, and I looked and you were already gone. I said, well, he said, well, this just you and I get a picture. And, uh, and, and he said, do you, do you have anybody that can take it? Well, I'm, I'm thinking that Donna will take it, who was here with him, one of the co-authors. And then he said, no, no, I want both of us in the picture. Could you think you think Adler could take it for us? So I go to the door to ask Adler. I guess we're not knocking. Oh no! no. He has no pants on. Again, uh, he has yeah, no he pants on. Oh, I opened the Adler. door. I he opened did that the other day. I opened the What's door. That? He's in there changing into his stupid gi. Oh, whoa, yeah. whoa, 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 whoa. I, 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 I'm stupid. The gi's not stupid. Yeah. I am stupid. <laughs> Don't but, you dare call that gi stupid. Well, I wish you could have seen their faces. Our guest. When I turn around, I said, sorry about that. He can take the picture once he puts his pants on. What? Now, I want you to imagine I what they're thinking. I guess we're just thinking. not knocking now. I guess just knocking is out. Imagine <laughs> what they're thinking. Why is anyone at work without their pants on? I mean, and I got sweaty. And uh, <laughs> I'm and, just kidding. And, no. and then we uncomfortably stand there waiting for him to put his pants on. Adler. I. <laughs> I, I was trying to get to class. Uh, excuse me for trying to better myself, okay? You had no you pants on. Right? I got eggs on my face, Ga by the way. Gary and, <laughs> Gary and Donna saw you in your in your, in your your underwear. You, you had no me. pants they on. They did not see me. I hope they were me. clean. They didn't see me, all right? I hid behind the door like a child would hide from a boogeyman or something. I go, hey, Rick, give me a second. Hey. You know, you know, it was <laughs> famous like, say, like I was busting into a dressing room or busting Adler. into a, a bathroom stall. You know, when somebody says, give me a minute. Well, I didn't expect that to be in Adler's yeah, you wanna... studio in his part of the studio. Yeah, there is a window there, you know, buddy. Oh, I was I was clearly in the no see zone where they <laughs> wouldn't be able to see me, and I, I get I did the, the standard like you know if somebody like oh, tries to open your stall in the bathroom, somebody's in here. Yeah, he, he, <laughs> yeah right. He gave me that, but busy. Bubba, but picture this because I want y'all to see my turn. So I turn from the door. They think, why won't he take our picture? Mm -hmm. And I turn around. I said, hey. I, I guess I should have said something else, but I just, when you just saw something like that, I said, 
I think he'll take it once he puts his pants on. So you yeah. just went there. Well, didn't they look at me like, did you just say once he yeah. puts his pants on? What are you going to say? Did you said when he's available? Maybe? I know. I wish I'd have said something different. Yeah, you because didn't have to it'll, say that part it changed of it. The, it'll, it'll be a minute. He's wrapping up the video. <laughs> there you go. That's right. right. It, it changed the dynamic of the room. Yeah. It really, really did. He's, he's getting his things together. He's fixing some He's fixing some cables or something, you know, yeah. well, or like... He's editing. Maybe you know, not that. Yeah. He's, trimming, he's trimming some stuff up for the podcast. What about this? <laughs> now you now make yourself Gary, our guest yesterday, and Donna, our guest, the, the authors of the book. Right. Now now let's go into their world <laughs> as they now are asked for the first time. So tell me how it was up there at the studio. Right. Yeah. Y- y'all went and did a podcast with Rick right. and Bubba. Tell us how that went. Well, well we had a lot of fun. Had a lot of fun, you know. Yeah, got to interact yeah, with the yeah, guys yeah. a little Studio bit. Was yeah, nice. yeah, you're supposed to speak in the front of the mic. Yeah, and uh, Gary, just a little closer. But the uh, so, but the the uh, wow, I had to com- almost spit that. Out. Yeah. I had to compress the audio. Quite That's a bit. all right. Yeah, That's it's, all right. It'll be, it'll it's, it's, it's not going to hurt you. Right. Yeah, but uh, broadcast will be fixed. But anyway, the um, but then they go. Picture this, Bubba. Apparently, you know the Adler guy you hear about. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Is, how, is he a nice guy? Seems to be, but... Um, Do you know he does the podcast while he's switching it? He's he, Right. I, he, he, I, I want him to take a picture of us, but he couldn't call us. Why, Gary? Why, Gary? Why, 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 what, was he busy? Was he editing the video? He, he didn't have his pants on. Yeah. I, I, I mean, it's I'm called a pantless podcast. He was indisposed. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I was. Yeah, and then you go, and apparently you went and wrestled a female again and got... got and, she, look, she was strong. So right. you were she changing was, clothes. You got your pants on, on right? Incredibly yeah, strong. Yeah, wear your pants on now. Now you have your gi on. Yes. <laughs> You've taken yes. the picture. Thank you for yeah. that. Now, but don't forget, the picture was made with, with Adder and Gee. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right. I took, so don't I miss t- that. I you have come through the room and I took the picture, and I'm wearing pajama pants, basically. Right. Did you put your shoes on? Or? I didn't have I didn't have time. They <laughs> were waiting for on? me because they because I, I didn't have pants on a second ago. They were waiting for me, so I oh, had to hurry. So I just came out in pajama pants. So good. Okay. Um, so that that was a that was a big part of my day yesterday. So you went and rolled a female after that? No, just one. Oh, uh, that's just one. Right. <laughs> did, did what you, do you call it? Yeah. Isn't it called you're rolling? Rolling. rolling? Yeah, yeah. you yeah. rolled. Roll. Spar, yeah. fight. It's well, basically it's brutal rolling, fighting. You it's did brutal. it. It was rolled. I don't that's know that. Brutal <laughs> fighting. Do you know because the person was a female, no matter what word you use, it never works? Right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right. You know, I remember so, none of them sound good. Roll what with what yeah, level are you, Adler? You're, What's that? What what level are you? He's still a white black belt. Black oh. belt, I think. No. <laughs> black, no, you're, no, you're, you're a white, belt, but you got a stripe. Y'all, or something? I've got four stripes on my white belt. Uh, one of my stripes fell off in the in the in the wash. <laughs> I had such a terrible week. I just left it off. I'm well, like, I don't deserve it. that fourth. Stripe. You demoted yourself. Y'all, so who, it's getting embarrassing. I've been a white belt for like eight years. It's now. like a record. I, I, I'm I'm such a loser, and I hate myself. Um, so here the, is the female. Giselle, by the way, Giselle's got her purple belt, and I'm still a stinking white belt loser. Golly, Gosh, eight, eight years. Adler, what you okay? uh, the female you you rolled with was not Giselle, <laughs> right? I mean, let's be clear. No, no, no. We just talked about Tom Brady last right. segment. That's why I brought yeah, it up. She's yeah. got her purple belt now. Great. And so, Makes so me look what, terrible. What level was she at that you rolled with? Uh, the uh, like she was she was a blue belt, so she was technically so is that, better. Is that than after? I am. That's one after level five up stripes. You get a blue. Four is stripes. It? Four stripes. I'm very close to my blue belt. You so. gonna sew that other stripe back on, or so it only you know it's only taken me five years, guys. So, so not, how did it not go, trying though? to brag? Pretty good at this jujitsu stuff. <laughs> I'm a killing machine, so watch yourself. <laughs> you look a little sore today. You really do. My hips are killing me. Like they just well, yeah. dig in so much. <laughs> Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. All right, so San Francisco. Now, this is interesting because the last time I checked, is it not true that San Francisco was a city of refuge? Right, if you oh, want, yeah. if you want, if you, uh, yeah. hey, if you want to come here, I mean, we we, a we sanctuary city. We, what we are a sanctuary yep. city, and, and the sanctuary city is to protest what? Everybody, mm. stay with me. Sanctuary cities are to protest the wall. Sanctuary cities are a protest against immigration and us illegal immigrants and us yeah. us just not allowing anybody to come in anytime mm. they want. Right. And they think that vetting people is unreasonable. It's mean. Mm-hmm. It's racist. And so they were going to show our country that, 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 that it is ridiculous to want to vet people coming into the country, and it's racist to do so. So we will allow our city to be a sanctuary city to anyone who wants to come here, apparently, unless you have coronavirus. Mm-hmm. 
Because now, uh-huh. now, strangely, uh, they are declaring a state of emergency. Now, they do not have one case. <laughs> Uh, and there are 57 known cases in the United States. No cases in San Francisco, but 24 Bubba, in California. But Bubba, listen. By to, far the largest number. But listen to this: Mayor London Breed pointed pointed to the virus, saying it was unpredictable and troubling with its global growth. We see the virus spreading in new parts of the world every day, and we're taking necessary steps to protect the people of San Francisco from harm. Well, well wait I'll tell you, a, a lot minute. of decisions that city's made hey. is not protecting them against harm. No. No. Bubba, wait a minute. This sounds like they're trying to make sure that something doesn't come in, right, that they don't want in. I know. Is I that, mean, well, what about a sanctuary city for uh, coronavirus? If if I have coronavirus, can I not come to San Francisco and y'all give me some medical help? I guess not. Hmm. So they're going to they're gonna try to declare a state emergency to keep that from coming in? Yeah, I saw I just want to be sure I have that right. They have a state Because that sounds a lot like, you know, maybe vetting people at the border. Right. To be sure they don't bring anything in. It it is kind of strange they have a state of emergency and they have no cases there. But, you know, it is reasonable. They, Like I said, 24 in California, that'll that'll turn into a few thousand here before we know it. So Certainly it's reasonable. You know why? (laughs) Yeah. Well, guess what else is reasonable? To vet people at the border. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. you don't want things coming in that you don't know what's coming in, right? Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm not saying that I don't understand this response. I just don't understand the hypocrisy of saying that you're a sanctuary city for all comers, and who are we to think that something bad may come in? Of course, they're turning San Francisco into a third world country. Right. But, but and you know, and, and there's there's human human feces up and down the streets. But Yeah, but, who, but, who would have thought that would have been bad for but, everybody's but, uh, public uh, help? Yeah. Right. And uh, so it sounds like there's a concern that the city – might have a virus come in that would be unwanted. You know, know, this is so typical, too, for government, not only there but on other levels. They're not doing the things that they need to do that's right in front of them, like the homeless mess out there. Uh, And the the public health issue it is, not politics, public health issue. Mm -hmm. But yet they're making headlines preparing for something that hasn't even happened there yet. Yeah, and and this is all coming. You know, yesterday afternoon the CDC issued this new warning. Mm -hmm that all Americans need to start preparing for the possibility of a more aggressive, disruptive approach Mm -hmm. to stopping the spread of the coronavirus in the U.S. And it's, you know, because it's now in Iran, Japan, South Korea, Italy, and you got this Korean airline worker that they now say might have been on a flight to Los Angeles. So... uh, we got a Boston Red Sox pitching prospect quarantine. Yeah, Yeah, most definitely. Bringing him in, but he's got to be quarantined. Yeah, but let's go back to this. Let me say this. I'm just speaking San Franciscan here, okay? <laughs> if you're saying that people that maybe come from China might be bringing something in we don't want, isn't that racist? It's, uh, I mean, Rick, it's, I it's, think, it's, what's the term, xenophobic? Are you, hey, hey, hey let, me, let me use some San Francisco far left language. Are you saying all Asians are bringing in a virus? Mm. Is that what you're saying? You, are you being some kind of racist person against Asians? We don't know. We know that not everybody has the virus. We just want to make sure that some of them, the ones that do, are vetted. What? Mm. No, you, then you're just saying that all Chinese people carry around a, a dangerous virus. What kind of racist comment is that? <laughs> no, no, we're just saying that, that it's obvious that some might. Oh, well, that, you, that, that you, sounds an awful lot mm, like the border. And you I need mean, to protect the people who are already yeah. here from potential mm-hmm. infection to mm-hmm. this thing because we really don't know what we're doing. Are you with saying it. that you don't want people running up in San Francisco that has coronavirus? That. Because it's trying to protect the people of what San Francisco yeah. that don't have it. But see, this is the thing, and and this and the virus came from what another country. Yeah, I just want to be sure I have it's all right. Because this sounds an awful lot like the border. Yeah. But see, Rick, mm-hmm. the 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 squatting mess they have out there, and the mm-hmm. public health issue with that, is potentially worse. And it's on the street right now. Yeah, and I'm, they're not doing anything about it because it's not politically expedient. I'm going Good to point. send a, an email to Mayor London Breed. Today, London Bridge. Today, if I can find a way. <laughs> uh-huh. And I'm going to say, may I suggest y'all build a wall around San Francisco mm-hmm. and vet people and vet people as they come in. What would your subject virus. matter be for, to, for it to really jump out at it? A wall for San Francisco. Okay. Mm-hmm. The, uh, you've heard like of the San that. Francisco Bridge, the San Francisco Wall. Okay. And I said, I'm doing this to protect the people from San Francisco from coronavirus because you don't know where it's coming from. That's right. And it, it actually originated in another country. Mm. Hmm. That just sounds a lot like what we want to do at the border. It just sounds a lot like it. It's, yeah. it's amazingly. Yeah. Uh, right. It just sounds an awful lot like it. It's a little, di- now, it's this, a little different when it's real, isn't it? Yeah. See, that's, this, by the way, can I tell London Breed 
Uh, instead of London Bridge, London Breed is falling down. Can I tell London Breed something? This is how people feel whose their loved ones were killed by illegal immigrants who came in who were wicked. Here we go from the Big Boy Studio out on the bleeding edge of technology from Sweet Home, Alabama to the rest of the world. Uh, the Rick and Bubba Show rolls on. Today, Speedy, the real Greg Burgess, Helmsy, Eddie Van Adler, all in the mix. And welcome back. Bill Bubba Bus. Rick, glad to be here and thank all of you for letting us do what we do. Yep, yep, yep. We have uh, a lot to cover. Read Across America coming up this hour. Green Eggs and Ham. We'll do that uh, in the very next segment. So if you are someone joining us uh, for the world's largest uh, classroom, I know we call it the world's largest. At times we call it the nation's largest. It's a big one. It's a big it's one. It's a big one. And, uh, you know, and of course, uh, if you want to be part of that, uh, let us know. Teachers, your class is participating. Take a picture of your class. Tag us on social media at Rick and Bubba. So, um Bubba, we, we have we have all kinds of Biden news, and we hit a lot of it involving the border. Help me with this Maui fire conspiracy theory. What what, what in the world is this? Uh, I, I'm not familiar with the Maui fire conspiracy theory about lasers now, from space. Now, we heard there, there, there was some people saying that they saw lasers coming out of the sky Blue. before the Maui fires okay. and all that. Oh, so, oh boy. I, I, don't, I don't know about all that, but apparently uh, Biden— discusses it, which I'm sure will clear up a lot of things. Boy, yeah. let me yeah. tell you, if you want to get clarity on a topic, somebody get President Biden in here and let's roll tape. <laughs> so here he is, uh, maybe even fueling the conspiracy. Right, so here we go. Because a lot of, if you fly over these areas that are burned to the ground, you'll see in the midst of 20 homes that are just totally destroyed, one home sitting there because they had the right roof on it. And anyway, since I took office, FEMA's... So when, this is when he went to see the Maui thing? Because I know this what, isn't new because he was at that, the border yesterday. Is that what it says here? Yeah. Um, the, um, so there's a roof on it? Oh, it uh, Adler's has some info for uh, you, Rick. Okay, okay so uh, he's uh, saying that some of the, I guess some of the roofs were better at withstanding these wildfires than others, right? Right. Yeah, so this was, okay. this, was Biden, this was Biden at the border yesterday. Oh, at the border. Okay. That's, just talking th- about Maui. Uh, well, he was talking about just fires. Just talking about fires in general. Texas had the Texas. wildfires. Okay. Texas had the wildfires. Okay. Before Biden said this yesterday, there's been this crazy uh, conspiracy going on of, wait a second, why are some of these houses still standing? Some of them just get burned to the ground. Uh, a lot of people are noting that a lot of these celebrities and 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 p- powerful people, their roofs are blue, and their their house didn't burn down at all. So that I'm not saying any of this is accurate, right? But this does not, not help. Not. This right. does not help at all. Well, your voice, that, your tone. That he said something about the roofs. He talked about people having the right roofs, and this is what people have been talking about. People are saying, oh, the, the celebrities with the blue painted roofs, none of their houses burned down. And another thing that doesn't help it either is that the, the United States does have actual patents for these direct energy weapons, DEW. That's what you're going to see a ton swirling around this conspiracy. The DEW, direct energy weapons, exist yeah, um, they exist. We know they do. We've seen them. Yes. I mean, we, there's videos of them shooting mm-hmm. down rockets and things. Now, so. Bubba, you can you can give me more info on this. This is something that was floating around before Bubba, uh, before Biden made these comments as well. And this is a laser hitting different colors. Where? It's burning up yellow. It's burning up red. It does nothing to blue cloth, but it burns up these other colors. Is that how all lasers work, or is that just certain lasers, or or what what's going on with that? We well, go to you, I, Bubba. I, it may have to do with the frequency of the laser to start with. Sure. And it's just like if you have something on the side of your house in the summer that's black versus it's white. Yes. You know, then there's a great temperature difference in that. Big time. So, I mean, different colors just have different luminance that mm-hmm. that react different to heat. Bubba, 
Thank you. You are intelligent. Mm-hmm. Thank so, you, Bob. Um, so, Bobby, you're saying the Maui fires were started by lasers. Got well, it. Got gotcha. you. Unless you I, had I, a blue roof. I think it's probably like a lot of other places. Uh, uh-huh. You know, it was dry and windy, and when they got a fire started, it went nuts. I don't know. Yeah, Oprah's, a Oprah's had a, she had a blue one. Oprah knows. Zuckerberg knew. Well, maybe blue roofs, uh, you know, don't catch fire from embers from other fires as easy. So yeah, maybe, maybe others, everybody should paint their roof Or blue. maybe they, they have bought you, a cheaper roof. You and, said you fantasize about, Adler, and that is sprinklers on the roof. This, well, I don't have a blue roof. That's why I was. I need sprinklers of some kind or something to keep the, <laughs> the space lasers from burning my house down. You ever had that I, feeling when you were driving and you regretted the turn you just took? Yeah, yeah. yeah, uh, yeah. You know, oh gosh, I shouldn't have done this, uh, man. This this the deeper I go, the worse this neighborhood it is. does not look safe, and I don't think this is a shorter route. <laughs> If I could go back and not turn here, I think I would. Uh, I'm the, glad uh, we talked about this yeah, and confirmed it. Right. So what what we're hearing, <laughs> what we're hearing is so I got to get back to the theory because that's where the fun is. Yeah. So so the theory is that to be protected by the government's laser weapons, I that paint- they're somehow firing on civilian. Uh, Resort places like Hawaii, right? Even mine. If I don't want the government to fire the deadly laser and burn my house down, I paint my roof blue. Mm-hmm. And also because blue is the color of the Democrats, they save me. Oh, I didn't oh, think yeah. about that. Is, is, is that is that? Is that Adler, I, let's, further confirmation. Let's further really, confirmation. Let's really have fun with it. Okay, so that's the theory. <laughs> that didn't look like the right blue for the Democrats. Right. Well, you're right. It, 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 that looked like the UN. Right. NATO blue. Oh, yeah, and I'm there's probably, people oh, yeah. that actually believe this. And then you got to go back uh-huh. to what we always love to do, the motive. So we're we're firing on with our lasers, burning the houses down of our political opponents, of uh, people that don't vote for us. No, actually, they uh, burn them down, Rick, because they wanted to take their land. Yes, it's a land grab. 15 minute ci- 15 minute cities. Fifteen <laughs> what? Fifteen minute cities. But that's even what though you, to even though you whisper, into. you're you're still on. All right, I'm going to say I'm, I'm going to get out of there's a list. I like his gloom and doom voice. Right. Oh. Bubba, tell me if I need to add to the list. Uh, number one on the list: cut his time with Greg. We yeah. talked about that. Number two: take that uh, sample we were sent by a potential client. <laughs> yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, that's okay. done. Something take that right. sample. Yeah. Three. Get him off the internet. I mean, uh, uh, cut yeah, his internet. Or get him a blue belt. Ban uh, uh, that from switch the over there. My you blue got. belt would protect right. me from the fires. Right. That's it. That's right. why I need to get right. it. Well, you're in trouble because you can't seem to get one. No, here's here's what I'll say. Have Adler run Tucker Carlson stories by you first. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, yeah, there it is. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's, yeah. Guys, uh, okay. block here's Alex blue Jones. Car. Blue car didn't burn up. <laughs> right. That's strange. Right. Huh. Uh, 15 minutes. You know, <laughs> knowing, remove knowing the my, Alex Jones app yeah. from Adler's phone. Yeah. <laughs> right. Right. Okay. Knowing my wife, we could have absolute scientific clinical proof that a blue roof would probably save your house from a fire, and we wouldn't get it because no. you don't want a blue roof. That's no, right. absolutely no. She'd rather the place right. burn to the ground take a shot at a brown room. roof, you know? Oh, yeah. Risk right. the fire. Check this out here, Rick. This is the, where everything burned. Mm-hmm. Look at that green right there in the middle of it. Oh, but see, that was New York City. That oh, was Central that Park. Yeah. Sorry, but that, that's Central, Central Park. Look at the wavelength information they're showing it's us. It's Central Park. <laughs> what about it? <laughs> Look at, oh, wow, that definitely proves it. <laughs> there it is. Right. Oh, that it. jar didn't burn up. <laughs> that blue jar didn't burn. <laughs> Note to the self. fact that it's blue means it was painted with something, <laughs> right? Yeah. Note, C- can note, I say? <clears throat> note oh, wow. to self. Wow, can I say something real quick? <laughs> sure you can. A lot of people. Of notes. A lot of people have said that Adler, it's been great to see you change and and <laughs> see you turn in this new person and this what's this green stuff you're doing. Y'all just gave me a mic. It just took y'all 10, 11 years to give me a mic. I've always been this person. No, no, you weren't alt Adler. No, not you like were this. not alt Adler. Not like this. No, 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 you weren't Matt, when you, you dated remember that the, butcher. Remember the right left <laughs> scale? I've I've stayed put. The left has f- ran into the the <laughs> kooky barn. Now you're Elon stayed Musk. Put. Now he's Elon put. Musk. Now you're Elon Musk. And it just took y'all 10 years to give me a mic, thing. and I'm trying not to <laughs> screw it up, but I'm not doing a good job. No, well. Jerry's well. <laughs> out. And will y'all, for the love of God, stop calling it the green stuff? Because that they reflects poorly on Field okay, of Greens, and yeah. he's not taking Field it's of Greens. Not field yeah. of what about yeah. this mysterious powder that right. was sent to us? Right, there you go. I, sample a potential client. Yeah. <laughs> Look, I've okay. always been a crackpot. Y'all sample just gave packs. me a mic. Y'all just gave me a mic. I kind of blame you guys, right. frankly. Sample yeah. packs. Um, is he trying out for something or what? Y'all know. <laughs> what if it's a blue powder? <laughs> like you know, the first podcast he had did not take. That's This new one, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I did my own podcast. People did not care for it. <laughs> <laughs> But that was before. But I'm glad we confirmed the space lasers. Right. Read across America <laughs> next. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba.
just how they feel. So it's real for them. Yeah. See, that, that could have been avoided if this person had been vetted properly, and you don't want anybody to be vetted. But now when coronavirus has come in there to, to eat up San Francisco, now suddenly you're a vetter. Okay, this is the way the people feel who their loved ones were murdered. This is how they feel. It's the same feeling. Okay, so that, that's, that's why some people think that vetting people who come into your country from God knows where is a reasonable thing to do. Reasonable. Doesn't mean you can't come in. It just means you're vetted. Yeah. Okay? We have, we have legal immigration here. And if we want to try to make that more expedient and more mm-hmm. smoother, fine. But now, just letting people come in willy-nilly... As you can see, you don't want what? people coming in willy nilly to San Francisco now. <laughs> yeah, you said you did, unless they got coronavirus. I guess they can't. Mm-hmm. So if I got coronavirus, y'all don't have a place for me to lay down, take a crap in the street. Is that what <laughs> yeah. you're telling me, Rick? <laughs> well, I'm tired of it, Speedy. I'm sick of it. <laughs> right. right. Well, you I, are. I mean, you're gonna it, send a, it, an email it, to the mayor. Yeah, I am. A wall for San maybe, Francisco. Maybe she will read it. <laughs> and London Breed is falling down. Yep. Right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Wait a minute. Oh, no. Oh, boy. Oh, no. Are you confused? <laughs> I'm a little confused here. <laughs> Lady's his eyes. Are you saying that people that come from all over the dumb world might be bringing crap in here? <laughs> Why not let them all come in? <laughs> What's your harm? <laughs> What's London Breed talking about? <laughs> uh, you mean I can catch a virus of people that come from Wahoo? <laughs> I mean, I mean that's unbelievable. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> oh, gracious alive. Yeah, suddenly, London Breed's about vetting. Mm. I would agree with London Breed <laughs> on vetting. So, uh, and if, you, if you're not real careful, London Breed could be falling down. Yes, sir. 15 minutes past the hour. More of the Rick and Bubba show coming up. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait just a doggone minute. <laughs> <laughs> These people are, are they in the country with us. Yeah. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Seven minutes past the hour from the broadcast plaza and teleport. A brand new hour. Thank you for being with us. Speedy, the real Greg Burgess, Helmsy, Eddie Van Adler all here. Stretch Armstrong takes your phone calls at 866-WE-BE-BIG. And welcome back for a brand new hour. There's Bill Bubba Bussy. Hey, Bubs. Glad to be here, Rick, and thank all of you for being part of the Rick and Bubba experience. All right, a couple of phone calls are here. Some of it spills over from last hour. Randall uh, is in Alabama, and Anonymous, we'll get to your call here, too, because I know that'll be a group discussion, but... But Randall's in Alabama. Randall, you, you heard the story last hour about the horrible... Uh, death of uh, Jorge Torres as his uh, is it girlfriend was it a girlfriend uh, put so. it, put him in a suitcase or he got in a suitcase and she zipped it up mm-hmm. and he died uh, because uh, allegedly they heard her saying that he had cheated on her and choked her. What about you said that your your wife bought a big suitcase and you were able to get in it? Oh boy, guys, look, <laughs> I'm six foot tall, two hundred forty pounds, and when she brought that suitcase to a house, I couldn't believe it. You can probably put a Volkswagen in it because I don't know about getting it zipped up, but I could lay in that thing in the fetal position. Really? You could get in a suitcase at your size that your wife bought. Their suitcase is that big. Randall, why did you try to lay in it? Yeah, be careful. And did she ask you to lay in it? No, we were making a funny about it. I can't I can't really remember what the funny was, but we was making a funny about it. Like playing a little game and of hide and seek. Was there alcohol involved? Oh uh, no. I don't care how drunk which I don't drink anymore. I give that up a long time ago, but I don't care how That's drunk awesome. I get. There ain't no woman gonna make me get in a suitcase. Mm, I don't know. Randall, your wife did. Randall, you just told us you your got in did, one yeah. in the fetal position. All she had to do is hurry up and zip uh, it up. I well I you think must it have been was drinking more then. funny. No, I wasn't drunk, but look, man, I ain't lying. You could probably put a, a Volkswagen in that in that suitcase. Yeah. I mean, and we still have it. That was the only time we ever used that suitcase, and it was for a two day getaway. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yep. Yeah. She got caught up in it, and bought okay, a big all one. Right. Well, I mean, it's. Uh, I will. I will say that he he, as you pointed out, Bubba. All she had to do was say, "Let's play a game," and he was in. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I, I mean, I, uh, women I, can talk you into getting a. Rick and Bubba's in Ohio. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Pass 
the gravy, please. Welcome in uh, to the world's largest classroom. Uh, we are your teachers, uh, Rick and Bubba. Uh, how does that feel to hear that line? Uh, glad that you're here. It's Read Across America today, and uh, so we welcome all the teachers, all the students, and just Rick and Bubba listeners and viewers uh, for the uh, Read Across America tradition. You're all part of the world's largest classroom, including our golden ticket seats today, Bubba. How about that? Nice. Right. Glad you got a haircut yesterday. Thank you. Yeah, if I hadn't had the haircut, I couldn't got it on. No, yeah. look, look, Bubba has the cat and the hat on, on and, and uh, I was going to ask our golden ticket seats uh, to sit down on the floor and go crisscross applesauce, but a lot of you are our age, and we don't want to see an injury. <laughs> right. So, uh, but we do have we do have some young folks and here. We can't pull you up either. Do have yeah. some young. I remember I couldn't do it when I was a kid because I was kind of a husky kid. A little shout out to all the husky kids out there. <laughs> Uh, every time I tried to do crisscross applesauce, my corduroys nearly started a fire. Uh, so, uh, so anyway, um, do, do thank you guys for being here today. We're doing green eggs and ham. Green eggs and ham. Bubba has a lot we can teach in this. Persistence. It does. Persistence it does. pays off. It's very educational. Yeah, and so uh, some of you that are aspiring, uh, you know, maybe radio salespeople one day, uh, Sam's a good example of that. Uh, so let's get started. Uh, if you have a copy uh, there with your teacher, or you can look on our YouTube channel and see our copy, uh, we'll start uh, with Dr. Seuss's Green Eggs and Ham. Here we go. I am Sam. So right out of the gate, we establish who our main character is. Mm -hmm. There is Sam. Uh, he's going past this gentleman here, and the gentleman looks up and sees him going by with the sign, I am Sam. Hmm. Sam comes back to double down on his name. By coming up with the phrase, Sam, I am. So he's establishing that. Uh, and now let's get started. Apparently, there's a prior relationship with Sam and this man that uh, that we're not aware of, but he doubles down that it hasn't been pleasant. Uh, that Sam, I am. That Sam, I am. I do not like that Sam, I am. Especially if he was riding that thing, whatever he was riding <laughs> right. through his living room. Right. <laughs> So Sam then starts kind of our theme, do you like green eggs and ham? So here's the product. He wants this guy who doesn't like him, maybe this is why, because he's always asking him to try green eggs and ham. I do not like them, Sam I am. I do not like green eggs and ham. To me, the story's over. Uh, the, the, the guy's established he doesn't want to try it. Uh, and then Sam, now this is a very good sales tactic, the foregone conclusion. So he's not going to hear that he doesn't want to try it. He's going to start talking about where we're going to try it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Would you like them here or there? See, that that would, like if you were selling Rick and Bubba advertising, you would say, well, now that we know you're going to buy, let's talk about how much. Mm -hmm. Even though they said, I'm not interested to begin with. Then the salesperson would say, so when you buy, uh, how many spots do you want to run? See, it's, it's a foregone conclusion. Mm -hmm. It's a great sales tactic. Uh, I would not like them here or there. I would not like them anywhere. I do not like green eggs and ham. I do not like them, Sam, I am. Doubling down, walking away. He's, he said, he's telling Sam, if you look at the picture, talk to the hand. <laughs> he's got the hand up. He did it early before anybody else was doing it. Right. Sam cannot be stopped. Would you like them in a house? Would you like them with a mouse? I do not like them in a house. I do not like them with a mouse. I do not like them here or there. I do not like them anywhere. I do not like green eggs and ham. I do not like them. Sam, I am. Would you eat them in a box? Would you eat them with a fox? Now, at this point, you wonder, is, does Sam need help? Uh, and what is the upgrade of eating with a fox? Uh, well, I'll right. take it over a mouse. Yeah. I'll Ooh, take it. That. You know what? A mouse is in a restaurant. Everybody stops eating. A fox, we may stay. Mm. True. We may stay. Uh, next, not in a box, not with a fox, not in a house, not with a mouse. I would not eat them here or there. I would not eat them anywhere. I would not eat green eggs and ham. I do not like them. Sam, I am. Hmm. Interesting. Would you, could you, in a car, eat them, eat them. Here they are. Could we eat this in a car? Remember, we established you can't eat tacos. Uh, you can't eat tacos are in a car. Hard to eat. No, yeah, you'll end up wearing it. Yeah. <laughs> I would not, could not in a car. You may like them, you will see. You may like them in a tree. Now, we get, we That's need to say here, Rick, we do not recommend to no. the kids you drive your car up a tree. No, no we do not. No. We do not. I've done that, that accidentally by once. OSHA. No, not good. <laughs> <laughs> I would not, could not in a tree, not in a car. You let me be. Get mad now. <laughs> I do not like them in a box. I do not like them with a fox. I do not like them in a house. I do not like them with a mouse. I do not like them here or there. I do not like them anywhere. I do not like green eggs and ham. I do not like them. Sam, I am. 
Let's be done with this. A train. A train. A train. A train. Could you, would you own a train? Wow. Not on a train. Not in a tree. Not in a car. Sam, let me be. I would not, could not in a box. I could not, would not with a fox. I will not eat them with a mouse. I will not eat them in a house. I will not eat them here or there. I will not eat them anywhere. I do not like and eat green eggs and ham. I do not like them. Sam, I am. Do you think Sam's straight commission? Absolutely he is. Absolutely. (laughs) Doing well. And this is proof. (laughs) Yes. Say, in the dark, here in the dark, would you, could you, in the dark? I would not, could not, in the dark. Would you, could you, in the rain? I would not, could not, in the rain, not in the dark, not on the train, not in the car, not in the tree. I do not like them, Sam, you see, not in a house, not in the box, not with a mouse, not with a fox. I will not eat them here or there. I do not like them anywhere. I just don't like them. <laughs> you do not like green eggs and ham? Now, this I love this part. Now, now we're getting in his mind. I mean, he's been telling you over and over again, I don't like them. I don't want any part of it. And he's told him over and over. And then Sam, he throws down the crazy card. So you don't like green eggs? <laughs> I do not like them, Sam, I am. And he won't stop, Bo. Could you, would you with a goat? I would not, could not with a goat. Would you, could you on a boat? <sighs> Deep breaths, everybody. Mm. I could not, would not on a boat. I will not, will not with a goat. I will not eat them in the rain. I will not eat them on a train, not in the dark, not in a tree, not in a car. You let me be. Mm. I do not like them in a box, and I do not like them with a fox. I will not eat them in a house. I do not like them with a mouse. I do not like them here or there. I do not like them anywhere. I just don't like them. I do not like green eggs and ham. I do not like them. Sam, I am. You do not like them, so you say. They're wet now. Mm, they, are. <laughs> they are. Try them, try them, and you may. Try them, and you may, I say. Sam, for the love of all that's good and kind, <laughs> if you would let me be, I will try them, and you'll see. Now, he's about to try them. Kids, y'all see him next page? See him trying them? Uh-huh. 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 Here we go. He took a bite, and what happened? Say, I like green eggs and ham. I do. I like them, Sam. I am. I would eat them in a boat, and I would eat them with a goat, and I will eat them in the rain and in the dark and on a train and in a car and in a tree. They're so good. So good, you see. So I will eat them in a box, and I will, I will eat them with a fox, and I will eat them in a house, and I'll eat them with a mouse. I will eat them here and there. Say, I'll eat them anywhere. I love them. <laughs> So maybe there's something you need to try, food, kids, that you haven't tried yet. Now, if you try it and don't like it, that's fine. But this guy wouldn't try it. Maybe your parents run a business and they say, I don't want to advertise with Rick and Bubba. Maybe they should try it. (laughs) Who knows? I do so like green eggs and ham. Thank you. Thank you, Sam. I am. There we go. Wow. Oh, there goes, Seuss. Yeah. Of course, if if I'm not mistaken, Sam went on to form a pretty popular pot uh, pop group called Black Eyed Peas. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. Uh, and his podcast is heard wherever you get podcasts. Yep. Yes, Thank you, kids. Appreciate you. Thanks for being part. Thank you, teachers. Thank you, Golden Ticket Seats. Thank you, listeners and viewers uh, all over the world for being part of the world's largest classroom with Rick and Bubba and Read Across America, the world famous Dr. Seuss and the great Sam I am green eggs and ham. We'll be back. More Rick and Bubba coming up right after this. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Rick and Bubba. Uh, I wanted to know a little more about why he got in it. Well, he said they were just Is playing funny. The they were just trying to be funny. Look, fun you see my point? Look, honey, it's so You're, big, I can get in right. it. Right. And no, I got you. And that's what I mean. A woman can make you get in no, a suitcase. Wait, she well, can. We, were you playing a little game of Simon Says or what? Oh, this, was he in the suitcase? <laughs> was he in a fetal position? But he was at in six, there. Four? And who, put it, who, who talked him into getting That'd in there? That'd be her. Okay. Yep. That's true. They were having funny yeah. going. Yeah. Right. Yeah, that's just funny. funny. I wasn't drinking, that's for sure. I'd stop that. All right, an anonymous caller would like for us to weigh in here and, and give some advice. It's oh, Anon okay. again. Anon, welcome. How are you? I'm doing great. How are y'all doing today? Fantastic. All right, well, I need some advice, guys. Um, 22, uh, 
Got a hair appointment here in about 10 minutes. Okay. I was wanting to know, should I get a mullet or not? You know, I've seen some people. What's the coach at Oklahoma State? There's been some people. Gundy. Uh, Gundy. Yeah. Gundy. I'm a man. Look on me. The haircuts always come back. The mullet has struggled to come back. Uh, you talking Kentucky waterfall? What are we talking? Uh, I got hair probably about halfway down my neck, mm. and I was thinking about getting it permed in the back, too. Cause, I mean, no, I you really no, no, no. You, no, no, no. Don't. That's, that's what I did. I like that one. But don't perm it. Cause what do here, you call that? Has that got a name? It, <laughs> it, Sharp. It's sharp. Here, let, here's what you got to be careful of. Go to the Mullets Galore website. Yeah. Just pick you one out. <laughs> like I knew it. It always gets him. Go. Anon, listen to me. You got to be careful with. The, you got to be careful with the perm because, because if you have if you haven't allowed enough mullet, your perm's gonna jump it up. Yes. It's, you don't want to have a bun no. on the back of your head, right? Because it's gonna jump up. Yeah. And, and if you don't have it long enough, that perm's gonna come back to haunt oh you. Oh my god. And then it's going to look like you've got a hairnet with a bun in it on the back. You don't want that. No. You, so how, long, how long is the, the back part of your hair right now, Anon? Uh, it's almost touching my shirt collar. Okay. Uh, and it's got, a little, it's got a little curl to it anyway. Okay. Well, leave it alone. Leave it natural. What's he do for a living? Yeah. What, yeah what, that's important. What kind of job do you have? I actually I work night shift at a machine shop. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Absolutely. Absolutely. I'm shocked you, you ain't got one already. Let me tell you something. When you put when you put a ball cap on and you got that back. Oh yeah. Just, oh my goodness. Yeah. I wish I could go back yeah. and do mine. I don't think you should should perm it. I think you just no I, I just let it flow. No do you perm. have a lady just friend in your flow. life? What do they think? Uh, actually, I'm actually single right now, so I don't have a lady friend to impress, mm. and I'm just kind of like, you know what, I'm single, might as well do what I want to do. That's not yeah, gonna that's happen, it. Do you desire to have a, a, a female friend? I can't say. Yeah, I do. Yeah. All right. Well, this yeah. could go either way. Yeah. I mean, mm. you know, remember when you're fishing, it's the lures you throw out that's the kind of fish that comes in. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yes. Think about right. who you want to attract. Right. And if you're tossing mullet, uh, you know, you're gonna catch a certain type of woman. You yeah, are, you know. Right. So just just know that. Do you put that in your profile? Have mullet. Oh yeah, have mullet. Some, okay. trout? some women seek them. Look, I've got a guy, and I tell, bring this every time. He goes to church with me, and he's radically successful and a great guy. And he has a solid gold mullet, and he won't come off of it. I mean, he mm-hmm. won't come off of it. I mean, he, he he. I think now it's almost become defiant. He defiantly wears the mullet. Yeah. And um and he and he's been so successful. Like, was anybody gonna do to him? Mm-hmm. Nobody. You know, what are you gonna do? Right. You know. And so um, so anyway, is he a, a good small name guy? Of all these mullets. Well, the the, the I think you I'm, should go. With, I think you want to go. What I call kind of the standard is yeah. uh you know I, I know that, now Brett is on hold and he the Kentucky said, waterfalls a little uh it's a little longer in it. yeah you gotta you're, you're you're gonna have to let the back keep growing to get to the Kentucky waterfall what about now, the Mr Sterling I mean that's pretty basic now Brett in Childersburg says he he has currently and he likes it the Bama back knife <laughs> so, so uh, I'll put him on for it. Brett you're you're on with anonymous tell him how the Bama back knife looks looks way better than the Kentucky waterfall. I mean, you got, you know, a little bit a little bit breezier in the wind, you know what I'm saying? Tied up tied up front, long in the back. Mm-hmm. Fucking good good for golf. Yeah. Good for riding in the wind, you know. Yeah. Good for boat cruises. Perfect yeah. for turkey hunting, you know. Getting yeah. ready. Oh, yeah. How are the ladies yeah. responding to the Bama back knife? Bama back. It's hard to keep them off of me. <laughs> well, I bet I've been I've tailgated at Alabama before. All right, so let's. You don't uh, see many mullets on the golf course. He mentioned golf. Uh, yeah, think about how good it looks in that visor. Yeah, oh, it'd be awesome. blazing. Yeah, huh? Uh, we lost anonymous. Oh, something man. happened. Yeah. Oh man. But but I think anonymous should go basic. You know, basic party up front. Right. I mean, business up front, party in the back. Mm-hmm. And I, I think oh, I think he go. Oh, my goodness. oh boy, Bubba's on pictures. <laughs> he goes, Bubba's down. <laughs> Bubba, yeah. Bubba is and down. A nice tie and dash. Oh my gosh. Uh-huh. Oh yeah. gosh. But I'm talking about. And now, when you go business, when you go business yeah. up front, make make it. Did you think you should cut anything into the sides, like a T-bow? Mm-hmm. Cut into the sides. Well, that depends. Let's phone troll. Uh, 35 minutes past the hour. World's largest classroom is done. Teachers, if you got your class, a uh, picture of them watching and uh, being part of that, just uh, tag us on social media at Rick and Bubba. Thank you for being part of it today. Uh, all right, so Speedy goes to the phones. Uh, the lines are open at the end of 30 seconds. The buzzer grabs you. 
Uh, we moved through a lot of callers in a short period of time as we have the last show of the week. Uh, so uh, you can join us. Don't forget Rick and Bubba University, the podcast out this weekend. Uh, also, if you are still struggling with an IRS tax issue, can I just, I hate, sometimes you, I just got to be that friend in your life. We've all had to have them where they just sit down with you and look in the eye and say, buddy, you got to do something. Okay. Uh, it's not going to go away. It's only going to get worse. 20,000 new IRS enforcement agents have been hired, and here they come. Uh, they're going to target you. They're not going to target the multimillionaire because the multimillionaire's got too many layers between them and, and the person they want with all the lawyers, things that, that you don't have. Uh, they think you're going to you know, pay the penalties and not even question them. So you need to get Tax Network USA. Uh, by going to tnusa.com slash Bubba as your advocate, and I mean now. Uh, they have uh, solved uh, problems, and they'll do it quickly in your favor. They've got war room strategies that are proven. Uh, they know how it, the IRS works. Uh, they have a direct line to the IRS. They know which agents to avoid. They, knows, they know the ones that are preferred. Uh, so, uh, and they also know of a deal that's available right now. It's a limited time. The IRS is willing to waive a billion dollars in penalties if you qualify for this new program. So schedule your free confidential consultation to see if you qualify for this limited time IRS penalty canceling offer. Here's what you do. Let's get these tax issues behind you. 1-800-245-6000. 1-800-245-6000. Or visit tnusa.com slash Bubba. That link also available for you at rickandbubba.com under the sponsors. All right, to the phones we go. Lines uh, are available for you if you want to join us. Lee out of Birmingham, Lee. listening to us on ZZK, gets us started. Trolling, trolling, trolling. Keep them phones a trolling. Here we come, phone trolling, phone trolling. Lee, you're in. Go ahead, 30 seconds. Uh, the blue roofs in Hawaii are made of ceramic tile, ceramic tile shingles. Mm -hmm. They're not combustible, so if a flying ember hits it, the house won't catch on fire. Yep. Oh, wait a minute. So you're telling now, us yeah. it's it's not government lasers firing down on political opponents and uh, and protecting <laughs> the their voter base? That's not it. Not this month. Okay. Yeah. The, oh, gone. So basically, the houses have a shield on it, like the space shuttle did. Uh -huh. You know. Well, how about that? How about that? Yeah. That's uh, that's it yep. right there. So well, I know that, uh, but uh, you know, there's no conspiracy more fun than I've heard some uh, out there. Um, the blue roof one, um, sadly, I know about now. Uh, we continue. Uh, if you want uh, to join us, lines are available. Jack is in Coleman listening to 104.7 WZZK. Jack, go ahead. What's up, guys? What's up? You, buddy. Hey, I was going to uh, say something about Adler and his hairdo. He's been growing it out a while. And is there any way he could go to the Viking hair hairdo oh, yeah. and like, shave oh. the, the sides in the back? Like and Whoopi Goldberg's. Long. Oh, Adler. Oh, yeah, like Whoopi Goldberg. Yeah, like Whoopi's got hers. <laughs> That'd be oh. great. <laughs> Adler, are you interested in that at all? I am. I am interested in that. Um, I will also appreciate the last caller confirming that the Blue Roofs do stop the laser beams. That's cool. I'm glad we confirmed yeah, that. Yes, we did. Uh, <laughs> in, any chance we'll see the Viking look? Jack and Coleman would be pleased. Um, I mean, it's always a possibility. I'm a, I'm the wild card, so you never Let's know. Let's find a dude that we can compare you to, not Whoopi. I was about to say, Helms, you took the words out of my mouth. Well, the problem with Adler, because of Greg, he won't do it now because he knows Greg's not going to call it the Viking look. He's going to call it the Whoopi look. There's a show out there <laughs> yeah. called The Vikings. Oh, good oh yeah. Go find one of those. Right dudes. about here. What about this guy? Yeah, or last, that's him. Last Kingdom. That's, uh, what's his name? Ragn uh, Ragnar 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 Lofbrook. Ragnar yeah, something like that. Ragnarok. Yeah. You don't have to do the ta the writing in your in your skull. Although that would add were, a nice touch. If yeah. you were going to be a hand to hand combat person, I don't know that you want that long tail hanging out because no, somebody no. could get that and oh, sling you yeah, around. I think I wouldn't do that. Absolutely Bubba. true, Bubba. Yeah, you've been there, haven't you, Bubba? Yep. yep. I mean, uh, Adler. Yep. Bubba was there too. He got his haircut yesterday. Yep. Uh, let's go to um, let's go to Daniel out of Georgia. Daniel, go ahead. Thirty seconds. How are you? Good. How y'all? Fantastic. Great. Good. I just wanted to thank Greg for ruining Twister for me. Ruining Twister? The game or the movie? <laughs> the movie. Uh, we talked it up to our 13-year-old and 10-year-old sons, and me and the wife decided we'd sit down and watch it last night. And the whole time, all I could hear Greg in the background, you know, 
Why we got the villain twister chaser with us? Why is this? Why is yeah. the cow flying? Yeah, I know. He, ru- he no, ruins everything. about the original. Not is the new one out yet? I, I, I saw some things. Not, yeah. He's right. I mean, like I say, you got to have the evil storm chaser. Yeah. He, of course, he over he's a little rogue, and it cost him. Greg also ruined the game twister for me in 1986. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> we'll Red, just leave it. I will not comment yeah. on it today. Twisters <laughs> is coming out in July. Okay. The sequel. Okay. Yeah. Look, I mean, I know it's. Greg, it'll be green screen city. <laughs> oh, it'll be ridiculous, like a game, like a video game. <laughs> uh, Reagan out of Ohio. Reagan, go ahead. Thirty seconds. How are you? Hey, I'm good, guys. I know you guys are good. You got it like you like it. Yes, we do. Uh, <laughs> I wanted to know how I can get involved with the Man Church. So how- I looked at the website, but how do I get more involved? Thank you. Do you, do you want to get involved as like a, a volunteer? You want to bring it to your church? Uh, w- w- can you be a little more specific and I can help you? Well, I'm not in a church right now. Oh, I see. Uh, but just at, on a personal level, I guess. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, yeah. So if you go to themanchurch.com, uh, you, you can you go there and hit get started. And then it'll it'll offer you are you a are you the minister of the church are you a small group leader or is it an individual in your case sounds like you go to individual, and there's all kinds of stuff there that'll help you grow spiritually that are designed for an individual man now and then after that if you need me to help you just uh, reach out to me Rick at BurgessMinistries dot com and I'll be happy to answer any questions you may have after that so thanks for your interest we continue let's go to Josh out of Alabama Josh go ahead yeah. Uh, I was just thinking about Donald Trump and Joe Biden, and I think I might have a solution. How about we just get Gary to run for president? Hey, I'd do it. I mean, I'd do it. I mean, I'm better than these idiots. I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> I, I, I completely agree. <laughs> Y'all have a good one, fellas. I mean, how hard is it, Bubba, to shut the door? I mean, you got the door open, people can come in there. Yeah, I don't know if we're ready for Gary or not. Hey, buddy. I mean, we don't do something about the border, this whole place going to be sheetrock. God, you scared me for a minute. I know. That's it. All right. God, it really uh, scared me. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Carrie in Tuscaloosa. <laughs> Carrie, go ahead. Hey, guys. How are you? Great. We're good. Say your name. Uh, monkey grass and green acres. Hey, thank you for the call. Da, 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 da. Go ahead. I just wanted to thank y'all for y'all's show. I've always enjoyed it and some of the best jobs I've ever had, like the one right now. Is where I can listen to y'all show and work, and it's I've really enjoyed it. And I want to say good luck with y'all's future endeavors, and I'm gonna hate to see y'all go. Thank you, man. Thank you. Very I kind. Can't, of I you. can't believe, and, I, and see that's commitment when you're getting a job offer, right? And, right. and you look at all the different, you know, uh, the, you want to see the benefits package, right? And then you're like, now when do y'all need me? Here? <laughs> and then when I'm here, will it get in the way of me listening to or watching the Rick and Bubba? Yeah, show? I can be on the clock, but right. I need to be listening <laughs> yeah. up till ten o'clock. Okay. Yeah, right. Now I just want you to know, you know, there's going to be four hours. I'll be devoted to the show. Yeah, right. right. Uh, out of the eight hour day, I don't mind being here. I'll right. clock in. I'll, I'll clock sure. in. Now I will continue best. to work as long as it doesn't disrupt the show. Yeah, right. Uh, so I, I like that kind of commitment. <laughs> now those it. jobs are hard to find. Well, he did have said it was the best ones he's ever had. <laughs> well, he, he said, that. well, Greg, the ones that you could do that, wouldn't those be the best? <laughs> that would be good. Probably yeah. so. Yeah. So, I mean, nothing nothing gets in the way more to listen to a four-hour radio show than the job and what they want you to do. Uh, but there there are times you could just go with the, you know, put your Raycon earbuds in and work away. That's it. Yeah. So when you were working, though, Greg Blue Collar, you, you could catch the show, couldn't you? Well, I could once I got out of working in the crew when I was a, a local lineman or trubman, they called them. I had my own truck, so I was in it a lot. And I got my union breaks when I wanted to pull over and take me a 15-minute union break. <laughs> union break. How many of those did you get? I An did, hour. I, well, it just depends on what kind of day it was. <laughs> <laughs> but, no, I did, but I, I listened. I bet I, Vicky Quest took it. I pulled union. over. I, tell, I remember where I was. I was in Cleveland County, and I pulled over because I had to hear how it ended. Right, and that, you took a union break. I did. <laughs> I get... combined the two I had for the day into one long one. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I had a morning and afternoon. Sure. I just made oh, sure. one long one. Sure. And work through. Work through. Uh, all right, we'll be back. Uh, 866, we be big. Uh, we'll get to more of your phone calls coming up a little bit later on in the program. Uh, also, don't forget the website, rickandbubba.com. Have you ever wondered how you can get any of the Rick and Bubba show that you may have missed? There's some archive options for you. No need to miss any Rick and Bubba. Find them at rickandbubba.com. We'll be back. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba.
type it is. Really. Yeah, you know, I'm a hard no on this altogether, so I really can't. I, I think he just, I think he just goes clean, just but mm-hmm. just go full mullet. But don't. Do, do you like anything. the Maitre D? You know the one where it, you know, kind of kicks out in the back a little bit. <laughs> Not and it's really. Short. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. I don't yeah. care for that one. I, I had, you know who when used I had to be a mullet, mullet expert was Blair and Karen. Yeah. She yeah. knew everything about all <laughs> she mullets. She did. I, I had a. She introduced me to a site that I just could not oh, stay yeah. off of. Is that what you're on again now? Uh, I didn't bookmark it. I wish he was here. Dog on it. I, I had the what you I, mine was the classic Billy Ray Cyrus. I mean, it yeah, was it you was, had a good one. Yeah. Mine was. He, he, I think they call his the hayseed. Yeah, yeah, that or the achy breaky. Yeah. My hayseed was fantastic. Yeah, you had one yeah. with a ball cap. You couldn't stop me. I mean, well, it was. So I good. had the wedding singers. Yeah, you did. That mm-hmm. That's the one you had. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're right. I, mine would would like it was long. But mine would flare out on one side and was straight on the you other. Had, you had <laughs> the dangerous thing. You had a half maitre d. Yeah, it's weird. It's like you Tyler, had flow what about the ginger straight. fizz? Hey. Tyler, which one did you have? Tennessee top hat. What's going on, Megan? Hey, I was. I had. Uh, it's kind of like I guess like you could call it like the Kentucky waterfall, but uh, boy, in school, I, I mean, I rocked it, boy. I mean, it was it yeah. was nasty. Yeah. You know, and <laughs> I even sometimes would curl it out in the back, you know, flip it out, right you know. Mm-hmm. But then teachers, they didn't know what to do with me. Easy but, now. Uh, I, I remember one time I got uh, this teacher made a comment about it. She goes, did your dad ever tell you to cut the back of your head too? I said, I said, ma'am, if you had a mullet like mine, you might not have such a bad attitude every day. Mm. <laughs> How'd that go? Oh, wow. That didn't go well. You got an A. All right, so Alyssa, really, I think what Anonymous needs to hear now, women, are there women out there that, says, that give me the mullet? That are say, I'm, dra- I'm drawn to the mullet. <laughs> And we know one woman who actually has a mullet. We only know one. I don't think that's quite how they say it. I think that is. (laughs) What is it? Huh? That's a one timer. That's a one timer. (laughs) What? So, are women, any women drones saying, I'll tell you what I like? I like that mullet. Bubba, Rick and Bubba. (laughs) Two favorite guys that know how to get the job done. And all of those in turn. Rick and Bubba, two of a kind, got it down tight. Monday through Friday, AM or PM, hear them over the air of the World Wide Web. On Saturday or Sunday, what will we do to get us through? Rick and Bubba, where are you? Oh, boo, hoo, hoo, hoo. Rick and Bubba, how we love ya. Mixing up words and making us all laugh. Favorite guys that know how to get the job done. Rick and Bubba, how we love ya. You got Speedy, Greg and Spam, and all of those interns. About seven minutes past the hour. Coming to you from the Rick and Bubba Broadcast Plaza and Teleport, it is the Rick and Bubba Show. 26 years now. The gang's all here. Speedy, the real Greg Burgess, Helmsy, Eddie Man Adler, intern Stretch Armstrong. Earning his degree in common sense, that now superpower. And welcome back, Bill Bubba Bussy. Hey, Bubba. Rick, I am so glad to be here sitting in seat number two. Thank you for joining us. All right, so we, we didn't mention it on the air la- yesterday. We were talking about it. Deontay Wilder uh, has uh, – you remember Adler was talking about the, the bizarre uh, outfit that he wore to the ring. It looked like something – I don't, I don't know what you would call it. Um, I'm with you guys. It like that. Uh, what was that? Was it Shredder that yeah. that, that fought yeah. the, the Ninja Turtles or whatever? Mm-hmm. And uh, I remember seeing something similar to that. A little bit of Transformer thrown in there. I thought it looked like the Black Groot. Uh, we like Groot. Black Groot. Mm-hmm. I am Groot. So um, he, somehow he told us that this outfit was some kind of tri- some kind of tribute to Black History Month. Right. I don't get yeah. that. I didn't. I didn't follow where where that was pointing. Song as Doesn't well. Doesn't make me think Black History. No, Rosa Parks did not come to mind as he walked in with that on. No, and no it, Transformers it, did. It had the red glowing eyes and and all. Yeah, of I that. mean it was quite it was quite good. an outfit. Yeah, I, I'll I, give I, you that. I don't know what we were doing there, uh, and he certainly can wear whatever he wants. But people were saying it weighed uh, a lot. It was a, a very heavy. 40 pounds. Complicated outfit. And now he's trying to suggest it may have contributed to his loss. It, it well, you is. remember the walk-in That's was kind of long. Bubba at HelloFresh.com slash Bubba or find the link at RickandBubba.com under the sponsors.
10 minutes to the top of the hour. Rick and Bubba Show, 866. We be big. Thank you for being with us today. And all of our golden ticket seats are here today. Uh, look forward to watching uh, some of them spin the wonderful wheel of canned meat coming up next hour. And, boy, have they showed out on the food today. I mean, I mean we got sausage balls from Mama's Recipe. We got pound cake uh, from a, a listener's a recipe. We got meatballs. Uh, we got some sort of cinnamon roll thing. I mean, there's all kinds it's of stuff. Unstoppable. It's unstoppable. It, it is an unstoppable day. Fridays in the golden ticket seats where eating better goes to die. Yeah, <laughs> and uh, and we got uh, really Bye. cool. Might show this. We've got we we got a great gift of some incredible pencil drawings of uh, our dad, Greg and I. That's yeah. uh, kind that Nate from Oklahoma that's in drove all the way from Oklahoma with his family for the show today. Uh, we may look at those two next hour. Some really awesome stuff. We thank all of you for for being here and and um, supporting us. And we always say for those of you in the golden ticket seats that didn't bring anything as a thank you, don't feel bad about it. Uh, it, it's uh, the the tickets are free, sir. We didn't charge you anything, but right. there's uh, there, I don't want anybody to feel bad if other people brought us things and you're watching us enjoy <laughs> them and it seems to bring joy to us and then you didn't bring anything. <laughs> it's uh, it's not anything. That's not a requirement to be it's here. Not. It's appreciated, it, and and it's and we don't even think anything about it one way or the other. We're appreciative of those who do, but don't think there's any sort of disappointment <laughs> in those of you that don't. Because there's really there's really not. Okay, so don't even let that thought enter your mind. So uh, so we thank you. Yeah, without, we thank you for being here. So a couple of <clears throat> odd stories today. Bubba, did you even know that Tyreek Hill had been accused of breaking a woman's leg in oh, football yeah. drill? No, I did not. Now right. don't don't miss that part in football at, drill. At his home. This story. Yeah, this story has got some gold in it. Now I love this. Sophie Hall is the one who fired the civil lawsuit. Uh, in Broward County. Now, I always, I'm always drawn, because I'm Greg's brother, and he's trained me in this, if I see the term <laughs> self-described, yeah. if I see self-described, I'm going to zero in. So mm-hmm. Sophie is self-described as an actress, model, social media, social media influencer, mm-hmm. and she's accused heel of battery assault negligence an intentional infliction of emotional distress mm-hmm. based on the events that are bizarre. And the now events she, themselves are really bi- yeah. really bizarre. She alleges that Hill flew her to South Florida <laughs> to stay with him at his home for several days, but became angry and embarrassed when she knocked him back while performing football activities the day she arrived. According to the lawsuit, Hill allegedly charged into her violently with great force, resulting in a significant and serious injuries. All right, I'm raising my hand. I've here. heard it described a lot of ways, but football activities is yeah, yeah. Is, right, this is, has to this different. has to do with <laughs> Ty- Tyreek's football camp, and her son was involved with yeah. it. This is when we did the story. Yeah, and, he, and, he, and they were in the backyard, and apparently. He invited them to his home. Uh, yes, which is less, that's weird. That right, is weird. I know. And I know. she went, and so and she, she's being receiver, and he's being cornerback, and and I guess he she got off the line. Maybe she knew the swim move. I don't know. So they switched roles, and, he, and don't forget his family laughed at him, made fun of. Him. Right, that's right. what happened. And and he, I guess, power pushed her, which resulted in her fracturing her leg. And, 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 and she was told it wasn't a big deal. Go throw some ice packs on it and lay down. Rick, get you a look at that. Okay. So I bring my kid to Tyreek Hill's camp. He lays his eyes upon me. He kind of mm-hmm. likes me. I think I know why she got invited right. over to his house. And before I know it, I'm not just here at the football field or the athletic facility. I'm being asked to come on over to the house for some personal football Mm-hmm. In the backyard, Drills. yes, mm-hmm. and 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 I guess my kid's coming too. I, now, yeah, he, now he gets to hang know. out with Tyreek. I think he's there. I think it was some of his Ken folk kids that were also heckling. Yeah, it, it, yeah. Everybody was making fun of the whole situation in the backyard. Let, let me. She let, could roll you out of there. I mean, yeah. she's got yeah. hips. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, she's got the base for it. She does. <laughs> Yeah. Um, <laughs> Wasn't she a plus size model? She, she is. is. She's got like she two million. Self, yes. self described. She got like two million followers. Yeah, she's oh, got a big she's following. famous. So she's famous. Self described. So right. she is saying after the injury, they just told me to put ice on it. Yeah. But Go lay down. Put after ice on she it. went back home, she had it checked. She had a fractured leg that required surgery. Mm. Yep. Don't forget, they were doing a blocking drill, and she owned him. 
Right. He gets embarrassed. Then he turns and makes her swap roles. And then Allegedly. He, 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 he buzzed up in there and slams her. Now, Hill is claiming she tripped over a dog. Oh, wait a minute. While oh, performing oh, the okay. Now we got a dog. It's the first time I've heard right. about a dog. And so the dog uh, did it. Yeah, that's right. what his lawyer said. Right. Yeah, and yeah. they're saying that uh, <laughs> that was omitted from the original complaint. Yeah, it was. It says, if you go to look at the original lawsuit, it mentions a puppy disrupting a drill, but, it does, not, but it does not say the dog <laughs> caused her to fall. Uh. So apparently Tyreek Hill's dog also got involved in the drill, or maybe one yeah. of the family members. Where's, his, where's Tyreek Hill's wife or living well, you know, girlfriend? Does she have a wife? Or sure. whatever. On Hard Knocks, he, he had a significant other, yeah. I, I think. They were sitting they, at the kitchen Tyreke's table. A wife or just they, a girlfriend? I don't know. No, I, I, well, I think at that moment they were engaged or... Uh-huh. Boyfriend, girlfriend, but I think they've. I thought at some point they tied the knot, but didn't his house burn at yeah. some point? Yeah, too? The kids, yeah. The kids, didn't have a blue roof. He didn't have the right roof yeah. on his house. Did not That's have a it. blue roof. <laughs> Can the guy not stay out of the headlines? No. I want to answer hear, to that. Helmsy is no. I want to hear the conversation. I want to remind everybody he went to West Alabama. Yeah, yeah. Right right and owned, owned it. it. Owned it. Yeah. But I want to hear the conversation like the when you invite someone to your home to go. I tell you what we're going to do. We're going to get out in the backyard. We're going to do some football drills. Yeah. And you, hey, me against you. Yeah, Plus size model. That, that seems odd. Never heard it described that way. It, it seems odd. You know, like you remember. I'm text Amanda I'm just right saying now. that's just weird. When I when I was trying, See if to, she's in for some football <laughs> drills later today. Yeah, I just yeah. wanted to wear my jersey. Right. <laughs> it, it does seem. You know, it's almost like in the famous Coca Cola commercial. Mean Joe Green doesn't throw his jersey to the kid. He lines up across from him <laughs> and says, "You think you can block me?" Yeah. yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Hey, y'all, y'all know what it is. He got embarrassed and and he played rough. Of course, and he, he said, did. "I'll tell you what, you ain't getting off here." Yeah. But why are we in this? Family boom. made fun of him. Mm-hmm. But why are we in this situation? Uh, that's yeah. my point. How did we get to we're doing tackling <laughs> drills? Yeah. So <laughs> she's just she's six one and he's five ten. Mm-hmm. Right, and that's so I don't think he's really five ten. I don't either. I think you're right. And she, her she hips seen, are higher than him. No, she seems to have. Lie. She looks a little more like y'all all said. It looks like that you know it's, to play football, especially if you're an interior lineman. Oh yeah, there are certain things we look for. Mm-hmm. A good and she base. She seems to have them. Yeah, she has a good base. And All about some. that base. Yes. Yes. And uh, well, she, she I think, took Tyreek out on the first. Apparently, go-round. so much so his family laughed at him. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Real killed him. But, but no, but but where's the family saying maybe you shouldn't invite people's mom over to the house yeah. of the football game? Right. Yeah. Yeah. Where's the that. family in that? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Did you just invite her over? To, I think that's a good idea. <laughs> and somehow a puppy's involved. Yeah, right. I didn't know about that. Yeah. Now listen, Hill insists the drills were playful and advised that there was a pending claim with his homeowner's insurance mm-hmm. with the intention of fully covering Hall's medical bills. <laughs> okay. Something else. Yeah, a, I like him. I said, he started playing rough because he, he, mm-hmm. he was like, i tell you what, I'll show you. I got to think this girl that y'all saw at Hard Knocks, she can't be around. I, I can't not. imagine. Yeah, of course, I don't know. Tyreek may not well, care. There was but, a, but the, I find it uh, odd that you would tell whoever your significant other is that you're engaged to, just so you know. Uh, brought somebody's mama from the football <laughs> camp home with me, and we're going to get out in the yard and we're going to do some football. <laughs> right. And she's yeah. a plus yeah. size mama. Imagine yeah. that. Don't phone mind call. the grass stains. Imagine that phone call on the way home. Yeah. Hey, babe, just want to give you a heads up. Headed home from camp. Mm-hmm. Got a chick with me. We're going to run some drills in the backyard. <laughs> who, who is she, Tyreek? I mean, oh, one of the uh, mamas. <laughs> right. At the, at the camp. Right. Now, yeah. what? there was a story a couple of months ago that they were splitting up. He and, and yeah. his girlfriend yeah, from Hart, who and also then, manages all his stuff. And then he the came end. out and said, no, we're fine yeah. on social media. Then, then his house got burned down. Yeah. <laughs> but seriously. And, and some kid was playing with matches that caused that. That's right. All right. He's got a yeah. weird life, doesn't he? he does who everything. plays with matches? I know. Who are you bringing home? Oh, you probably seen her online. She's a influencer <laughs> and a self-described plus model. <laughs> she was striking a pose with them crutches. Yes, yeah, she, she was. She's going to miss the opportunity to get a good glamour well, no, shot. Greg, she's always working. <laughs> Top of the hour. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. And, and he's claiming this this uh, costume is forty plus pounds, including battery packs. You know, to light everything mm-hmm. up. And he said he had weak legs when the fight started. He didn't realize it was going to be that heavy. I guess he hadn't tried it on. ESPN First Take did this on yesterday's show, and they taught they actually read his statement, and then Stephen A. Uh, comments on it. Mm-hmm. I paid a severe price because my legs were how they were because of my uniform. My uniform was too heavy. It was forty plus pounds. We had it on. 10 or 15 minutes before we even walked out and then put on that helmet that was extra weight and then the ring walk then going up the stairs it was like a real workout for my legs when i took it off i knew immediately 
the game has changed. How bad does this look for Wilder? He, he's serious here. Max Kellerman, Molly, I'm very fond of Deontay Wilder. I've spoken to him on several occasions, you know, away from the boxing arena, whatever. I really, really like him. So I hope that he accepts what I'm about to say in the spirit that it's given. This might be the most embarrassing excuse that I've ever heard for a guy losing the fight. I am not questioning its validity, Max. I'm not saying that it may not be true. I'm not questioning it. He's an honorable dude. I will take him at his word. But my God, this is just not something you publicize. <laughs> The outfit that you wore to the ring mm -hmm. wearing over 40 pounds is why you think you lost this fight? What the hell you wear it to the ring for? <laughs> According to the reports, you tried it on the night before. You knew how much it weighed at that particular moment in time. Why would you do that? Why would you go, I understand it's Black History Month and all of that, you know, honor everybody by going in the ring and winning, not by going in the ring with an outfit on, for crying out loud. That ain't what wins you fights. OK, so why? And if you're going to wear something, wear the same thing you always wore, as opposed to something this different, experimenting in the biggest fight of your career. That's number two, Max. Number three, he just got beat up. He got beat up. Now, I give him credit. I didn't see. I thought his legs were going in the first round. He says by the round and the round two, my legs were going. I thought it was going in the first round. He just looked out of it. No question. But to publicize this excuse, it's nothing short of embarrassing. And then we're hearing, Max, you want to get rid of Mark Breland as your trainer because, you know, you're hearing that he was listening to some fight in the crowd and all this. Stuff. Deontay Wilder, I don't know if anybody's told you this. I thought the fight should have been stopped two rounds earlier. I thought they could have stopped it in the fifth. I thought they could have stopped it in the sixth. I thought Mark Breland waited too long. So <laughs> when you say that he's probably not going to be in your corner and then you read the quote, listen to this quote, Max and Molly. I'm going out on my shield. I'm a warrior. If I say I'm willing to kill a man in the ring, then I'm willing to abide by that same principle as a warrior to die in the ring. Um, Deontay Wilder, that's not what the train is supposed to be about. The train is supposed to be about not just training you, but saving you. I mean, I mean, what is it, Eddie Futch, Max, with, with Joe Frazier against uh, yep. Ali? And, and wouldn't Ali's let him 15th come, round uh, thrill in the middle, wouldn't let him out. And, wouldn't let him. He, and what did he say? He said, I care too much about this man and his family to let him go out for that last round. And they, sure. they go on for quite some time. Yeah, I, I don't know how it could be put any better. I think, I think Stephen A. Smith covered all of it. I mean, yeah, even ESPN. if you truly think that that affected you, you don't use it as an excuse. No, that, and that's what he said. You know, no, you just changed to something real lightweight for the next yeah, one. Yeah. You, it's your choice to call yeah. for the next fight, uh, but there's going to be some some things that are not going to be, you know, because you lost, you 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 pay a price for that. There, He's going to get to name where he wants to fight, and it's probably going to be in London. He's going to get 60-40 cut on it. So you're going to have to work through all that. But, uh, yeah, I think to say that, it sounded. Mm -hmm. And I mean, it he said it's the bad. reason he lost. Yeah. He needed to say, yeah, my legs were kind of tired. I made that. But he said that that's why. I got news for you. He, he could have came in with a towel on and he would have lost that fight. Yeah. After that shot to the head. Yeah. 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 Uh, apparently, coming in in the throne didn't affect anything. No. Because well, no. the, the gypsy king seemed to be fine. Well, yeah. how about but his he, entourage and people around him? If you know it weighs 40 pounds, you tried it on the night before. I mean, I'm, I'm not saying that want, this is – I mean, I'm mindset. just saying – Why would I know, you have to put all that Have somebody on? in your entourage wear it that's yeah. walking behind you and you be in whatever you normally wear. Some well, it's, don't, it's, it's, you it's just not look – After a fight like that, you look ridiculous coming out and going, well, if I hadn't worn that heavy suit, well, that's I would have won. That's what Stephen A. Smith is saying. It goes back to this. Where, and I know sometimes people won't listen. Don't misunderstand me. Sometimes you got to be coachable. Yeah. People can't speak into your life if you won't let them. Okay? However, somebody should have said, like we've seen many times – you do realize the last time we fought this guy was a draw, mm -hmm. and you knocked him down twice, but he kept getting up. This guy does not get intimidated by us. Mm -mm. Uh, he's able to physically push you around. Lean so, on you. So here's the thing. We need to be into this fight like you're going into a war, and let's stop all this silliness. Yeah, let's no stop all, let's stop. Let's stop all these distractions. Why in the world are we pulling out some costume you've never worn before? We're not going to do that. That's foolish. You need to come in the ring not even really doing anything showy. 
you need to get in the ring as quick as we can get in there and get in there and get ready to fight because you're going to be in for the fight of your life. We know that because we already fought him before. That's yeah. what that that's that's the yeah. strategy going in. Yeah. And I don't know if that would have changed the dynamic. I don't know if Deontay Wilder uh, and this thing you said about dying in the ring you, you, that, that you know that sounds good until it's actually happening, yeah. and then everybody around you would have been sued for everything they had and would have been run out of boxing for not protecting you like they're supposed to. Yeah. And uh, you know sometimes people love you enough to tell you the truth. And you you were in a bind, and and it needed to be stopped. And and if you want to say it, I, I got no problem with him coming out saying, "Look, he beat me, but I, I the way I approached this fight was wrong. Obviously, look look yeah. at, look at the yeah. result. Yeah. And and you know I didn't take the fight as serious as I should have, and and that cost me. You can say that. Yeah. You know, but but don't but don't come in you know and give credit. Say, hey, he beat me. He was he was ready to fight, and I wasn't. You know, I've proven that I can fight with him from the last fight, but obviously whatever they did to get ready and whatever I did to get ready, what they did was right and what I did was wrong. Yeah. You uh, know why we know that? Because we saw the result. Wilder, Wilder's going to have to change his style. All right, here we go. We're back from the big boy studio. A brand new hour coming up. Uh, the golden ticket seat guests will spin the giant wheel of canned meat this hour. Oh, yes. Only here. Speedy, the real Greg Burgess, Helmsy, and Eddie Van Adler all back for a brand new hour. And welcome back, Bill Bubba Bus. Rick, glad to be here. We appreciate all of you being part of the big party we call Rick and Bubba. Rick and Bubba. Rick and Bubba. So let's take a look around the wacky. Hop us off. Hop us off. Here we go. Ooh, baby. Ooh, baby. It's making me crazy. It's making me crazy. Every time, every time, every time. Every time I look around. That wacky world. Every time I look around. Bubba, 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 I know all of us uh, at times uh, can be proud parents. Uh, maybe your child has uh, may had some sort of accomplishment. I can't imagine uh, parents of uh, Jenny Dubanders. Uh, when, you know, can you imagine sitting with the parents and say, yes, my daughter, but you, you might uh, may not be aware of this. Oh, here we go. She's got the uh, Guinness Book of World's Record Thickest tongue. Mm. Um, is that something that people brag about? Is that up in the house? Do you put the certificate up and frame it? Uh, i tell you what you the, do right now is you turn Greg and Adler's mic off. All right. Well, Especially goodbye. Adler. Goodbye, Greg. Goodbye, Adler. Rick, you the, know where I was going to go. The I'm official not. measurement, Rick, is 5.21 inches around, which is the largest uh, Tongue recorded by a female. And this in is the not world. length. This is this yeah, is this girth. Is a, this is circumference. G- girth. Yeah. They compared right. to a soda can. They well, did. It, it's they actually large. She flexes than a soda it can. like a muscle. Oh, yeah. oh, wow. It, it, wow. Look at that. It almost looks like she's trying to eat a pear and can't get it done. Yeah, that's ridiculous. <laughs> um, Look at that. <laughs> the uh, Speedy's going to get a tape measure in case you are wondering. Okay, so Bubba, you can relate. Yeah, oh, to you this. measure it with floss. Yeah. Uh, and then they measured the. Yeah. Oh my. I'd like to see us. Do we have any flaws? I'd like to see all of us measure and see who has the largest tongue. You know what? I, I don't. I'd hate to be the guy measuring. I I, I, I wanted to say <laughs> she sells seashells by the seashore. Yeah. See if she can do it. Greg, that's see that this is, and don't get into talking about that guy we went to school. No. With. He's already done that today, Rick. No. No. First no. thing he said. We knew a guy. Now, and then he mocked him. There he goes. Then he did it. Now, Rick, this lady says that Abnormal her son. Loves the GWR book and that he pours through the hardcover books every year and said that he was inspired to get her to try out for this and have her tongue checked uh, by his love of facts and human abilities. Rick, she also plays the flute oh, yeah. and says her strong tongue is useful for playing fast notes. Right there. <laughs> uh, nope, Greg. Sorry, I'm. I love you too much to make your mic hot. Nope, you're not talking, Adler. Nope, nope, nope. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, here's Speedy. Your tongue he's, right there. He's going to get a soda can so we can. Uh, right but she has to muffle up, so he has to. Yeah, she has to flex. So it's just as round as a can. It's obviously not the length. I mean, you, no, no. This is not about length. I, think I don't can, think. It, 
It's how not long? length. It's no, just it's girth. girth. Yeah, it's girth. I like saying you know I mean? girth. I've got a, I've got a uh, more flexible tape measure. If you yeah, it's to tough to bend. Where where is the, somebody had dental floss. String, yeah, we you need had string. Greg, I, I you got had. a bit. I don't know why I didn't. Let me get it. I think that you used it all because I like to chew on it. I'd like to see every one of us use dental floss and meth Around, you know, around the tongue, and we got to flex it, and like then we can said. then we can stretch it out and measure what it with the floss. Guys, had the floss. shouldn't we have done this on a day when there's not people in the seat? Can you imagine being sure. here on a golden ticket seat day? How was your day? Well, we were there the day they measured the thickness of their tongues. Guys, yeah. I think who I beat wants her. to be here for that? I think I beat her. No, you don't have her bigger. You, you don't have a oh, tongue yeah. thicker than a soda Now your tongue's can. longer for sure. You look like a wow. lizard. It's yeah, a, that's it, not look, a good Adler, look. That's right not here. a good look. Adler, stop Adler, doing it. Adler, gosh, Almighty, that's a big tongue. Oh, my gosh. You little guy, big, big tongue. <laughs> I got a girthy tongue. You can touch the bottom of your Bubba. chin on that. Bubba. I got a big Bubba. tongue. Bubba. Bubba. Bubba struggled with with not 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 girth, but, but the width. Remember, you, yeah, you keep yeah. biting the sides of your right, tongue. What right. are we doing? I want to see what, how try, big Try how big this Okay, all right. That's about eight. Wow, it's longer. Yeah, I think we're It's over eight. Yeah. Let's listen. So she's not as big as a soda so can. No. She's only 5.1. Is that what it was? Yeah. Yeah. Exaggeration. Why have you got Unless it's one of them money. little cans. You remember them? Oh, oh yeah. That's Red big. Bull. Yeah. Why did they say soda can when that's, that's not right? That is not accurate. I'm Celsius can's right. more accurate. Listen, she got yes, a big old yes. tongue, but it's not as big as that. Thank you, Greg. That's Just in case y'all are wondering. Thanks, buddy. Hey, Speedy. How'd you get your mic Speedy, what about the stapler? Okay. The, or the look microphone. Weird or the microphone. Hey, look at the microphone. What is the she microphone. doing there? The microphone. It's like an arrowhead. It's not. It looks like she's got a hush puppy stuck in her mouth. Yeah. What is that? She's flexing it. No, okay. Closer. I don't know. You can flex your that's tongue. That's closer. When you, every time you talk, you flex your tongue. Right? Oh, hush. What is you don't closer? know about it. A microphone? Oh, it's too small. It's yeah. But what about the? So head? it's bigger than the, the microphone. The, the mouthpiece on the microphone. Guys, yeah, somebody go get the. Some of the that, terms speedy, you're using. Somebody go get the. Call it something else, buddy. It's thick. It's thick. It's just a little too big. Okay, so soda cans are not accurate. No. It's that's what it's. I'm looking. That's the big tongue, but it's not soda can. I, I will tell Whoa, you. This, oh. Hey, what about that smart water? Did you measure what, the smart y'all water? Y'all see what she's doing? Get the smart water. She's, 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 turning she's twisting it. What about Vertical. the smart water? Is no, it bigger? That's, pretty, that's big. bigger than the Celsius. Yeah, 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 it is. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty big. She's I'm twist- looking, guys. I'm looking. Can y'all? Can y'all? Can y'all twist uh-uh, your tongue I can't, like that? I can't roll anything. I can't do anything. I don't. I'm turning my head. It's over eight. You can. Wait. That's what. Oh, what is that? Well, grab that from. Oh, yeah, that's what about it. it. What is that? Michelin has What one. is that? Is that sauce for the meatballs? <laughs> is that a sample? You're going to the doctor after this? <laughs> okay, what? Oh, okay, I got it. It's, it's like, it's, here, it's another it. version like of... Like Spark uh, or something? Yeah, but it's yeah. Plexus. Pass it over here. Plexus. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. Oh, sorry about that. that looks that looks, like that's that. about the size of a Celsius there. Yeah. Red that's going to be about, I'm telling you, six and a half. That's six and a half. Yeah. Oh, Easy. Look at you. Wow, I know, I know my size. Yep. Look, competing you brands right you here do, together. You do, you do, Speedy, you do. Um, if we had some flaws, we'd at least measure one time. I, I well, guess I, that's the thing. If we measure using this, we're only going to get to measure one. You're right. right. Nobody else is going to touch it. No. That's Speedy like might. The CPR does. Can I tell you something? I, I wish I could twist my For tongue. a Guinness you Book of World Records, I'm going to go ahead and say it. For a Guinness Book of World Records, I expected a thicker tongue. I did, too. I did yeah, too. I There it is. Know. I said it. I want yeah. it when she's walking up. You're thinking, wow, look at that tongue. She does yeah. say. The guy you're talking about, I think, had more. He did as far right. as. Yeah, because, I mean, he was. He, he couldn't even keep it in his mouth. Length. He this couldn't even your, keep it hey, in his mouth. Your fault now. I'm he sorry. Like, he brought it up. He it's, sounded like dipping You're down. talking to him directly. Yes. I'm so sorry. Yeah. You got the mind. Don't I ran into him years later. Hey, can I ask a question here? Hands up. say, be talking about his name. I was about him as a I ran through the building trying to get a soda can. Did y'all talk about her playing the flute? We did. Oh, but okay, y'all did. Play the flute. Okay, I didn't know we And I took. I, I put Greg's uh, mic off and Adler's. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> she contributes. She I guess she can hit a lot advantage. of notes. <laughs> I guess it would be. I've, I've never played the flute. I know, Greg, you love it. <laughs> Uh, but, uh, but I, but I, but I, but I, have, I have, I have, I have, I have, Are you impressed I had a tape measure ready to go? I'm not surprised. Why is that here? Why is there a tape measure? I'll make fun of my backpack. See, I got a lot of stuff in there you need every day. I have, not, and I don't think I even want to know why you have it. Yeah. Never know. Uh, we'll be back. Need the measure. I like mine. Well, <laughs> Bubba, if you measure twice, you'll just cut once. That's right. That's what you're supposed to do. Measure twice, cut once. Yeah, we'll be back. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Out there looking on, but good to see you out there, big boy. Across the way, there he sits, the other half of the two sexiest fat men alive. Most of you probably know him best as the silver tongue one. 
the man with a golden voice, professional lunch eaters, man of the year, the inventor of pizza and a cup, Shakespeare's worst nightmare, and a master at a Kang's English. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Bill Bubba Bussey! We just talked about that was the hall song the other day. Yep. You know, we after the show and we're wrapping up our day here and doing what needs to be done, there's usually some song that breaks out in the hall and oh, it yeah. gets in everybody's oh, head yeah, and we sing it. Yeah. And that was the yep. hall song about a week ago. I know. And you told me the name. I uh-huh. can't even remember who it is. There's now. a Ben Franklin land right there oh, and it's yours. Man. Huh? And you can't Google. It's mm. one hit wonder. I know that. Oh, but it is. Yeah. It? Willie in the Steamboat or something. <laughs> oh, that's, that's a good, good guess, bro. <laughs> That's a good game. Something like that. <laughs> it's a fine, fine day. <laughs> Tony Carey. But no way. See, I'd have never yeah, I don't yeah. even know that, and I know all kinds yeah. of you. I, I could have Googled it's Bob, that. It's Bob Carey's brother. I knew that. Yeah, that was you mentioned. I, I Bob's got a heck of a voice. He I could have Googled that, and I still would have believed it. The right only on. reason I know it is because when we went to uh, uh, with the staff to the Cook Museum, uh, and you were driving, Rick. Yeah, we, you you we actually to, played oh, that. Rick was blowing to. our heads off with all that music. I yeah, to, and um, I, had my, I had my music. And you like were fr- it. you were frustrated too because at the time, and I and I might have when? half the story here. It's no. like some of your songs were on loop or yeah. something. You couldn't get yeah. them to change, yeah. and so we kept listening to the same songs yeah. over and over. And I liked that song, and I'm like, that's a pretty cool mm. song. So yeah. I shazammed it, and I found it. We, well, of course, we had it. We listened to it a lot, didn't we? Yeah. Shazam. Yeah. All right, so, Bubba, you can't, you, can't, you can't just roll up in here and say there's a UFO chasing the space station. Let's just move on. You know. Yeah. I mean, he just um, goes by my office, leans yeah. in, says, hey. Rick, don't I, worry about it. You, you know, we, we love the, the chase of these phenomenons, Bigfoot, mm-hmm. uh, Yeti. Sure. You yep. know, aliens. All that. Yep. All that. Uh, sure. You know, and, and by definition, mm-hmm. UFO is just something we don't know what it is. I doesn't always mean it's a little grazed in there. I know. You've made right. that very clear. Yeah. But uh, we like th- to think that. There's, sure. there's, there's <clears> seldom <throat> times, you know, there's a lot of lights in the sky and, you know, Jimmy Jam and all that stuff. Right. <laughs> Jimmy it, Jam. It, it, it's rare <laughs> that we get really good high quality video uh that is in well lit conditions and coming from the international space station of something that pulled up beside them yep. followed them for 20 minutes and then decided to back off and head another direction so you kind of have to put accidental junk uh mark that off you know yeah uh, but yeah. there's something there we'll we'll look at it today i don't know i uh, can it, i it, it could be it could be us experimenting yep. with something it could be the Russians, could be the Chinese. You know, these killer satellites we've got out now, they're very good at maneuvering. We've got uh, two Russian satellites following one of our spy satellites now. We That's been in the news. There's nothing classified about that. Um, so I, I don't know, but this, I, I will say of UFO video, I mean, I really would like NASA to come out and say, oh, yeah, that's our x-47 plane and you know we were doing some maneuvers and just seeing you know mm-hmm. we could pull up next to it but we'll look at it in a minute i mean it's it's pretty clear footage can i especially with those clouds behind it yeah mm-hmm. i see it right there can i put out a theory possible oh what you got mad mike what what if what if this thing about oh, him crashing rick the that, state, that was he, just a, he just acted yeah. like that crack he really shot out of something out of the top of that and yeah. kept right on going he's still going you, you know mm-hmm. uh, and this is mad mike pulling up against space station so you see there mm-hmm. see how flat this place is rick the rick. the video that has been let put out or let out is is several minutes long but you see it's a if you tune into nasa tv well we'll get into the whole thing in a minute but you see them even startled by it a little bit, and they want to yeah. take a closer look at it without getting too good a look so that everybody on the ground sees what they're seeing. They're yeah. like, hey, what is that floating out there? All right, I so, mean, it could be something that broke off the space station. Yeah, it could know. be. could be. So we'll, we'll look more at it. Also, we got, uh, you know, Greg's making an appearance this weekend at Talladega Super Speedway with the Alabama Wildlife Federation's Big Wild Game Feast. We got that coming up here in a moment, too. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. The gravy, please. Rick and Bubba, Rick and We're back 20 minutes now past the hour. Rick and Bubba show. Thank you for being with us today. Oh, oh there, there it is. is. There's there that sound. she comes. We love me, kids on time and 
Let's go, Willamy. Let's go, Willamy. Let's go. Come on, give it a try. It is now the wonderful will of canned meat. Uh, we have golden ticket seat guests lined up and ready to spin the wheel to win prizes. Well, the Rick and Bubba store, because of this being the last year of the Rick and Bubba show, is sold out of almost everything on the wheel. So, unfortunately, uh, we uh, we will not be doing this with the uh, the calling audience. It will be just from the audience in the golden ticket seats. They will actually pick their gift from Bubba. Uh, I will say this, though, in the store is one new shirt, but it is also moving so quickly we can't keep up with the demand. Uh, Three decades of radio gold. If you haven't got that new item, uh, it is there, and there are still some items that we have some in stock that you can find, but uh, we've we've had to take the wheel and put it inside the golden ticket seats where they are the only ones that can spin and win. They're spinning now for themselves. So uh, so they'll, the, we won't have to ship anything unless they win something that we do have, and then we'll ship it to them. Uh, but, Bubba, I see you've got a lot here ready to go. Well, we've studio. collected a few items. We'll see how it's, it goes. It's, it's a Rick and Bubba yard sale. Yeah. Uh, Mike Huey. Mike, uh, here he is. Mike uh, was here bright and early, ready to go today, and he's ready to spin that wheel. So what do we say uh, to Mike Huey to get him to spin the wheel? Ready? Wow, wow what a wheel. wheel. All right, Mike, let it rip. Here we go. Yeah. Rock and Mike City. hits it with a fadeaway. Hi, boy, Mike. Let's see what Mike spins today. Mike. uh, Okay, so we don't have the bandana. No, we don't. Uh, Bandana. Bandana. So that that means that Mike can't have it. So he must pick something from the pile here. Yes, yes. Uh, Mike, what would you Mike, like? What, what about what, what, ESPN hat or something? Uh, yeah. You want the, the, Yeti? the Yeti? This one right here? This one with Michael Helms' name is misspelled? one with Helms misspelled on it. Oh, oh yeah, okay. Good. There it is. Uh, so Huey takes uh, <laughs> take, uh, yeah, I like that right there. So there it is. How about a go, Greg, for Mike Huey? Go! Go! Go, 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 go! Boy, Huey. Uh, Mike Huey knocks it out. Drew Rutledge. Uh, Drew is up out of the golden ticket seats. And Drew will now spin the wonderful wheel on me. What do we say to Drew to get him to spin it? Here we go. Wow, what a wheel. All right, let it rip, buddy. Oh, smooth. Oh, boy, Drew. Drew went easy on it. They're not booing. They're just saying, Drew. Uh, okay. Topaz, Topaz, Topaz. Try it. Uh, Bubba, we do not have that shirt. No, that shirt is out, don't. so it looks like that Drew Rutledge will pick Drew, some... what are you looking at? What are you looking at, Drew? What do you like? What do you, what do you like? I think that's a... Now, that's you, a now big you, big you got to land on Spam. You can't have that one. But anything else... Yeah, you oh, USFL, yeah. end zone pylon before yeah, they job, merged bud. and became the UFL. Yep. Yeah. It's a collector's yeah. item now. The US... Who would have thought a summer league here in Birmingham yeah. would be a collector's Greg, item? Greg, uh, Bubba, the USFL, Who? the name has failed twice. Uh, so now the merger uh, is now the WFL. Greg, how about a go for Drew? Go! Go! Go, 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 go! Yeah! Uh, Michelin, the Michelin man is up next. Michelin Walker. Yes, right. uh, a Michelin woman. Oh, okay, a, a woman named Michelin. I didn't see that coming. No, yeah. Is that a play on Michelle somehow? No. no. My daddy was just watching a TV show or a game show, and her name was Michelin. Michelin Walker. I thought he might sell tires or something. Uh, right, yeah. I did too. They, they did um, try to get me to be the Michelin baby. That's good, and did, yeah. did, did it fell through. Make it. You didn't make it. Okay. <laughs> didn't make it. Well, Michelin, uh, thank you for your support of the show, and uh, let's uh, let's give Michelin what she needs to spin that wheel. Here we go! Wow, what a wheel! All right, Michelin, let it rip. Michelin, letting it rip. All right, let's see what happens here. Uh, oh, look at here! Look at here! Look at here! Look at here! Oh! Blaze TV! Blaze TV! Now that we have, uh, Michelin, are you a Blaze TV subscriber? 
not now. Or I am now. <laughs> you are now. You are now. Michelin Walker. Uh, so Michelin will now be a subscriber to Blaze TV. Uh, you know, uh, there's a new one, Cooking with the Robertsons, brand new uh, show on uh, Blaze TV. You get all the great programming and an hour of the Rick and Bubba show every day as a subscriber to uh, Blaze TV. So congratulations, Michelin. You're now a Blaze TV subscriber. Greg, how about a go for Michelin? Here go. go. So uh, Zane Latimer, hey Zane, how's it going, buddy? Uh, so Zane is ready to spin the wheel. Everybody, here we go! Wow, what a wheel! All right, let it rip, Lang. Let it rip. Here comes Zane Latimer. Zane Latimer spinning the wheel, hoping to win big. Let's see what happens. Adler is there for him. Uh, well, we don't. Uh, mug, 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 drink it. Uh, uh, you got to come over here, Zane uh, Latimer. Let's. See. I don't know if that baby's well, eating like stock right Zane. now. Zane, what do you? We got some shirts right yeah, there. Yeah, you got, you got a Rick yeah. and Bubba shirt in there. Might fit right, you. Dan, You're a lean fella. Yeah. Uh, we only have the smaller sizes. No surprise, our audience. We have those left. Uh, so. Uh, yeah, y'all. Oh, you like a big? Is that another big yeah, Yeti type thing? There you go. Uh, uh, Greg, how about it go for Zane? Go. The Latimers continue. Emily Latimer will now spin the wonderful wheel. What do we say for Emily? Wow, what a wheel! All right, there we go. Emily, give it a rip. Let's see. I think she's seen some good prizes go out of here, Rick. She has to be excited. Oh, she. Oh, look at here. Look at here. Look at here. Oh. Whoa! Yeah. Moultrie, 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 view it. Now, Emily, I'm going to tell you. How about a go for Emily? Go. Uh, I don't know that you are as, uh, I don't know if yours is as fired up as everybody else. Oh, <laughs> so it did, well, the antenna looks bent. Uh, but Emily, you you have a Moultrie uh, camera, uh, Moultrie Mobile Edge Sailor camera. Uh, you get that. Uh, and uh, so uh, we're going to get your information, and Moultrie will send that right to you. Congratulations. There you go. All right. That, there you go. I think, so. I think, Dad, yeah. I think Dad's the most excited. Yeah. I think it's it's got trouble. Yeah, uh, speak into it again. No, I'm kidding. Hello, 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 hello. It's just got a. It's yeah, got, I heard here, here, banging around. Come around here, uh, all right, so uh, here comes Bart Heitch. Bart? Uh, Bart, hello, buddy. How you doing, Big Heitch? Good. He's got you? his uh, Rick and Bubba 30th anniversary shirt on, ready to go. All right, so what do we say to Bart to get him to spin the wheel? Here we go. Wow, what a wheel! All right, Bart, give it a wheel. Yeah. yeah. All right, so that's a big spin. Uh, I don't want to spin that, baby. I don't know where to spin that, baby. Mark Heitch out of the golden ticket seat. See if he can get it. Oh, the lights went out. Boy, I'll tell you, we're having issues over there today. Uh, oh, Henry, Henry the horse. Henry the Bart, look what have you done. Hope he's got his pants on today. Uh, I do, too. Uh, here comes Henry. Oh, no. What's he doing? Oh, no. It's taking it's time. taking a while coming in from the back 40. Oh, no. He's got oh, a tank oh. top on. What? <laughs> Henry's got a tank on. What's up, my bros? Happy Tank Top Tuesday. Yeah. Uh, uh, hey, Henry. Woo. How you doing, buddy? Henry got in such a hurry, knocked the camera clean <laughs> off the shot. <laughs> Happy <laughs> Tank Top Tuesday, guys. Uh, I just need somebody to tie the straps together mm. in the back so it looks like a thong. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, it looks like you know, a I, I've never been so glad it wasn't on camera. <laughs> <laughs> what a horse! Wow, what a, what horse. a horse of course! Uh, oh, everybody horse. say, ba na ba na, ba 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 na, ba 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 na. There it is. Give it up for our golden ticket seats today. Who spun yeah. the wheel? Congratulations, Rock and Roll City for YouTubers. <laughs> <laughs> like Henry decided to switch a little bit. Oh, look at Henry switching in there. Uh, Rock and Roll City standing by. It looks like Henry the Horse may jam with them, tubers. Enjoy that in the break. For everybody else, uh, we'll be right back, Lord willing. More of the Rick and Bubba show right after this. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Greg, all right, buddy. Yeah, it's Tank Top Tuesday. Oh, yeah, that's good. Every single day in Rock.
Rock and Roll City is tanked up Tuesday. Yeah, Monday's tanked up Tuesday, Tuesday's tanked up Tuesday, so are the rest of the days. Tank top Tuesday, tank top Wednesday, oh yeah. Tank top Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, Sunday, tank top Tuesday, yeah. <laughs> 21 minutes past the hour. Rick and Bubba, we're back. Thanks for being with us. All right, so do we want to, since we've got the Alabama wildlife thing coming up next segment, do you just want to take this, something's following the space station and do it after all that's over? Push it back? Okay. All right, so a couple updates. Uh, the Harvey Weinstein thing was hilarious. Uh, after everything going on with him, you know, now everybody's investigating all things Harvey Weinstein. Uh, and uh, and we found out, you know, he he he, he was supporting, you know, a, a lot of things out there. Mm -hmm. uh, and we found out politically who had received the most money from him. And guess who it was? Go ahead. I know who it is. Hillary Clinton. <clears throat> Hillary Clinton. The the famous. I'm out to stand up for all women. Uh, you know, of course. Now keep in mind, we already had some issue with. <laughs> with with Hillary Clinton saying she's a hero for women yeah. after the way her husband behaved and right. the way she handled that. Rick, yeah, Rick, yeah, she yeah. ran the bimbo squad. <laughs> right. Right. Yeah. yeah. She would she went out and attacked women who were trying to let their voice be heard by the way they were treated by her husband. She silenced them while then telling you out the other side of her mouth women should not be silenced. She probably set the Me Too movement oh my back ten years. I agree hundred percent. And here's another example. So Harvey Weinstein is is this repulsive human being and guess who was who who got the most cash from him uh, for political uh, advancement, and that's Hillary Clinton. The numbers came out released by the Federal Election well, Commission fake. filings. They yeah. showed that uh, he uh, gave one point four million dollars uh, for Clinton during her presidential bid in two thousand sixteen, and then handed her another seventy three thousand uh, and some change dating back to her ninety nine uh, Senate bid uh, in New York. Uh, and you know they were trying to say. Uh, the Clintons were. They were brushing it off, saying no, that, that, that he gave off. money to every Democrat. Well, sure. But uh, she by far beat everybody, uh, way by a lot, by a large margin. And uh, and they released those findings yesterday. Ah! You cursed brat! Look what you've done! <laughs> so, uh, so once again, she's no. been outed. How many more things have we got to find out about the Clintons that we finally say? And we got more of it coming up on the mm -hmm. uh, podcast today. Uh, at Rick and Bubba University today, we're going to talk, interview author of a new book about this meeting on the tarmac with, with him and uh, the cover-up involved in that. And my goodness, it, when he had the truth, he had death threats, had to move his family. So we'll talk about all that uh, that coming up on the podcast at Rick and Bubba University this weekend. You know, critical I, thinking is a lost art. It uh, really is. Uh, let me ask you all a question, and I mean, being serious here, if there was any other, it, like, let's say Republican candidate okay that was running for president now or whatever and this this came out about them oh would their career be oh. over and would they be asking for them to resign i mean i know they're trying to find a way to run bloomberg off but really the things that bloomberg has said would, would they it would be it would be wall to wall we you know peter pan would be on msnbc crying her eyes out couldn't hold her out couldn't get and well if you found it, and if you found out the republicans were being supported by somebody like harvey weinstein uh, they would all be screaming this is that misogynist fox news you know, uh, uh, Ruford Murdoch, this is what the Republicans are, nothing but a bunch of hounds. They mistreat women. They're racist. They hold everybody back. It's a bunch of elitist white men that want to do whatever they want to do to the world. I'd hear, I, know the, I know the way they – I know all their talking points. Mm -hmm. That would be the narrative we'd be hearing today. Yeah. But the fact that Hillary Clinton was the one that was getting the most support for Harvey Weinstein and the fact that her husband ran all over the world like some kind of you know, dog in heat – uh, then, uh, then, th then it's a different standard for yeah. them when it comes to these, 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 these things that they s claim to hold so dear, like the plight of women and their and the way they're treated by the evil, authoritative men of the world. It's just a bunch of garbage. In 2017. I mean, I mean, now, 
now past the hour, the Rick and Bubba Show. Thanks for being with us. So My Patriot Supply is uh, asking the question, are you prepared? Have you followed the five Ps? Prior planning prevents poor performance. And, and uh, well, if you haven't, uh, go to preparewithbubba.com. Rick, what am I preparing for? Well, could be an unforeseen weather you know, a phenomenon could be a tornado, a hurricane, a flood, and you find yourself out of power, needing food for whatever. It might be something not near as daunting as just we're going camping, uh, we're going hunting, we're going hiking, we're going fishing, and we want to take some uh, food with us that uh, is non-perishable and delicious and provides the calories that we need and is easy to pack. Uh, could be something as horrifying as the total collapse of the economy. Uh, but whatever the case may be, uh, it's good to be prepared. And keep in mind, the, the, the food from My Patriot Supply, they're sealed inside ultra-durable packaging. They last up to 25 years in storage. You're always ready. Uh, and uh, they have 2,000 calories a meal. And there's a great variety, so you're not going to get bored. I've ordered myself some of them uh, uh, just to have. Uh, as a listener of our show, you can save $60 off right now, a four-week food kit, and get free shipping. If you use this URL, preparewithbubba.com, preparewithbubba.com, that does get you free shipping. There's also a link at rickandbubba.com under the Sponsors button, so make a note of that as well. Bubba, a couple things that we can update you on, uh, and they're definitely from all over. Uh, I've noticed a new thing with the Bidens. It seems to be adopted now across the family. If you mount enough evidence against us that we can no longer keep lying, we'll just claim that we don't remember, uh, either because we've lost our cognitive skills. Now, you can't charge me because of my cognitive st- skills, but you can't question them right. for me to run the country. Right. Right. So if you need I'm to, fine to vote, yeah. but I'm not fine if you have found evidence against me. I, I'm struggling with dementia to remember things I did with, you know, uh, you know, these papers I was supposed to have. And, right. and uh, business, so, meetings. business meetings. But now to run the free world, I'm perfectly fine. It looks like Hunter Biden's going to try this same approach now. He now has acknowledges there, acknowledges there's no way out that every time we see him referencing the big guy, that was his dad, who was vice president at the time. Uh, or I guess way back, he could have been a senator way back, I guess. But it always was his dad. Right. Uh, now, that's bombshell testimony. But he insists, even though y'all got me, come on out, big guy is my dad. Hmm. He was not involved, my dad, with deals despite being put on the phone with associates. He also admits, <laughs> I can't be held accountable for the damning text to foreigners or foreign leaders because I was too high or drunk to remember it. This must be the, the Biden thing now. It's a new I, I, thing. Yeah, it, it looks bad for me, but I was either too drunk, too high, or too old to remember. Yeah. Uh, it's awful I convenient. Is that, does that make us all feel better? I mean, does <laughs> it at all? How he explain the way those checks that went to the big guy? Yeah, he's from uh, his brother yeah, right after they had deals drunk. made. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he, he's, yeah, he's acknowledging that happened, but we should not be alarmed by it. And he was so high and drunk, he doesn't remember uh, most of his business career, including <laughs> dealing with foreign uh, countries. And right. Others. Okay. Is, is that does that make anybody feel better? No. A- anybody? I, I don't. Do uh, you go? Oh, okay. Well, Rick, that, that explains it. He said that he doesn't recall dropping his laptop off at a <laughs> Delaware computer repair shop and suggest he would only take laptops to the Apple shop for repair. Uh. I don't, I don't get it. I, I can't imagine, you know, you giving me lots of responsibility, and you're saying, Rick, we seem to be missing, missing money. You seem to be, you know, uh, we can't find this, can't find that. So, well, you know what? I don't want you to be mad at me. I was just too high and drunk to remember doing it. Yeah. So it's really, yeah. Rick, it's really not my fault. <laughs> really? So, so, so it really is your fault. Yeah, it really is. I don't, and it's I your fault you were dry and high and drunk. <laughs> yeah, I don't think that's the way out. I, I'm calling two strikes. Yeah, yeah, I don't think I want people to be yeah. high and drunk that have responsibilities. <laughs> uh, here's another one, and you said there's more than one. This is becoming the new thing in basketball, that these kind of geeky-looking guys are, like, really good. Mm-hmm. I mean, people yeah. who look odd and strange, and, and, and but they're really good at basketball. And, you know, you normally, when you saw an outstanding athlete, they look oh like goodness. an outstanding athlete. Look at this guy for Indiana State. He's become, he, he's become a phenomenon. He's unstoppable, and he, he Guys, looks like me out there that playing. That is most unathletic. You know, you, he, he great. I mean, he's, he's well, got sweet moves and sweet passing. Like he's at Larry Bird's alma mater. He was also goofy looking. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it, back out of Vila. 
Looks to look, look at this. Big man can move. This, looks, <laughs> this looks like a skit off Saturday Night Live. It really yeah. does. Got good feet. But look at him owning it. Yeah. And don't forget, yeah. he can't see. Look at that I mean, sweet shot. Boom. Um, and you were yeah. telling me, Bubba, there's another guy for – Oh, it? the guy who's probably going to win this SEC is Player of the Year from Tennessee. Yeah. He's, uh, he's, he's, he's down the same path there. Well, th- this guy right here – Of course, you can't stop him. Right. I mean, he threw in half guys. of what Tennessee had the other night it, against Auburn, and they, at times they had three guys on him. Couldn't stop what him. I love about this, too, That's there's awesome. not a lot of dunking going on. No, he's, he's playing just, the game. He's just laying it up mm-hmm. there. Yeah. What he's if very you, strategic in what he's doing. I would actually watch them play. Let's say this. Let's say you didn't. Good ball movement. Yeah. yeah let's say you No did, dribbling exhibition. You're about to play his team, okay? You don't know anything about him. Oh, wow. you, you're in warm-ups. And you see yeah. him down there on the team, you go, oh, we're going we're gonna to yeah. do these guys. Oh, yeah. yeah, especially with that goofy well, guy. That's a big body I team. I can't believe that's the team. That's the team Larry played on? Yes, yeah. it is. Was it Indiana State? He signed yes, with Indiana at high right. school. I knew it wasn't up, Indiana. It was, and then he ended up in Indiana State. Yeah. Seemed to be doing pretty Nearly well. Nearly quit basketball. I didn't understand. Yeah. I saw Bird say something the other day, but I didn't understand it. I guess in those days, and maybe it's still the same now, do, do basketball players, was there a time they didn't get full rides? They got halves and quarters. It depends on the school, the school, probably. Well, he made the statement that he was he was recruited by Indiana and and was going to go, but couldn't afford to be in Indiana. That his family couldn't afford. It. I don't know the answer to that. And mm-hmm. then that's why he went to Indiana story State. I heard he even went through some practices did and too. decided it wasn't he didn't want to be there. Yeah, well, I just mm-hmm. saw this just the other day. I he was saying that, that his family couldn't afford it, and he was trying to say he didn't have an issue with Bobby Knight. I yeah. guess that was the rumor. He was yeah, like, maybe. no. He said, I, he said honestly, and I think we all agree with this. I know Bobby got kind of wild and crazy at the end and all that. But he said in those days, most all coaches didn't put up with any nonsense and you did what they said and you feared their authority. Yeah. yeah. So Bobby Knight wasn't yeah. that much different than any other yeah. coach. I'm Dalton sure. Connect is his name. From Tennessee? Yeah. 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 Six two. All right. So so which one is he? Uh, uh you'll see him here in a minute. Right. He's not on the floor right now. Okay. That's hard to see him. Yeah. Yeah. That's not him you dribbling. Did. No. There he is sitting there down. Is. Oh. There he is right there. Yeah. Okay. Lily White. Could, you talking about Lily White firing come, up three? He just stepped over half court and drained one. Okay. Oh, yeah, hmm. he, he's pretty much unstoppable. He just – Wow. They say he shoots 500 shots a day. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> From yesterday. Yeah, so anyway, it's it, it's a – you know, it's this uh, – are we are we almost going back to uh, what uh, who, Huey Lewis once sung to us? It's hip to be square. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> yeah, so. that Indiana State so. guy. Now, glasses. Now, he, no, he the Indiana with the Buddy Holly glasses on. That's that's a game <laughs> thick, too. Yeah, they are. Of course, you know he'll he'll sit there and go ahead and score. Yeah, he will. Yeah, you know, back to Bird, and this is one of those things that I don't believe because I'm around Greg so much. No, of course, but he I, runs. I don't remember. The, I don't remember the movie or if it was a show, but it was portraying Bird as what you're talking about, Sino Indiana not liking it or whatever's going on, because he did practice a little bit there and then ended up quitting. And then he was just out hanging out with some guys and playing and all this, and he was always – he had a job. And so the way they portrayed it was he would take his breaks and he would go out and play ball. And he would have on some work boots and blue jeans. And the Indiana State recruit uh, coach – would come by and see Wait him. Wait a minute, I saw that. And I don't remember where I Is saw it. Is that the it. one about the Lakers? It may the, be. That's why I didn't want to throw it on that one and be wrong. So that may I've be where I saw it. it. Seems but, like I saw that too. And so the Indiana State guy convinces him eventually after a lot of persistence well, that was all to made come. Up. Well, and that's the thing. See, Greg, I want to believe that he Cow. walked in the Indiana State gym just because he was looking for a little extra competition because the guys back at the restaurant or wherever he was working was not giving him that. But it portrays him walking in there the first day with blue jeans and work boots on and completely owning it. Y'all and, of course, that. I bought that, but because I'm around him, hey, I'm like, none of that's true. <laughs> no, There's no it. way he was in work boots and blue jeans. And it's all because of Greg. And I needed that story. <laughs> well, there's no, yeah, he might have showed up. He wasn't in blue jeans and boots. Thanks, you know Greg. They're calling, they're calling that white Indiana State guy cream Abdul Jabbar. <laughs> right. Yo, hey, Yo you can take those glasses and get after an anthill with them. Let the sun shine through them. Greg, like my real. goodness. They do Greg. look a little foggy. You, you could tear yeah. up an anthill with them glasses. Yeah. Uh, thanks, Greg. But, I mean, did you ever do that? Yes. <laughs> Not with those glasses. Well, no. I'm talking about we actually had a magnifying glass. Of course yeah. you did. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Yep. Light fireworks, too, when your lighter ran oh, out. Oh, yeah. Great. Need a blue roof for that. We'll get back. Uh, right. Eight six six. That gun is good. Mm. We be bigs he our number. Look athletic, buddy. Oh. Calm no. down. Calm down. If you want to join us, we'll say hello to the golden ticket seats. All of them. Uh, get some of your phone calls in. Talk uh, uh, any stories we might have lit, uh, left on the table as we wrap up this hour. And for a lot of you, the show this week. We'll be right back.
Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. And there's, no, there's no truth to it. When, in 2017, she uh, said she couldn't give back the money that he gave well, she, her. She can't. Uh, but instead, she donated $13,000 to a woman's organization. Does anybody believe that? I mean, <laughs> Rick, if you, if you line up in that soup line, you deserve the soup you get. Okay? That's all I can say. Well, I can't help you any further. Well said. God gave you free choice. I don't want to take that away, but I'm just begging you to use it wisely. But what I don't understand, <laughs> what I don't understand is why people can't. There's certain things you go, well, I understand why people don't know this. You'd have to be on the inside to know it. How many more stories? How much more proof do you need to, to, to say, okay, the, this, this, is, this is who these people really are? Yeah. Speaking oh, of the Clintons. Rick, just for comparison, for comparison, I want you to look at the things that they have done. We know, we've seen rumored versus Carter Page that started this whole investigation into Trump and even Roger Stone, far as that goes. Oh, yeah. And the way the law enforcement swooped in on them, raids, uh, you know, uh, FISA court documents. Uh, uh, with Roger Stone, it was an early morning raid. You know, it's, it's one of these mall Reno kick the door down deals. Mm-hmm. Versus the way some of these other people were handled. It, it's just, it, it's embarrassing what it is. And well, it, it makes everybody lose faith mm-hmm. in our law enforcement, what it is. Well, And I, I'm not blaming the rank and file people. I know they're good people. I know that. And that there's maybe a few bad apples. But overall, they're great people. They lay their right. life on the line every day. But there are some people at the top who are politically connected, and they have acted inappropriately. Yeah. On, well, on both sides, okay, mm-hmm. but, both sides. But that's just the comparison I, I, I say look at right now. And you tell me if you think those were handled fairly. No. If you look back at really Hillary Clinton's record, you know, when the horrible, horrible video of Billy Bush and, and Trump came out and it, it was terrible, terrible things and things that were said were horrible. Again, Billy Bush gets one response and, and Trump gets another. But, but again, I hope that <laughs> Trump's changing as the man that he once was. I certainly have changed from the man I once was, and I certainly – want to offer that same uh, opportunity to all who are willing, you know, but Mm -hmm. you really could look at Hillary Clinton and go. So in other words, if this video had come out on your husband, what you would have done is gone after the women who released the video. I mean, I mean, so, so if, so Donald Trump is only bad for women if he's not your husband. Right. I mean, I mean, I mean, couldn't couldn't somebody say that fairly to her? Isn't that a fair question? based on the way she's behaved, not on the things that are rumor or I wonder if the way she's behaved, is that not a fair statement? to say to Hillary Clinton. Anytime she says something negative about Donald Trump and women, is that not a fair statement to say, so he's evil because he's not your husband? If he was your husband, you'd be covering for him. So it's really not about the plight of women. No. It's, it's politics. No. It's it, politics. It's, who, it's, it's us versus them. Yeah. The great Bugs Bunny cartoon. Right. Us versus they. Yeah. Um, Bub, I want you to know that I did receive a letter yesterday from the mayor's office in San Francisco. Did you really? I did not. It's not named unto it. It's it, it's just a, a letter they probably send out to everybody who contacts yeah. them. Mm-hmm. But I want you to know they're they're assuring me. I thought that might get you a Secret Service visit. They're assuring me that Mayor London Breed, mm-hmm. um, since we offered that they build a wall around San Francisco mm-hmm. to vet out people who might have coronavirus, mm-hmm. all they said is thank you for your uh, email, <laughs> uh, but know that we we're telling all the people of San Francisco the best way not to get the disease. And our mayor is working hard to protect the people of San Francisco. Mm-hmm. And of course, I still want to come out and go. Well, I thought y'all were a sanctuary city. I guess not for <clears throat> not for coronavirus. But yeah, yeah. yeah. But I that's not Rick. But I had so much fun with that. I love yeah. I love when they run because because yeah. the whole thing there because now they don't have one case in San Francisco. Too. <laughs> right. So mm-hmm. you can't even you know what they're really doing. I hate to say it, they're profiling people. Yeah. They're going profiling. So I guess you just think all Asians. Some of to, it is just it makes my head hurt. I guess because I I just. Mm. How about this? You know what? I guess they think all Chinese people are carrying the disease. That's kind of racist. It is. Mm-hmm. Now, they're saying, you know, that some people might have it, which is fair. But that's not what they say when we say some people might be dangerous coming into war. No, no. Mm-hmm. Let's just use the same measure. Stick. Right. That's all I'm asking. I know. Right. That's right. Uh, right. We can meet on that common ground. <laughs> <laughs> But they did send me kind of a form letter back about all the things yeah. they're doing about coronavirus. So, oh wow, that was a cut and paste, wasn't it? Yep, it sure was. <laughs> but it was. I'm glad. But it, I'm glad that email got there, though. Yeah. All right. When we come back, uh, Alabama Wildlife Federation big wild game feast. I mean, it's a big one. 
at Talladega Super Speedway. Our representative, the real Greg Burgess, will talk to Russell Branham with Talladega Super Speedway and talk about the big event this weekend. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. to the top of the hour wrapping up another hour for a lot of you uh, not just another day but another week uh, if you missed uh, any rick and bubba this week catch the archives uh, you can grab those on our podcast channel or our youtube channel coming up this weekend rick and bubba university the podcast our, our guest gary burley uh, we'll chat with him and also uh, uh, donna will be with us uh, frank uh, bill uh, she'll be there with us as well We'll talk about the book and the fascinating story that is, Gary, uh, and uh, catch that wherever you get podcasts this weekend. Bubba Golden Ticket Seats, it is crowded today, my friend. Uh, 13 folks in the Golden Ticket Seats. Say hello to Josh Webb, Jake Webb, Anderson Streetman, Bart Heitch, Bobby Walker, Evie Walker, Sela Walker, Michelin Walker, uh, Emma Lee, uh, Latimer, uh, Zane Latimer, Nathan Latimer, uh, Drew Rutledge, and Mike Huey. Uh, all of them brought us delicious food today and uh, some cool gifts, and we thank them for that and their kindness and encouragement. Bubba, one of them is going to win a $50 American Express gift card from Dr. Thomas Dudney, uh, our dentist. So uh, give me a number between 1 and 13. What about lucky number 7? Lucky number 7, that means the gift certificate... We'll go to, there it is, Anderson Streetman. Anderson. Anderson gets it done. $50. 50 There you go, Speedy. Here comes Anderson. It looks like he's lunch is on him. got his gang with him today, and, uh, and lunch is here. And uh, just thank all of you for your kindness today. Bubba, look at this. So Nate uh, is, out of, that. is out of Oklahoma. Yeah. But does it amaze you when people are this talented? Oh, I know. And I know. so Nate uh, is an artist, and this is all done with a pencil. Uh, and he bought he brought both Greg and I a print that he did of Dad, uh, one of the many pictures of Dad when he was coaching, this one at Jacksonville State. Uh, and the detail of this, I mean, th- yeah. that, I, I, I it's think really it's, good. see if I can get it up on the camera. Of course, here. it's him yelling at the referee. Yeah. Yeah. Tilt, it, tilt it forward there a little bit. Go. There you go. Yeah, I mean, look, look at that right there. I mean, the, the, the detail of this is incredible, and uh, he was kind enough to bring us both one. Nate, how long does it take to do something like this with a pencil? Come up, Nate. Yeah, Nate, come up. Yeah, come here. I mean, uh, you drove all the way from Oklahoma. I mean, uh, it, it, it's, it, you know. It, so, <laughs> Nate, uh, we sure hope you got somewhere else to go. This yeah. wasn't your only stop. Yeah, so. No, yeah, I'm in town for, uh, we're going to Huntsville, Huntsville, uh, yeah. For a revival, actually, um, starting tonight. So. Okay, cool. I was I was gonna bring it down. I was gonna ship it originally, but then when I when you guys made the announcement that this is the last year of the show, I told Greg I was gonna bring it down, and then anyway, it just worked out. Was able to bring it down this weekend. But okay. I want to say first, I I was gifted by God with that ability. I know some people work hard and and practice and get better, but I it was wait a minute. Truly you just you, gift. you just know how to do this. Yes, sir. I got to know how many pencils you go through on right. something like and this, and how long it takes. So I play. Oh yeah, I played about thirty-five hours in that. In thirty-five hours, gracious. About um, there's of course a, so pencils has the scales. You have your B pencils, which are your soft leads, and your H, which are hard, and your value scale zero to ten. So zero is white, and ten's black, and then okay. everywhere in between, you have several different pencils that get. I you. I never thought about that. Very different interesting. Different shades. Get you what that. you need. Yeah, because. Because I mean, like a number two pencil, it's only going to get so dark. It doesn't matter yeah. how many. But so like I, that, I use from probably like a four H to a eight B. So that range in there. So how about that. See, that's, years ago, Rick, Nate sent me one of my first grandson, right? Uh, oh, Ellis as right. a baby. You remember I, I showed I that? Yes, I do. Remember. And it was incredible. And we have it up in the house, and it, it's it's crazy. And uh, but I, I'm like y'all. I don't see how you just start with a blank. And then come up with that. Well, it looks like somebody took a picture. Let me yeah. tell you now, and and Bubba's incredible. had to you know put up with me for thirty years, um, and he knows the Bubba. I was told this, and now all I can think about, and I'm terrified of it. Rick, please don't touch it; you'll smudge it. <laughs> I know. What, what do you have think? You the, sprayed it. You've probably sprayed it with something. Didn't you? I, I didn't. 
you you can, but I, it it actually it changes it a little when yeah. you do that. So if you, you sponge it, we can probably erase it. Bye-bye. You probably just put it in the frame. Yeah, Bye-bye. Greg. Quickly. So, oh, I will quickly. So since they, Greg Greg and Lisa have the Jackson, uh, the state, Jack State room, Jack yeah. State room. Yeah, he's going to keep the original. I had to print. Um, made and if anyone else would want one, I could get more. I, I know just by listening to stories of Coach and watching the memorial service, um, you know, men like him, um, far and few between. Yeah, that's and, a p- uh, perfect pose to him yelling yeah, at a referee. Yeah, that's a referee. Greg, Greg, would you let that go? Yeah, oh, it's perfect. You said it about three yeah. times. Yeah. I love it. It's supposed yeah. to be honoring your dad. Yeah, that's right. Oh, he would definitely want that mention. Well, tell. <laughs> I know you said it on the air before, but tell Nate what you talked to an official that had to officiate Dad's games, and he did make a point though. Yeah, he said he wasn't bad. He said, if you made the call, you better be right. He said, yeah. he said you better know what you're doing. He said, because he don't miss nothing. <laughs> Unfortunately, I found that to be true as well concerning yeah. players. Uh, yeah. but, uh, but anyway, thank you, Nate. That means a lot to us. And I just, you know, obviously it's, it's beautiful to have a, a, a print of Dad, and we'll, we will frame that and put it up at the house. But I almost, I'm also just amazed that anybody can do that with pencils. You yeah. know? So do you venture out and paint as well? Like if somebody yes. puts a paintbrush in your hand, can you be that creative yeah, as so well? Yeah, so I've done a couple oil paintings for the Prina Dog Food Company, and I've done okay. several, <laughs> several uh, yeah, uh, chalk pastel drawings for various people. Um, I don't do a lot anymore, but the, the crazy thing is, and this is the just a uh, proof that it's a gift, is I, I hadn't done one since I did Ellis. Wow. Oh, yeah. What? So you just sit yeah. down? This name's something you've been working Three on? Three years later. Oh, that basketball yeah. guy yesterday is going to be it's furious. Yeah. You know, <laughs> you talking about Herb? Yeah, Herb ain't going to like that. He wants you to do 500 uh, drawings yeah. a day. Well, I, we uh, can talk about that all day because I come from a basketball family like you boys did a football family. And right. I, yeah, but anyway. So, so Adler doesn't want to be outdone. Let's Rick, see what's Rick, Adler look, Adler's brought the predator. Oh, Adler. Uh, Adler, that's not. Check out this predator I did. <laughs> Adler, that, 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 that's not even in the ballpark of what. Predator, na- I did it with spray paint and a stencil. <laughs> <laughs> I traced it. I traced it. And don't forget, he brought that from the old he studio were. here. He, yeah. he, he made sure On we purpose. had it. And you know what you've noticed with that? You know what you've noticed with that? Some people. He, God, he, he worked hard on that. He likes that, but still has not quite put the effort in to hang it. Yeah, no, I mean, yeah. I mean, it's it's still and, it's still where it's always so, been. And, you and Rick, the, not only can Nate is he an artist, but he's a carpenter too. Yeah. I mean, he's built a beautiful house out in Oklahoma up on oh, really? the hill. Oh, really? Yeah, I think you invited me out to help you put the roof yeah, on he the asked porch. Yeah, for a job. I told him I was hiring. <laughs> we could bring him out. You know what? I never even thought about that. It's a long way to go. That really is a pretty spot you've got. Yeah. How did you find the show? So actually. Um, this is so ironic, but the guy that called in a little while ago, Reagan from Ohio. Yeah, 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 yeah. We were born a month apart. I've known him my whole life. You're kidding. No, and his nephew is, uh, because we have ties to Alabama. My sister lived in Sylacauga. Unfortunately, she passed away at 42 years old. But, um, so I've just been in an area and, 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 but I didn't know about the show because she didn't live here very long. But anyway, a a friend of mine that knew someone from Huntsville through the church knew about you guys. And I just, I. So this is crazy, but I had a taxidermy business, um, another form of art. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I mean you, you're, yeah. an art, you're an artist. He's a, yeah, he's a man that works with his hands. I mean, I, I was dead work, animals, whatever. Yeah, I was out yeah. working in the shop one day, and it, I was doing a deer head for a guy. Uh, Joel's his name. He's probably listening right now. And he said, hey, listen, these guys, man, these guys are funny. And he had some of the, found some of the best of bits on Spotify. Yeah. And so that's how he introduced me to you guys. And I, like I said it was 2016, and I... I um, Became a stream club member back then and all that right away. And oh, good. I came to the old studio actually at five o'clock, showed up, watched the whole show, and back when that deals do. Then I came last year here. So I don't know. Just, um, I don't know. I just relate to what you guys do. Well, good. And what, what well, do you appreciate? You, you tell me this before, but I can't remember. Are you a tuber now or a podcast person? No, or yeah, stream I'm, I, app? yeah, no, I'm, um, um, no, what, tune in. Sorry. You tune in. Do, yeah, tune tune in, in, do the streaming. Okay. Yeah. Well, Nate, thank you uh, on behalf Thanks, of the Nate. show. And, of course, uh, another thank you for, on behalf of our family for the really nice drawing of Dad. And uh, and thanks for making the effort to get everybody here eight and a half hours yeah. from, Ooh, uh, from incredible. Uh, Oklahoma to be You're here welcome. today. And thanks to thank all of you guys. in the golden ticket seats uh, for being with us, all of you watching and listening out there. If you are wrapping up our time together, enjoy the weekend. Uh, if you roll out the show and you got more Rick and Bubba coming up, we'll enjoy that too. Thanks for being with us. It's top of the hour. Uh, if you'd like to find out how you can grab the show in all the different platforms, live or archived, find it at rickandbubba.com. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba.
This is the Rick and Bubba Show. Watch more at blazetv.com slash Rick and Bubba.